Uh, yeah. I mean, don't tempt me. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> this place is a shit show sometimes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just curious what documents the president stole. One of them was the highest possible security clearance. So I'm just curious. I didn't even know that happened. What? You didn't know that? <laughs> you yeah. did that, Trump? Yeah, yeah it's FBI. Trump. He's being, like, indicted <laughs> and shit. Like, he's being, like... Of course. I knew they raided him, but I didn't know why they raided him. They, they are, like, charging him with espionage. Nice. <laughs> he was, like, the leader of the U.S. and now is... He, he was the best spy that the <laughs> Russians ever had. <laughs> he's, just, he's like, uh, it's like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna kick me out of office. Yeah, we'll see how they, see how they do. I just sneak they, they back found, in. They found over like three hundred <laughs> documents, um, at his house. I didn't realize it was that many. Bro, yeah, that's a lot. But like <laughs> the highest security clearance. That's like like a uh, fucking. Uh, okay. Area 51 shit. I would not put it past Trump to, like, he deadass just thought he's gonna be able to, like, sneak back in with it and just be like, oh, I am back and I'm also the president. <laughs> 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 he's just, like, like sitting in the fucking, like, president's desk. And, like, Joe walks in he's like, what are you doing here? He's like, what do you mean? I'm the president now. <laughs> uh, shoots Joe. Mm. I'm... I've been looking at my like dual citizenship and being like, ah, oh, I could go to Canada. <laughs> like, I could leave. <laughs> but you know, I got skull, so it's maybe tempting, afterwards. dude. I mean, you could always transfer to Canada or take a year abroad, dude. Honestly, if it was like paid for and everything, or just like it was just like, oh, here you go, like you can move, and it's not that like much to. I mean, move. you could claim a refugee status. <laughs> I don't even do, like, Canada. Just, like, if it was overseas, like, I don't uh, know, fucking, fair. like, Norway or some shit. I'd be Norway. Like, like, yeah, let's go with you. Chile, <laughs> Chile really becoming Chile. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Chile, just move to Poland, dude. I'll do it. That's Gosh. right beside Ukraine. Oh, my God. I know. My family's there. I know. But it's sad and terrible, and I'm sorry, but Chile shouldn't move there right now. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> But Poland's so cheap. Yeah, it's probably cheaper uh, now after all the people are moving away. No, no, Poland's always been cheap. I do like cheap. <laughs> Look at it this way: what, what, That's one, U, budget. one U.S. dollar is when I went like six years ago was four is worth it. Dude, I'm rich. <laughs> Take what I had and multiply it by four. Woo! <laughs> Pretty much. Let's go. I'm like rich in Poland. <laughs> 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 but is like is like a carton of milk worth like twenty dollars there? No. What the heck? I'm a, oh. Sky. Sky. What? Are you coming or not? Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention Sky's coming. I'm not sure. Oh okay. I was like, <laughs> what is she doing in the dis? Like what? <laughs> She's in the stream chat. I was like, what? I mean, she's just doing what uh, what I did uh, on Thursday. <coughs> Don't come if you're feeling sick. Another <laughs> response is Sky will give. Sky's, five, Sky, Sky's like, you don't tell me what to do. Sky, Sky's <laughs> like, fuck, damn it, Jeff. Oh, I see, I called it. Here. <laughs> I called it. I called it. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll be right back. Alright, so, so it's night time. You both uh, scare up and friend get the uh, tin for the dim light. I can't fucking see. <laughs> you're just gonna get eaten by you're gonna walk out of the train and the spider's just gonna eat you I am the spider wait do you know that Mama Violet turned into a spider oh yeah like does Scarab know that I mean to be fair I kinda can't miss it uh climb on top of the tree and broke the roof so yeah she did climb out the top of the tree <laughs> oh 
But now I do all of you know that uh, so does all of her uh, children. Uh, Alan. Are the Alan going to attack us? Mm. I really hope not. Maybe. Kill, kill my long lost cousins. <laughs> you meet the first Alan in like ever, and now you have to go. Sure, they're not stupid, right? <laughs> no, right? Yeah, they're like, I mean, if they're, any, if they're anything like their cousin that travels with us, then. <laughs> At least I'm not a dragonborn who can't see in the dark. That's fine. I don't need to see in the dark to kick your ass. You do, because <laughs> <laughs> technically do though. Know. Technically, he doesn't need to. But what if I'm thirty feet away? Well, listen. Just because you're blind doesn't mean you can't make an attack on somebody. It's just a disadvantage. Just gotta start wailing. Because Scarb still has ears. Does Scarb even have a ranged attack? You don't even know what Scarb has. Call Funko Tamer to unleash your wrath. Great. There go my there go my fucking feathers. Drink. Oh fucking plucked me. Oh yeah, so I bought. Uh, oh, I forgot to message Mal. I'm stupid. Uh, um, <laughs> um, I bought that that app that you told me to buy. Clip Studio. Yeah. Oh, Clip Studio is really good. I love Clip Studio. It it was this. It was fifty dollars US, so like sixty five dollars Canadian. But it was a one time purchase, dude. So it's okay. Vapor hosted a a trivia thing on his stream. I know I Did missed it. I was so upset. He's giving out a $20 Steam gift card, which I ended up winning. Uh, he had to he had to buy a 25 one in Canadian. <laughs> when, when it came to me, it was $19. <laughs> 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 it's like, it like, bro, I've been scammed. <laughs> Dude, you found a bio. <laughs> Does Vapor still work at Costco? No. Oh. He went back to uh, his old job. Which I forget exactly what it is, but it's like a I something think computer it, based. It's some no, uh, I think it's some kind of inventory management or something. I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. I just know he works with people that own a barn oh. or a farm. That's all I, I mean, know. <laughs> normally, when you own a barn, um, you do have some sort of farm. Normally. Yes, I'm aware. You know, I'm gonna buy a barn and turn it into a hotel just because Oliver. <laughs> they do do that as well. Yes. It's gonna smell like cow yeah, poop the whole you. time. Good fresh cleaner. fertilizer for me. Is <laughs> for me. Heck? I can't believe y'all killed Mama Violet. It was oh, an that's... accident. That's a mage. Tell that to the <laughs> Allen. <laughs> I am. It was an accident, Solus! <laughs> it's not gonna make him feel any better. <laughs> I just imagine that Solus got distracted and was talking to his long lost relatives, and then he comes back and he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sees this giant fucking spider break through I mean, the roof. Listen, just imagine that everyone fucking. or like, a group of people just show up, and they literally murder your, your, your caretaker. You're not gonna be very happy. Yeah. Well, we didn't murder her yet. Mm. You already, I mean, you turned her into a monster, and now you're gonna murder her a second time. Yeah, but they'll understand. Uh, I'm sure they will. She, they, she would eat them, oh, otherwise. Well, like, you weren't there for her going through everyone's minds, were you? No. Did she go through my mind? No. No. Went through Squirt, Scarb, and Evie. <clears throat> Oh, I went. I was there for some. I don't remember who though. And, and then Casual was gonna get their mind looked through too, but you know, Evie went first. I would. I would. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Did she give you back the vector piece while she was in your mind? Yeah, it was empty, and then like girl appeared, and she was like, "Oh hi, you want the thing?" <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bitch. <coughs> Your girlfriend's an asshole. Your girlfriend is kind of an asshole. Huh? 
that your girlfriend is kind of an asshole. Uh, yeah, a little. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Say yeah, a little. <laughs> Hal has a girlfriend. <laughs> no. Uh, your girlfriend's turning people into spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, Scarb's life would be easier if he was a spider. Just look at the vector you piece. Your life would be easier if you were yes. a spider. Got a whole so, vector piece. So who is is it just on the floor now? No, it it's still there? connected to. I'm pretty sure. It's in Mama Violet. <laughs> I think. What if we? I have an idea. What if we just get um, Smiley to eat Mama Violet? <laughs> She's really big spider. I think not like a tiny spider. We need the Tarasque. Where is it? Oh, uh, Dipper di got rid of it. I know. Dipper blew it the fuck up. <sighs> Gosh damn it, I can't believe how... <laughs> <laughs> God, fucking damn it, Dave. <laughs> you can blame how this. Did your dad give you any help? Right, by the way? Huh? My dad? Yeah. About the... About Mom and Violet, yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh. He'd be confused. I have a question. I told, I told him about it, and I told him to give you help, right? Is she, oh, I is can't she remember. A, is she a magical spider? Probably. It's <laughs> 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 a pretty, pretty safe assumption to me. She's Time a giant spider. I'm just trying to figure out what things will work on her. <laughs> well, only one way to find it. Watch it only be non-magical attacks. <laughs> I'll hit it! <laughs> just immune to everything. Like you just That's not good. Evie, just Evie hitting Mama Vi. Just, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Whack, <laughs> <laughs> <Black>, whack. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my fucking god. Hey, uh, look at this. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> my daughter's <laughs> late. I was fucking running. I forgot the pothole in the middle of the fucking hallway. Oh! <laughs> Did you ah. fall? <laughs> yeah. No, what? Jeff, I went flying. Yes, I fell. Why is there a pothole in your hallway? <laughs> because my floors are shit and this house is old. <laughs> Fucking ow. You need to put a speed bump in there. <laughs> there is! There's a speed bump! The amount of times I've twisted my fucking ankle in there. That's exactly how it happened. You're just <laughs> drifting through the hallways like... <laughs> Dude, my ass was sprinting. When I said I was on my way, I was on my way. Can you guys watch One Piece? No. A bit to pieces. A little bit. A little bit from uh, when Vapor was streaming it. Okay. Over here. I got One Piece music now, so you might recognize it, maybe. Maybe. Right, we'll, we'll find out. Sky, how did you let Hal kill Mama Violet? The is Tony's uh, intro. Ah, perfect. The only fucking <laughs> what do you mean perfect? I remember from One Piece is the four kids opening. So I swear to God, <laughs> if you're fighting someone, you just kiss <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm like half tempted now to add that in. You know what? I'm right now. <laughs> I am on my way. Loading. I'm on the way, dear. I'm Help is on the way. Rip is on the way, dear. Um. So, how did you let Hal kill Mama Violet and turn into a dinosaur? Uh, I didn't have a fucking choice. <laughs> no one did. I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, had a uh, choice. Dreaming. <laughs> we also we also Damn. determined that if you guys are ever ever <laughs> in possession of a wish, you should not let how. I'm uh, all in favor for that. Wish. I'm in favor for not giving me that power. Dude, that breath opening, dude. They hate that. You gotta go. Yo, 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 yo. Dreaming. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> We're gonna be fucking fighting the BBEG. <laughs> and, and everyone's gonna be like, we gotta work together. It's gonna be all emotional. And she's like, dreaming. <laughs> <laughs>
we find a doctor, this shit's just gonna be popping up. You, you want to see a dragon board get down and dirty? That's how you get a dragon board to get down and dirty. Dude, <laughs> literally, like, gonna be ready to fight and scare, it's just gonna fucking be break things. <laughs> Yeah. You see, put them in the background. Oh my god! So just, yeah. Let's fucking go! We need a bard. <coughs> we need a bard. Mm -hmm. In our train? <laughs> no, a bard. Oh. We know we know where to have one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need a bar after this. No, I, I, just, I said barn, like with animals. I was so oh. confused. Oh, I heard barn. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, the paladin is no longer a paladin. The paladin is now a barbarian. <laughs> I just need a bar. I need the alcohol to stay all of our wounds. A bar! How is a true paladin? I You're thought... poor Noah, but with the, the train. You know what, actually? How? Why are all of your characters always the wrong thing? Like you're always like, if you're if you're a rogue, you're a wizard. Now you're a you're a paladin. You're a rogue. Like <laughs> rogue? No, 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 no. She's still not a rogue. She's a barbarian. Uh, yeah, she's barbarian? A barbarian? Wait, at least she's that a consistent. Barbarian. I don't know how she. Does it. <laughs> But she's a pacifist heart barbarian. We're fucking where again? Evie's gonna. I think Hal's killed Bella the most Bella people. Bella. Dude, Evie's gonna rip off her shirt and. <laughs> nah, but oh Evie's gonna God. rip off her fucking Anna Mantine fucking plate armor. Yeah. Just like, With her hands. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Break down walls. <laughs> Get out of here, motherfucker. Oh my fuck. fucking God. I thought I saw someone I knew. Round two. I mean, that would be pretty intimidating, you know? You're fighting somebody and there's. Like, get over here, Adam and Tess. <laughs> Tear it off. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't need this. We're gonna, we're gonna forget about the, We're gonna forget we're talking about this, and then Chili's just gonna randomly bring up like three sisters later. You knock, you knock on the door. Roll me a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> you break down the door. Whoops. I'm not surprised, knowing how. I'm just so strong. <laughs> <laughs> strong <Don't laugh. laughs> a perfect plus five modifier on strength negative five in both intelligence and wisdom does anybody have a strength in this party <laughs> nope yeah. does anyone have a what like a strength, strength. modifier sky it's plus four it's a, You're like a strength modifier yeah I have a plus five you do you have a 20 strength i have plus yeah. four holy shit i didn't know that i hit hard when i fucking hit <laughs> uh, I think the one time, because what Scar when he fought like what twice, yeah. And the first time he fucking hit a hat and it just bonked off the hat. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, I remember yeah. that. He hits hard. He just needs to hit well. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, technically, that should make you hit better at having more strength because all your weapons are strength based usually. Mm. Usually. Uh... Yeah, you'd uh, think, right? What's your charisma, then? You should have been maxing your charisma. My charisma's 14. Damn. That's unfortunate. Alright. So, now you die. can't charm the spider. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to seduce the spider with my flail. Just bonk him. I have an idea. Oh? We can polymorph it into a smaller spider. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, theoretically. You, know what? I mean, you have polymorph, right? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, I didn't have it. I have found a flaw in your plan. <laughs> I didn't have it. It's okay. Okay. All right, that sounds like we're all here. We already got everything we need: bathroom, break, drink, snacks, all that good stuff out of the way. Yeah. If not, now it's time to do it. If not, well, sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. Does suck to suck. All right, let me turn that off. And does anybody want to take a stab at recap in the last session? I would like to vote up Hal no! because Hal, you know, was a majority of it last time. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what they all say. So we. I feel 
like deja vu because every time Hal messes up, she has to do it, and every time, every time she ends up doing it. So, <laughs> so sorry, Hal. So I mess up a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, so, Hal messing up, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, it started off with us meeting the SOA and Squirt. Uh, we came at our door. Catherine talked with. Uh, oh, her name started with like an E, I think. Uh, hold on. Notes. Irma. Irma bird. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I talked to, to her about, like, the doctor, and we're like, yeah, doctor's bad news, we don't like him. And she's like, oh yeah, he sucks. Also, like, the vector piece can corrupt people. Keep that in mind. <laughs> 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 yeah, you yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, then we took the train to go over to Mama Violet. Um, we went in like the forest and then stopped. <laughs> and then I had I messed up a lot last time. I was like, let's get out of the train and walk. <laughs> um, we couldn't walk. We were like for an hour trying to figure out how to get forward when all we had to do was stay on the train so we went on back on the train eventually and then rode our way to mama violet there was like a ton of owls um alan they all spoke japanese we didn't understand them because we don't know japanese and then mama violet was there uh they brought us to mama violet and she couldn't make us stronger, but she could go through our, like, brains to help us mentally. It's like, therapy, I guess. Sort of. That's what it all entails. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then Evie started talking. Well, so Squirt went first, <clears throat> saw someone named Parker, and it was all good. I don't think anything went wrong. Scar, uh, had, uh, his one brain... And I uh, Scarb does have a brain. It might not be big, but it is there. Yes. Um, no, no, it's really not. Saw like a golden dragonborn in a town that was burning in Potema. Kind of threatening. She probably had something to do with it. Scar basically told her, "Screw off! Don't touch him! Just you already have me. Go away." I threatened her too. Yeah. It's a mutual respect, you know. Respect of, sure. <laughs> um, and then Evie went. There was like nothing, and so I was like, "Ah, oh, it's not fair. She gets it all." You know, always smiling and whatever. What about me? And it was, uh, Scarlet, and she was like, "I'll give you the vector piece. It'll make me happy. So you should take it." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> I made you cry last time. And she took that personally. She <laughs> was, I, I think I went to go reach for it. And she was like, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to send it to you. Uh, when you wake up, it will be there. And I was like, okay, I trust you. Hey, yo, yeah, next day shipping, you. let's go. What? Next day shipping, let's go. <laughs> Basically, uh, went wrong. Mama Violet got corrupted because it basically appeared on her, like in her hands. Now she's a giant spider. And she's chasing us, I think. Because we ran. And now we're probably going to have to fight her. The end. <laughs> well, hopefully not the <laughs> end, but... That's what we ended off. Alright. That is accurate. Irma with so... an I? Hmm? Irma spelled with an I? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. Irma Bird. That was her name. I spelled it with an E. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is one of the most saddest I can't believe how killed Mama Violet. <clears throat> how did he kill Mama Violet? I... Did, how much how much XP did Hal get for the kill? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> kill, kill XP. <laughs> <laughs> remember when I killed that guy's mom? Or was it that guy? I don't right. remember. So, yeah, Evie, Daniel. last thing you saw, or actually, what you saw transpire before you was the 
vector piece corrupting and twisting Mama Violet's body to um, disgusting proportions. Um, you quite literally had saw like spikes protrude from her skin. Her whole body kind of like bent backwards um, to kind of like an unnatural angle. Her spine definitely not needing to have bent that far. And as it kind of like reared back, you saw like spikes just kind of like split up the middle of her body. Um, blood just kind of like spews as this thing seems to, um, all sorts of tendrils seem to kind of uh, just kind of rip out of her body and curl around and almost kind of like bite down on it. Um, as it, uh, as I mentioned, it transformed into this kind of spider-like creature. It looks like, it almost looks like it's just wearing her skin as you see its tendrils start stabbing into the woods and start running up the tree. As the guy's outside, you see she splinters out the top of this wood, uh, rupturing as it catches the attention of not only you guys, but anyone else in the area. As this massive kind of spider just its tendrils just like sticking in and digging into the, uh, the tree as it uh, pulls itself up and out. <coughs> You see, it's at the top of the tree. Um, it is nighttime, so for False. some people, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. So it is night. It is a little dark and hard to see. Uh, for some of you, those with night vision have a little bit of an easier time, but still, big open area. Um, I can see everything. <laughs> you can see everything. Uh, it's always <laughs> all right. And with that. I need everyone to go ahead and roll me. Oh, give me a second. Roll me initiative. I don't remember how to roll initiative. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. I. Whoa, here I come! <laughs> it was literally my fault, Zero. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's my initiative? Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh. That was so close to 18. Ooh, 15. Not bad. Alright. And here's my violin. I did. Rider? Yeah, I based it off of a Drider. It's basically a Spider Woman, so. Same difference. Oh. Do I get my mount or no? Uh, I Not think with that you initiative. Did. You did something, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll say you have it. Oh, I should have done that last time. Alright. Kazrin, you're first to go. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? The, I... dry, the, the monstrosity is uh, directly north of you. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'll say it's actually probably more accurately right about here. You act like I can see. Hold on. Where? No, no, oh, boss, on this continue. time. Um, it's right there in front of you. I see you could kind of faintly see it. It's hard. It's hard to see, Kazvin. Especially as you kind of look higher up in the air. This uh, creature is a. Uh, it is a being of darkness. It seems to like meld and shift with the shadows. Somebody, so, uh, somebody give me a clear sight of it. So much so that when you come out, Evie, um, it was identifiable to a spider. Now it's just like. A blob. <laughs> There's like a shroud of shadows almost with a few tendrils that seem to escape the cloud every now and then. You. I, wa I wanna know who's right after me? Am I gonna be safe? Am I gonna hurt? I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably hurt. Hey, <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to get a little bit closer. Yeah, that was 20. It's no. Why are you going diagonally? It's directly forward. <coughs> Should be at this game, yes. Oh. Uh, no, actually. Sorry, it used to be. Because you have it just. The, I I have no dim. It's only. Your dark vision should be. Oh no, your dark vision is not accurate. Hold on. You know, cause I can't see shit. It should be. I don't know how I did that. It should be that. Oh, go away. Why do I have it? I don't know why I did that. Oh, that's my health. Never mind. There you 
Okay. There oh, we that, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's that's what your dark vision should oh, be. Oh, that would have been nice to know before I went to fucking move. Is he the same? Yeah, uh, he's standing in front right. of me, cousin. I think I call him yeah, yours, yours isn't right. Hang on. Okay. I'm fixing Chili, it. Chili, am I allowed to move Why back is... knowing this oh. new information? Yeah. Because I, I based it off of I can't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah abs absolutely, absolutely. I don't know why your dark vision's around. Now, Scarabs and. Uh, Evie, shedding I can light. still see everything. I'm good. I'm yeah, shedding Scarabs light. and Squirts. Yeah. Uh, she shouldn't be. Oh, wait, where's your robot? Oh, she where's... is shedding light. I don't know Should... why she's shedding light. Do you have a thing for your robot, <laughs> Mel? I. Uh, not right now. I I just made a character sheet for him. Ah, uh, I see. There he is. <gasps> Damn. Oh, there he is. Where did I go? <laughs> I'm gone. You're still there. You're right there. Oh. It's probably because, okay, okay, uh, okay, how did you select this bracket? Here, let me give him, um, the same vision that you got so you don't get twisted up like that. Wait, oh, Sprocket maybe. actually has dark vision? <laughs> does he, wait, does he really? What is yeah, it? It's, it's dark vision for 60 feet, I think. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the dark, there you go. Squirt can't talk, can't see, just let the robot do all the work. It would be really useful oh, okay. if Sprocket had like this laser on it that we could just aim at. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, guys, hear me out. Do I blind the bitch or do I attack the bitch? Um, I say blind. The thing is, is it's a DC uh, saving throw of 15, Constitution. Attack it. It's not failing that. Not <laughs> <laughs> one still ain't failing. Uh, Alright, so I'm Let's go! Okay, I mean, I'm just, I'm fucking shooting it. Go for it, run attack. And you, don't like you get, to, won't you get your I sneak attack like in your wisdom call? I would like to admit that I am using one of my, uh, plus one arrows. Okay, so it's plus one to his attacking damage. Dude. Oh no. Twelve. I would like to, is... how... Oh. Wait, hold on. Are you, are you lucky? So I'm pretty sure we, we had a, did we have a long rest? Oh, uh, I don't think you did, actually. No, I think you have so. one point of lucky? Okay. I'm gonna save that point of lucky, and I'm gonna miss. Okay, I'm yeah. saving that. I don't miss. Saving throw. I'll definitely miss arrow wizard's vice. <laughs> Six into three. All right. Anything else, Casper? Uh, what's the luck? What's the likeliness that this has true sight? Very. It's powered by a vector piece. I would like to roll for stealth anyway. <laughs> Sure, you want a bonus action hide? I want a bonus action hide, just in case. Sure, roll me, yeah, roll me a stealth check. Okay, 23, not bad. Alrighty, if you're not moving, scared of you're up. <laughs> you can't see very well at all, what are you doing? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> You can basically see, like, just the outlines of, um, like, the things around you, um, like, there's barely any moonlight that's offering, uh, assistance right now for your sight. You can see a shifting blob of something on the tree that it's really hard to keep track of. I'm asking out loud. Someone answer me. Where is it? It's, it's that literally way. in it's front of you. Of you. I, it's that <laughs> way. I... I'm directly ahead of you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is it? Wait, you shouldn't have moved yet. Oh god. Too late. Good. <laughs> I still can't see it. You really can't see it? It's massive and right in front of you. I still can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> that was all my movement. <coughs> well, it's any further and you're gonna be aim, up the tree. Uh, aim in front of you. Uh, I... you know what I'm gonna do? What? I would also like to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, because, you know, um... Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't that require you to have a god? Oh, well, sorry about that. I do have a god, what do you mean? He does have a god. He does. Yeah, for now. <laughs> 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 Fucking oath breakers. <laughs> uh, that was my bonus action. Uh -huh. And then 
I just I think that's everything I can do. If you have a uh, if you have a range attack, you can try, but you have to have a range attack. I could th throw my javelin. Sure, that's how you want to do. Won't you lose no. your javelin? <laughs> <laughs> or I could lose my javelin. That is correct. <coughs> but you have other weapons. It will be a disadvantage if you try to throw a jab into it. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't do it yet. I would like to ask my friends... Once Where again... It <laughs> Where is it? It's it's, 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 if you look up a bit, you're it's about to eat you. It's literally... A, a, a guesstimate. You, you can guesstimate where it is, Gareth. You can, you can hear it, mostly. Uh, is... Is it within 15 feet? Yes. I think. Uh, it's, it's 20 feet away. It's, oh, sorry, 20 feet. I will not be doing that then. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is this one? Guys, yeah. You guys should see Scarab's point of view. <laughs> it's, it's probably not. Actually, let me, let me take a picture for you guys, just so you guys yeah. understand. I, I'm gonna, I have a feeling it's absolutely nothing. I mean, like, Mal, Mal kind of knows what it is, because I gave Mal the same thing. I'm yeah. gonna admit, that, that is what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I, I can't see, see it at all! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, no. Where is it? <laughs> Alright, Scarab, really anything else? Shit. Uh, yes, uh, just in case, I want to make sure this is going to be a bad idea. Chili, I want to use my new thingy. What new thingy? thingy? Yeah, my battle sacrifice. <laughs> Wait, no, that's a bonus action. Could I use time. my bon a bonus action as an action? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. going to use a vital sacrifice. Okay. Are you about to cut off yeah, your arm or something? Up there? I have no idea what it is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. Uh, front. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. And then, before I roll, I'm also gonna do... That's not good. The plus... <clears throat> no? I have a plus five. I should be fine. Oh no. He's, he says <laughs> not not trusting himself at all. Which one of them are you gonna gain? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. My Yeah, fuck it. I'ma do I'm a I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pretty sure Wait, you might what? wanna write it in there. I'm pretty sure I just, uh, mentioned that th this is like a once per long rest thing. Yeah, I know. I have it in I there. Swear I'm so confused. About? My sheet says I'm a glory paladin, but I'm devotion. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you lost glory, your god. <laughs> glory to chaos, apparently. Apparently. Um, uh, I'm a... That's, that's the damage. I was like, my yeah. channel divinity's wrong. What? And then I'm also gonna pick the... The plus 2d6 to damage. Okay. Alright, let's go. Extra 2d6 necrotic. Gotcha. Alright. That's your action. Hey, is this person there? Oh no. <laughs> I don't like how big the thing is <laughs> around it. <laughs> Where is it? Can the arm <laughs> see the ring around it? it? I still can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Scarab. You're gonna find out here in a minute. Nice. That big bitch gonna drop down right on top of her boy. How to how what what size creature is this thing? Large. Uh no, I think it's huge. Is it really? Yeah, it's actually What's huge. It? It's three took or three. At least yeah, in an away. emergency, I can oh. just turn one of you into a T-Rex. It is going to huge people. not do that. Okay, it's shifting okay. further up the tree. No, I mean yeah. if you if you get close to death, I mean. Does a T-Rex have dark vision? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't Where think so. Where is it? <laughs> But shift up the tree, and then, uh, Scarab, you have quite a bit of attacks coming towards you. I figured. As, uh, what it only seems to be kind of like these range spikes start to kind of... Oh, uh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You're an adamantium, though, I'm pretty yes. sure. Yes. Yes, that's normal. 
a normal attack. Oh, jeez. All right. It looks like probably, what's your say? 22 right now. Yeah, three of them hit. Oh. So you're taking, let's see, in total? <laughs> do some Scare's immediately gonna go down. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of dice. Don't jinx him. <clears throat> you're gonna take 23 piercing damage. Oh, I gotta and go math. Then... <laughs> and then after that, it is. Uh... Wow, those are really low. Uh, four pure damage. Four what? Pure damage? Pure. P U R E? Unblockable damage. Uh, okay. Damn. Hey, Chili. Yeah? We forgot that I had advantage on attack rolls against a creature that hasn't taken a turn yet. Uh, that we is... We forgot about that. Damn. Mm -hmm. Have well. you just been flat, though? Or, no, you have... You You can see. I... Just... Yeah, you can see. Mm -hmm. Damn. Wouldn't you have also gotten sneak attack on it? Yeah, it... And assassinate? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. damage we missed out on. Yeah. Oh, well, it sucks, it sucks. Yeah, remind, make sure to remind me uh, next time for that. Yeah, <laughs> if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so that's the damage scale. So, in total, that's what, 27 damage? Yes. 23 plus 4. Yes. All right. Square, you're up. What are you doing? <laughs> Not being able to see. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna use my bonus action to activate uh my like radiant infusion thing. I infused my bow with like it'll give me 30 foot of di of bright light and 30 feet of Ooh, dim light. Oh, nice. Absolutely. We love to see it. I can't see shit. There you go. <laughs> oh, I can see you guys. Okay. And now, uh, I'm gonna head over. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna forget anything. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna cast. Oh no. I think um, doesn't Sprocket get his own tool? Huh? Hang on, I'm looking it up. I think Sprocket gets his own initiative. I thought he shared it with me. Okay, I'm um, just gonna. Uh, combat. Oh, yeah, it shares your initiative count. Okay. It takes it. Okay. Uh, he goes immediately after you, though. Yeah, okay. So you take your turn, so and then, then he goes. Then I'm gonna cast Haste on Eevee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, oh. yeah. Oh. That'll do it. So, double movement speed, you have advantage on dexterity saves, and uh, uh, plus two to your AC. Wait, really? I didn't realize now I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna try to move up a little bit. <laughs> Good luck. Fun fact: I still can't see it. Wait, did it back up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it went further. No. I can't see it right now either. No. What? I can see it perfectly. Um, <laughs> so, for Sprocket, because that's pretty much my turn done uh for sprocket i'm gonna he has no range at all so i'm gonna move him closer up as well. <laughs> okay oh now i can see it <laughs> sprocket can see it i still can't <laughs> i still can't see it <laughs> what sprocket can see it all right solace you're up what are you doing all righty i'm gonna I go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fly into the air 30 feet, um, okay. but I'm also going to dual cast haste on uh, Kazrin and Scarb. That's fucking uh, Scarb's out of wait, how far is haste? I'm pretty far, feet? I think. Give right, me a second. Can't remember if it's 30. I'll move forward if I need to. Give me a second. I have to... Jesus Christ. It is 30 feet. Yeah, so yeah. you need to get like in between. You, you need to, to get like right behind Sport. Uh, you have to you have yeah. to sacrifice oh a little bit of height for him. Um, yeah, yeah, I can. To get closer. Um, I mean, I just want to make sure. Fifteen feet. 
15. How do you turn oh, that setting? Wait, where are yeah. you? I'm, I'm... Oh, right here. Uh... I'm right here. I can't hit both of you! <laughs> Damn it! The text settings broken? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it moves it again. How do you turn it off again? Oh, uh. Hand token speaker. It's in settings. It's yeah, it should be in check. settings. Where? Zoom texture. It's like just settings. Configure settings. Configure settings. And then yeah. panda token then, speaker. Yeah, panda token speaker. Where is that? How far down is that? I have it off for me. Uh, it's, it's right under language preference. Yeah. It's oh, I see it. Thank good. you. See, I had it off for me too, but uh. <sighs> <sighs> nope. Yeah, sometimes it comes back on. I don't know why. All right. So I'm actually gonna. How do I move back to where I was? Uh, Wait, I haven't moved yet. I haven't yeah, moved. Yeah, I'm yeah, stupid. Moved. So, so I will be... One second. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make myself um, 15 feet in the air. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna go... I can occupy the same space as Squirt because I'm above them, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna... Sit on top of Squirt. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna dual cast haste on Kazrin... And hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you really on. can't hit if you're right above. I, I can't hit you. Never mind. One second. Hold on. Damn it! This is why I wanted you guys to stay close together. Nope. Nope. I could put it in both of you. I already have haste. I know. Well, I'm gonna have to wait. Isn't it, I guess. Isn't it thirty feet? It is. Oh. I'm being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say we're both within range, buddy. I was counting it as being in half, okay? So I don't have to sit that closely. Let me just... Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna... Give me a second. I'm just gonna be back here, doing math. It's been a while since I had to use this ruler thing, okay? Now I'm going to do a cast haste! On <laughs> 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 Kastrin and Scarab. Okay, same thing to you guys. Double move speed. Uh, plus ah, CDC. And advantage to, um, uh, Texas. It still made me panda speaker, what? So wait, what is this? Uh, right. did you so save changes movement. at the bottom? Yeah, no, double your movement speed. Oh, I forget, you get an extra attack, too. You do yeah. get an extra attack. Right, you get, well, you get an extra action, but the action can only be an attack, dash, um, like, use an object, uh, or dodge, <gasps> I'm pretty sure. So is your genius. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I'm, uh, about to, I'm about to solve Scarab's uh, light issue. Yeah, double double movement, uh, uh, plus two to AC, and advantage on dexterity saving throws. Bro, I just want to point out if I action dash, <coughs> I'm going 140 feet. <laughs> well, you could dash again too, and then add an extra 30 feet on top of it, so you can go 170 feet. Making sure Holy I don't. Fuck. Um, yeah, let me mark everyone so I don't forget. Surely I've got haste in here. Dude, I'm fast as fuck. I don't see it though. I hate it. Here. Oh, here it is. It's a shoe. <laughs> Uh, don't forget though, if you lose haste for any means, you go yeah. for a right turn. Yeah. Basically means you'd lose a turn. <clears throat> uh huh. All right. So, is anything else? Um, nope. <laughs> well, Gosh. actually, was what well, I have to. One second with that. I am. I moved ten feet, so I'm twenty feet in the air. Okay. Evie. It's all your fault. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he did. Uh, where did the spider thing go? I was like fixing my shoes. They went, they went further up the tree. Okay, I was like, okay, I want to get on my mount. Which, yeah, that's movement. And head over here. That's, oh my gosh, that's not the right ruler. What is that? There we go. Oh, that's your fucking- Oh my god, I was wondering what the fuck that was! It's your thingy. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. 
So it's up the tree, rough terrain. <laughs> up the tree? You can't. <laughs> You can't get can't. it up with your mount. I figured. Um, it's gonna be a, a uh, it's gonna be an athletics or an acrobatics to try and get up the tree, cause it's like a straight just climb up. It's not like a, uh, you know, it's not like a, a bunch of rubble or roots are in the way or something like that. This is like a straight ninety degrees just up. I do have a javelin I could throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing. You get the shot. Javelin. Yeah, it'll be a disadvantage. Okay. Well. Okay. Before I do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will be a disadvantage. Because uh, they go 20 feet, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah, I think I think that's as far they can go without disadvantage. If you throw it further than 30, that... Uh, 30, 120 feet. I don't know what that uh, means. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah. It's still be disadvantage. She's 35. I can just... <clears throat> get a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. Uh, but first, let me actually Grass. see these. Grass. Uh, everything's all over the place. Okay. One weapon. Okay. Then never mind. I'm just gonna throw the javelin. Sure, I'm in attack. Seventeen. Seventeen. You kind of. You take it, throw it, and you see the javelin like pierce the shroud, but it doesn't look like it hit it at all. You hear it thud against the tree on the other side. That's not good. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna cat <laughs> shield of faith on myself. Look out! Okay. Oh, fuck off! Oh, is that an extra two plus the haste? So that'd be twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Beefy. Dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it won't. I am struggling with the AC. So it just says 20, but I wrote down on a piece of paper that's 24. <laughs> okay. And I still have another attack, so I guess I'll throw another javelin. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> that's not good. Same result, you throw it, it seems to go overhead just a little bit. Uh, you know this one doesn't actually seem to stick in the tree, it kind of, kind of scrapes against it and just falls down the tree next to you guys. Kind of like, cling, cling, cling. All right, is that it, Evie? Yeah, I think so. I don't think Kazrin, so. you're up, what are you doing? Oh boy! Uh, just, just to check. <laughs> Hear me out, I think I have enough <clears throat> speed. Uh, you first, just fly gonna, up the tree. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use 35 feet of movement. This half. I'm going to so graciously uh, turn on my stone and give it to uh, Scarab. Okay. Uh, what was the light on the stone again? I think it's like 30 feet. 30 feet of bright. 30 feet of dim. Okay. Scarab, it's you okay. are alive with light. <laughs> hey guys, I got a question. You can see. <clears throat> Guys, I got a question. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Where is it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Still can't see it? I still can't see it now. <laughs> oh, dang. Just out of range, That's I think. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's literally like one space away out of that site. Alright, then I... Uh, hear me out? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to make a... Uh, fuck off. You're okay, gonna just... make a fuck off? No <laughs> like, Fuck off and just piss off. Uh, I would like to shoot it again. Go oh, for it, yeah, I'm in uh, Before we do that, I want to actually check something. I feel like I'm missing something. Just, just a little bit. Where? <clears throat> okay. I don't, I don't know, I'm not spending three hours like for it. I will disadvantage myself. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shoot it. Go for it. Who got? Fuck are these rolls? Ooh, fifteen. Ah, whizzes by, and misses it. SMH. I would like to bonus action. <laughs> by that I mean stealth. Just go for it. I would like to. Uh, <laughs> I would like to leave. Uh, no, nope, that's that's not it. No. Nope, Hide away so people don't see you, shame. Uh, 
Alright. Well, when like your attacks are like foliage. that. Well, Absolutely. Which is. Scab! Yeah. You are up. What are you doing? Uh, where is it? Up the tree! <laughs> directly above you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. There it is, right there. Get it. Okay. Pass. I would like... What would this boy like to do? Probably hit it? Keep those. Yeah, you know what? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would like to throw my javelin. Can I throw my javelin? Definitely, yeah, absolutely. 30 <laughs> feet? Yeah. We're in the middle of that attack. Uh -huh. What the fuck is that? Miss! Similar to EB, you like throw it, you see it like, you see it get engulfed by the like shroud of like darkness around it, but no contact. I wanna do it again. Go for it! <laughs> do it again! Whoppa! 15! Nah, same result. Well, you still get an extra action, right? Because <laughs> I'm hasted. Uh, you get two attacks normally? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah, I forgot yeah. we had two attacks. You got another one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Alright! One of them, yeah, you managed to stick on the gems. <laughs> You hear it kind of like dig into some carapace as this monster kind of like reels back and screams. Nine points of piercing! It's also plus 2d6 necrotic. Mm -hmm. Roll that 2d6. <coughs> Four! Nice! Let's check a shuffle for damage. Damage is damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. It only took three fucking shots. But I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> did it. Did it. Did it. Alright. There's nothing else. It is its turn. Oh, shit. Evie! Oh. You're bearing all the guilt here. Roll me a D100. Oh, <laughs> great! That's not what I was expecting you to say. 95. Okay. The creature you see, it seems to, uh, shroud, like, expands, and you hear it almost, like, brace itself. You see it kind of, the tendrils seem to kind of stick in to the bark and dig in. Um, it kind of expands. Suddenly, it's almost like it lurches itself downwards. You see it fly down the tree. Come barreling down. Scared. Go ahead and roll me a strength saving throw. Oh, he should have that It's about to squish you guys. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I would like to advantage. save my throw. I swear to God, if it's the five. <laughs> 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 All right. You see the shadowy mass kind of like smacks into the ground in front of and round you, Scare. Um, as you kind of like look around and brace yourself for a second, uh, a giant maw, almost um, reptilian like, seems to kind of come pouring up out of the ground. You guys watch as it kind of like scoops up Scarab and seems to try to snap down at him. Scarab, however, really, um, a what? Thanks, thanks to your uh, strength, Scarab, you manage to kind of like hold the maw kind of like open and away from you as it like tries to rear down and bite on you. You guys see it like struggle and kind of like flip around with uh, Scarab, almost like a, <laughs> like a dog toy for a second as it tries to just maw him alive. The Scarab is like just brute force keeping it like pried open um, as it eventually kind of comes ripping back and just, as it uh, pulls to the ground, it quite literally just like pulls in, sinks into the ground, just kind of like slams you down with Scarab, but you're not prone. Managed to catch yourself as you kind of resisted most of the brunt of it. Um, as the monsters <laughs> seem to pull back up and re manifest where it had uh, last left off. What's a maw? Like a mouth. Oh. Like, think of an alligator. Damn. Alright. Scarrow! What's all Take those rules for? Take half the damage. Take 17 points of bludgeoning damage oh. as you come crashing back down into the ground. Owie, that hurts. Chili, I would like to use Hellish oh. Rebuke. Go for it. Can... Yeah, roll me that damage. 
Uh, it must make a dexterity save or take. Dexterity save. Also, through. I don't know if I can, but if I can, I'd like to intercept it. Uh, also, I Which would like this? to use it at third level, Julie. Sure. Roll nineteen for his dex save. Um, I'm pretty sure they got. Yeah, yeah, they beat it, but they did half damage. That's fine. Yeah, it's roll damage. Uh, intercept. What's that do? See, hits a target other than you. Uh, with an attack, it has to be an attack. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was an attack or not. Yeah, that was an So, eight. eight points of uh, fire damage, I think. Right? Yeah, <coughs> they have an entry, like, that's a spell, right? Mm-hmm. I get to do that 2d6 necrotic. It's true. Uh, is it both? Attack sense best? Yep. I can re-put her up there if you want. This is when you hit with an attack. Ooh, so. Okay. We may change that in the future. You have to choose which one you want. That's fine. But for now, we'll do both. Five points necrotic? Absolutely. And sorry, you said I take 17? Oh, uh, yes, 17 points of bludgeoning. Alrighty, that's its turn. Square, you're up. What are you doing? Okay, um. So I still can't really see it. It's in my <laughs> dim light. You can, I will say, you can still make an attack if you have the range for it. It'll just be a disadvantage because it's in the darkness. I don't I love that. that. So I'm gonna try to just move a little closer. Okay. Like here, perhaps? Yeah, I can see it now. Um. And then I'm gonna try to shoot it with my bow. And if it hits, I'm going to try to use... Actually, hold on. Just to... Need to check something really quick. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So... Actually, never mind. Okay. I'm just gonna try to shoot it <laughs> twice. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, roll those attacks. Phew! That was garbage! Oof. Very bad roll, yeah. Phew! Oh! Hey! Hey, oh! Hey, oh, yes. nice. Battle did it. Yeah, first one kind of like falls short just a little bit. Shooting, sticks into the tree. Um, the second one manages to kind of fires true as you hear it. Um, it pierces into the darkness and you hear it kind of like, uh, it's kind of like stabs in. You're pretty sure you hit like a main part of it, like not a tendril, like its actual main body. You kind of hear it ah, kind of stick in. All right. <laughs> Trying to think of things I can do as a bonus action, but uh, all of my bonus action spells are concentration, and I'm already using haste, so I don't think bonus I can do anything else. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. Uh, didn't you say you what? weren't using your arrows or whatever with uh, radiant? Uh, I don't remember something. They're not infused, no. The arrows aren't. The bow is. Ah. Uh, you could beat it over the head with the fucking bow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure what that does is you can make your weapon shine. It gets a plus one to attack too, and I think uh, I think you can use a reaction to make them blinded or try to make them blinded. Yeah, but only when they hit me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so that's what that does. All right, so that's your turn, I assume. So sprocket, let's sprocket do. Friend. Now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sprocket. <laughs> <laughs> I like zoned out for a second. Poor, poor Sprocket. Poor Sprocket. Okay, Sprocket is gonna stand right here so yeah. that he can give people disadvantage if they try to hit Eevee or Scarp. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Guys, you're getting some nice buffs there. Especially Scarab. Got an intercept and disadvantage on him. Mm-hmm. Wow. Can I just... Oh dear. You're absolutely... Um... Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna cast a fourth level fireball. Oh, no. On the tree? Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! wait. I don't like the way Tilly just said. <laughs> Hold on. Nah, so the fourth level fireball. That's what? Uh, Ninety-six damage. I believe so. Yeah, go for it. I'm Fucking gonna burn ball. the tree. One second. Fuck up the tree. Shit, oh, I'm hitting buttons tree. wrong. One second, Julie, I'm sorry. I'm hitting random buttons, it's not working. Okay. I'll contest it. Fourth level. 
Yeah, Play I need that song measured now. template. <laughs> it should do it for you. So it's gotta be a 17. Right smack dab on top of it. 34 points fire damage. Okay, let me roll the next time. Here right there. It succeeds. So it takes half damage. Plus five. Plus five. Because I'm a dragon. <laughs> I'm the better dragon. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Scarf. Alright. You guys watch. Yeah, chicken. <laughs> you guys hear the low roar of a flame as it <laughs> explodes at the tip of the tree. You actually oh. see, uh, as it's briefly illuminated, the monster begins to kind of like rear and scream as its hands kind of like the tendrils kind of fly out. Um, the flame seems to engulf it. I will say now the top of the tree seems to be uh, lit a fire as you can uh, now see. <laughs> you now have a massive torch. Can we see? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do the light off of uh, the monster. Let's see you got about that kind of light going on. <laughs> nice. There's a tree now lights a blaze. Get rid of that, because we don't need it. Alright, anything else to us? Um... No? <laughs> That's good. Alright. Evie, you're up! What are you doing? Hi. Scarb, do you need healing? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna lay on hands... Scarb. For... Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh... 15. Okay. Hey, yo. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna throw a uh, javelin at it. I only have five. <laughs> if, do, if I use- I don't, don't worry too much about it. Okay. It's basic javelins, I'm, I'm not too torn about it. All right, I'm throwing a javelin. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have advantage, because it's rare. You don't, but you manage to hit. You see it like barely, one of them barely just hits the syndrome. It's like kind of like snapping around. You see it, uh, javelin just <laughs> Sticks right through it. I'm hitting it again. <laughs> Wait, Chili, 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 before you hit it again. Oh. Chili. Mm -hmm. I I has aura of hate. <clears throat> so uh me as well as friends, uh within ten feet gain a bonus to melee weapon damage rolls equal to my charisma modifier. But that wasn't melee. Yeah, it's I lied. <laughs> Ignore me. I swear, is not very smart. How much did that man that nearly comes in? I took a lot of stuff that does more damage. You are a DPS. I'm hitting uh, it went, again. I went full on on the old breaker. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, easy. We got a DPS. Uh, two sub DPS and two supports. That one falls short, Evie. Yeah. Throw it since it's kind of like go in and stick into the tree somewhere underneath it. Okay, that's it. Tazrin, yeah. Hey yo, sorry, I was vibing the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> fireball, dude, you, you, you can't pass that spell and expect me not to play it. Yeah, <laughs> do. Chili, I'm gonna shoot the motherfucker. My no, fault. Ain't shit I can do otherwise. Absolutely, do it. I would like to shoot the motherfucker. Fuck, wait, 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 Chili, I'm stupid. What's that? <gasps> Shit, I took that Ooh, look at all the that makes things not resist. <sighs> oh wait, it's not resistant, never mind. It wasn't resistant anyway. Yeah, that's never mind. yeah, I'm dumb. I'm double dumb. Alright, yeah, that strikes into it. Yeah, yeah, no. You both stole this. <laughs> yeah, similar to like uh I don't get similar... back on that, right? No, you do not. It wasn't that advantage. Not within... In the, yeah, they're not close enough to another. Yeah. Uh, but it does strike in, similar to Squirt. You're pretty sure you hit like its main body. Here it's like guttural, it's like, <laughs> kind of sticks in, and you hear it kind of like rear and kind of like uh, grunt in pain. Now hear me out, Chili. Mm -hmm. I'd like to shoot it again. Go for it. Because you are hasted. That'll do it. Yeah, again. Fizen, you seem to have like struck a tentacle, <laughs> or a tendril. Alrighty, 90 points of damage. I would like to bonus action stealth again, just in case. Absolutely, go for it. Alright. Scarb, you're up. In my turn! <laughs> I would like to throw my javelins. Go for it. <laughs> 
Oh. Ooh. Oh my god, look at all hey, the yo. critting! What is happening? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Although that extra crit is pretty shit if I gotta say so myself. Uh, <laughs> That'll do yeah. it. So fast forward, uh, strikes into it. Absolutely. Cool. That's a lot of crit damage. Hey, hey, Shelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 technically, technically, that'd be two more d6 because of crit. Oh, <laughs> roll it again. So I roll two more. Seven more. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I mm. did a lot of damage. 15 plus 13. <coughs> what is that? 28? Almost as much as I did. Now, if we were in melee range, you don't even want to know how much I would have done there. Dude, I w now, oh. Scarab, hear me out. You can hit again. I know. I can hit two more times, actually. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Let's see if you hit. That'll do it! Oh! 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 22 or 23 points of damage? Very nice. This Come is why we time. haste the strong people. Yo! The haste is super helpful. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, guys, I think I did pretty well. <laughs> um. I, can, I can hear Chili having to change the health. <laughs> She's like, oh fuck, they're doing more damage than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you did well. I may have to. I'll, I'll look into that ability. I may have to uh, ramp it down just a little bit. Two yeah. Why is the animal? Yeah, why, no. why, wait, is it dead? <laughs> yeah, no, scare your final javelin. We kind of like throw it up. <laughs> kind of like, as you like rear up and kind of throw it in there, um, you see it kind of like digs in, you hear a crunch, and it kind of like uh, screams and rears. And as it seems to kind of like, it's. Uh, <laughs> it's great. It seems to like loosen on the tree and even like slip and kind of slide, um, as it can't even like hold itself fully. Uh, it then falls on the people in front of the tree. <laughs> as it starts to kind of fall, you hear it scream kind of like one final time, and as it does, you hear it scream kind of like crackling, popping, the same kind of warping sound you heard from these kind of like glitch monsters. Um, as it seems to kind of like the darkness pulls in, I need everyone to roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Oh, no. oh hey, I'm good Wait, at those. Who's near me? I they get plus three. They I'm get not. plus three. Oh, yeah, everyone tastes it gets advantage on them. Hey, yo. Dex. You said saving throw? Mm hmm. Well, um, I need to know if that fails or not. Oh, I, can... <laughs> I, <have> it. <laughs> I would like to re roll. Go ahead. It's your final point. Um, <laughs> I use my final point. Does a 14 <laughs> fail to <laughs> it? <laughs> uh, 14 to fail, yes. Um, I would like to re-roll it, too. I will take that roll. Uh -huh. you, got, uh, you got Thank Lucky? You. Um, no, I have the uh, Magical Guidance, where I can spend a source report to re-roll a d20 um, if I fail an ability check. Okay, yeah, sure. Thanks. I got an 8 and a 7. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Well... Yep. I still fail. I do be like that. <laughs> All right, so I think yeah, the only one that succeeds is Kazrin. Uh, I think you have evasion, Kazrin. So you, I think you're fine for this. Uh, I think I do have evasion. I'm yeah, on my character sheet though. You have evasion. You are fine. All righty. Oh, oh my! Oh. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna crackles, make some healing. Crackles and pops as you guys watch because. <laughs> Here, it makes this kind of like strange reverberation. The flames right above it seem to kind of flicker and wave. The tree, quite literally, there's like a uh, a hole that's just like blown through its bark. Um, as even like the foliage and the trees around you, it's like a shockwave as it kind of like hits you guys. You guys are taking, uh, the ones that failed are taking 45 points of damage. Mm -hmm. I'm still up! 45? strikes into you, you guys Friend. feel kind of. Catherine, you're fine. You managed to, like, duck behind a rock. It's kind of like a roll. It kind of goes over you. Everyone that got affected by it, roll me a constitution saving throw as well. <laughs> also, y'all are about to do... Y'all about... Should I roll too, Chidley? Because I'm maintaining haste. Oh my god! What?! Yes. Uh, I, I mean, would like to call this main character syndrome. Uh, I mean, don't worry about it. Haste is just gonna wear off after a while, anyway. 
I can't even be mad. I just did 73 points of damage. Kill me. Honestly, just end me. <coughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Four and eight. Mm -hmm. That's say, um, that increased damage probably should be a D6. Uh, so let's, we gotta go. <laughs> do you want me to change it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bump it down to D6, and you have to choose whether you want it to be on top of spells or melee attacks. They can do that. They can do that. Um, alright, let's do a little scare, maybe, so this. Hoo-hoo! Alright, it's Kazrin, of course you didn't get hit, so you're fine. <laughs> um, I'd right. like to point out that I am still stealth. Solus and Sprocket are fine. Oh. <laughs> Everybody else! Uh, Scarab, Eevee, you guys kind of like, especially being so close to it, you kind of, there's like a moment to where um, the effect as it kind of like hits you, uh, you feel like the, the, the damage is strange. It's unlike anything you've ever felt. It's not like being stabbed or burned or frozen or necrotic damage. It is a strange, just aching damage. And as you guys kind of like get hit by it, and kind of like recuperate from it for a second. You can see for just a split moment, there's like uh, the the boxes and weird squares that seem to kind of um, reverberate. Oh, squirt, it's the same for you too, I apologize. Um, the three of you uh, being the closest, especially as uh, like the strange kind of like glitchiness seems to kind of <laughs> seem to crackle along your skin. Kind of gives you a little bit of goosebumps. But, um, uh, it does that for a moment and it seems to dissipate. Wait, where was Zero this whole time? In chain. Damn it. I will say. I um, like we needed his help anyway. <laughs> I'll say you guys notice, uh, especially the closer ones. I'll say I, I'll notice um, as. Hang on. <clears throat> Get some ambience for this. Let's put that in. All right. As you guys hear the piece seems to hit onto the rock, the vector piece. I would like to, uh, I would like to run up and use some of my uh, extra clothes to like fucking cover it. Just get some here. Up, <laughs> Nobody look at it. Run up and quickly just throw some kind of like extra clothing over it. You get it covered. <laughs> Smiley, look at it. Smiley, smiley, smiley. All right. Somebody go get Smiley! So you guys rush out and she gathers Smiley. Uh, grab a hold of him because he is slow. Do you want to pick him up and seem to kind of just like tow him outside? He is just kind of like surprised. And you pull him out there. He's like, oh, 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 what is it? What? Eat it. We, Smiley, we need to eat it. It's the vector piece. We need you to eat it. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. As you guys kind of, like, position him, he, like, set him down next to it. As you pull the clothing off, he quickly um, picks it up and just kind of kind of sucks it into his uh, maw again. Now we gotta fight Smiley. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, please, no, please, no, please. Yeah. No, please. <laughs> Unlike Mama Violet, um... Smiley does not change. He seems to be unaffected by the vector piece. Pretty sure. And he just stows it away. Is Mama Violet gone? Like she's very gone. <laughs> Her, uh, well, it's a uh, pretty disturbing sight. Um, basically. What was left of her is now kind of just draped in front of you guys. Um, <laughs> you've expelled the creature. You guys are quite literally just looking like at um, a like maybe a, a bit of her clothing. Not even just a corpse, like just her skin. Uh, oh no! There's just no like a... there's no bone. There's no muscle left over. Gross. So and does anyone here? have a diamond worth at least a hundred gold pieces? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 300 gold pieces, sorry! I think, um, Actually, hold on. I think Revivify needs a body fit. Oh, wait, we don't have her body? <laughs> She's, like, in pieces, I'm pretty sure. Revivify, I don't think Revivify, or Revivify can restore that much. Uh, dang. Like, we'll put her back in the 
Yeah, no, she is, uh... No, there's there's nobody. She's very no. dead. Only remains of her is her skin. We really... Wait, you can cast Revivify? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I then we need to go to the nearest. We need to go to the nearest town and spend some gold. <laughs> uh, it has to be with the problem. Problem is, minute. I don't have money. Well, no, no, yeah. I, no. I mean, I no. I just mean in general for us, not for her. Oh. I will. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep in mind, the I only works for somebody that died in the last minute, so you have to be very quick with it. I can't believe the money gets consumed. <laughs> uh, I mean, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It does require money every single time we use a uh, re revive spell. I mean, it's bringing back the dead. It comes at a cost. Yeah. Surprise, it's only money. Take my fucking jump it's, it's also helped to just balance it out. I can perform funeral, right? Alright. Y'all get, get 460 XP, by the way. 460? Mm-hmm. That's not a lot. Well, it wasn't a very hard fight. Yeah. It wasn't a it wasn't a very powerful boss either. It was just like a mini boss. Can someone tell me what that equals? Sixty eight hundred and thirty. Yeah. Evie gets uh one extra for the guilt. We're so close to the <laughs> I don't want that guilt. I'm not taking it. <laughs> what are all the Owlin doing? They are uh, beginning to flock around and seem to be just like in disbelief of what's happening, what has happened. So this is going to start like explaining like profusely. What, what exactly do you explain? Um, I explain that she was it's taken over by a vector piece what? and there was nothing that we could do except uh. to destroy the monster and save their forest as much as we could. Should we mention the vector piece? We burnt down their tree! Should... They're the owls! Trees. They're not the tree even- is currently burning down. Oh shit. It's still they're not fire. even like- They're not even like good owls though. Like they're like- I mean they're good, they're owls, but they're like primitive. They probably don't know what a vector piece is. Well I know, but like if the doctor, you know, comes over here to investigate- Oh, what happened? Okay, well, we maybe not say the we don't say the vector piece. We she was corrupted by the doctor. There, the doctor corrupted her. I mean, I mean, you want to tell them the honest truth? Tell them that a chaotic god corrupted them. Yeah, but we don't know that. Only Evie knows that. I would rather blame mm -hmm. the doctor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only Evie knows that. Only, only persuasion, so this at advantage. I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at persuasion sometimes. If I could find <laughs> the button. He just hoots at them. Woohoo! Let's try new. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. That's still not terrible. It's not a bad roll. No, role. it's not twenty. Jeff. It's an extra twenty. Oh, yeah, it's oh, it's, oh, advantage. Sorry. Yeah, at advantage. Um. All right, yeah, you managed to explain. You can see they're definitely, they're distraught. And it's like, you know, it's the same as anybody losing an important figure in their life. Um, it's, it hits them pretty hard. And you can see um, the sadness that seems to kind of hang around um, the village. Um, but you managed to kind of... Um, Keep them at peace, at least with you guys. Um, they do seem to be, uh, you know, they're not taking it out on you. Thankfully, they seem to be kind of naturally peaceful. And uh, just thanks to the fact that you're also an Alan, they listen to you very intently. Um, but despite kind of reassuring them, you can see um, they are definitely not okay. Um, they are very, very sad. And you can see a lot of the Alan actually start to kind of like disperse from the place in general. The trees burn down and their mom has been killed. And so now a lot of them are beginning to just kind of leave in general. So they kind of break the tree line and just start to kind of head away. I feel like we should offer them the opportunity to stay in the train with us. How many elves? 
Who knows how many? There is definitely a lot. I mean, immediately, there's probably like 60 of them. Just like near the tree, like kind of like mourning over. You can see there's like a good couple just like close by, like kind of crying, sobbing. Um, nice. Some just like back against the tree line. And then, of course, the ones that seem to be just like getting up and they're just like kind of flying away over the tree line. Gotcha. I wish we had that we staff so we could have. <laughs> we could have grown them a new tree if we had that staff. What'd you say, Scott? They could work in the bazaar. That's slavery. <laughs> <laughs> it's not slavery. We're asking. We're not taking. Uh, I wanna. <laughs> Get to work, you feathered piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna cast funeral rite on Mama Violet. Okay. Uh, throw it up there for me. Uh, it's it's the one of them. It's the one that says funeral, right? It's, right? it's the fourth one, the fourth box. One, two, three, four, five. You can touch one corpse the and one. for the next seven days, the target can't okay. become undead or by any means. I see. All right, absolutely. Yeah, you take your hand to it, and you see the energy washes over. All right, she can't become undead. I feel like we should get some stuffing and like fill up the skin. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking make a mom with the violet skin. No, just just for like a, a funeral, we can't just show them in her skin. So you can remember her forever. Hold her like a flag, dude. Just oh my god, we put her up on the train. <laughs> yeah, this is some fucked up shit. Man. Jeez. We're gonna coop. This is what we're gonna do to you if you don't help us. Oh my god. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> Oof. I don't wanna go to my room. <laughs> is that a corpse though? Is it though? <laughs> We can't identify feel... it. Are you sure you can you don't write it? I, I mean, it didn't say body. It said corpse. So. Yeah, yeah. Is it a corpse though? <laughs> so, what the hell is a corpse? corpse? At this point, it's a fancy drape at best. That's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it could make a nice jacket if you just hung no, it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should search the area for Mama Violet's um, belongings. What? Scott. Are you saying you want to take her stuff? <laughs> She's Scott. dead and all the help was leaving. Oh my it. god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to my room. Dead all over again. <laughs> 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 She's dead and the owls are leaving. She can have some pretty cool stuff. Oh, oh, out I, of grave, I, like. <laughs> I don't want to be in. Chili, where's her house? It's burning down. Yeah. <laughs> it's burning down. She lived in the tree. She lived oh. in the tree. Does I anybody said, have shape water? I wonder who did that. I said it's fine. I said it's fine. I said fine. Unless you want to risk hurting yourself. Um. You guys can hear the like, crackling and like just the tree like giving out as it's burning. Uh, a lot of the inside starts to get kind of like, um, like burning Roasty pieces. Just like yeah, it starts to kind of like burning pieces just like fall in and start to kind of catch fire to the Wait, furniture and stuff. Can I cast it. mending on the tree? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get rid of like a battle. You like the the javelins that like stuck into it. Yeah, you can get rid of that hole. Oh no no! Can can I go pick them up? Can I bring the javelins back down to them? I mean, if you want to, it really doesn't matter. I give your javelins back. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, at this point, you guys kind of like, as you can kind of see into the tree, yeah, a lot of her home is now beginning to just kind of burn down. A lot of the top is kind of like caved in a little bit, and that's a lot of the furniture inside is like caught uh, fire and starts to burn from the inside. I'm gonna look at Evie and be like, "Damn it, Evie!" I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know that it was Evie's fault. Dude, it's always Evie's fault. If you have to question it, it's Evie's fault. I mean, all we know is that Evie did the mind thingy, and then she became spider. 
For all we know, Evie did this to her on purpose. Evie, are you evil? Evie's uh, retreated to her room. Well, sounds like an evil thing. I would like to, I would like to run off and try and console the upset Evie. Okay. She, you can't. She evolved into a Jolteon. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 but, the, but the Everstone or whatever the fuck it's called. I forgot what the fuck it is. No, it's, it's maybe Flareon then, or maybe no, 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 no Umbreon. Mano, Hit with all that darkness. Mano, mano. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna carry Smiley back to his bazaar. Okay. Back to work, bitch. What if I press to just hate the tree like a lot? No, this this fire is reaching at this point. Where's Dipper when you need him? Oh, Dipper. Dipper. Over there, over there, or up there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh... Dipper is looking at you very disappointedly from uh, beyond the grave. I'm just trying to go to leave you. Dipper, don't be mad at me. Sorry. Oh, I'm back. What? Right. I'm coming uh, in to console. Yeah, Kazan's coming into your room, maybe. As you all kind of, I assume, file back onto the train. I'm hanging out with Smiley. I can't believe we just killed Mama Violet. Oh, uh, hi, Catherine. Hey, how are you feeling? I, uh, I feel a little bad. I, I mean, a lot bad, but it's okay. I mean, it's not really, but. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? You didn't really get the chance to, um, I guess have her look through your brain. To I'm be sorry. honest, I really didn't want her to. Why? I. There, it's it's too much. There's a reason why I didn't want to go. I really don't want to be a woman. Sorry, you cut out what? I, I really don't want to be reminded. Reminded? It's... Well, to be fair, I've witnessed many of that without actually witnessing I really don't want to be reminded. Uh, oh, the only original party member. I'm sorry. It's fine. The best I can do is keep moving. Yeah. Just like you. Yeah! It's fine. Tomorrow's another day, right? So. Mm -hmm. Evie's ready to break down. <laughs> yeah, all we have to do is move forward. It's all we really can do, so. Exactly. Look forward to the next day. Can only get better from here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that! <laughs> but Chile's writing it down. It can only get I'm worse ready, from here. <laughs> I can make it worse. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> that coming from the doctor's mouth? I'm not surprised. Uh, but, uh, did Imagine you... the, the doctor gets hope and turns her into a, a robot. Did... Please don't say that! Uh, did, did you need anything? I mainly wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. Maybe ask what happened? Uh, uh... I don't really, I mean, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. It was, uh, well, it was really, uh, empty at first, and then I heard someone talking to me, and it ended up being, uh, you remember Scarlet? Scarlet. He, he thinks for a moment for the masked lady. Uh, yeah, Scarlet, the smiling woman. Oh, the cookie bitch who showed up at three a.m. <laughs> Your girlfriend. If that's how you remember, yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, that terrified the fuck out of me. I don't know why she appeared, but um, she. She told me that she could give me the vector piece. 
And I mean, it's here now. But. I mean, you have a badge. I guess. I mean, I didn't really realize that it would hurt Mama Violet. I didn't mean to. It's, it's not your fault, baby. Aren't they a chaotic entity? Mm hmm. It's not surprising then that something like this would happen. I just. I feel like I should have been more. careful. It's not really your fault. Oh. To be fair, you had no idea if that thing was going to be real or not when you got out of that. I don't think anybody else really came back with gifts. At least not that I saw. I... I promise I'll be more careful in the future. I don't want something like this to happen again. And that's all we can do. But, uh... I think I... want to... just stay in my room for right now. Alright. If you need someone to talk to, though, I am here. And I'm sure Sigara also wouldn't mind talking to you. I... I don't really want to worry anyone. Evie. Look at this adventure we're on. I, I think no matter what, we're all going to be working. Being quiet's not going to help anybody. Mm. I'll keep it in mind. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. I think everyone should rest up right now. If you need mm. anything, you can talk to me as well. Absolutely. Uh, Evie, I do- I do want to ask one thing. Yeah? You said Scarlet gave you the Vector Peep, right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that mean that the cat and Scarlet are working together? I'd assume so. Or she took it from the cat. I'm not exactly sure how she got it. I didn't ask. I probably should've. But why would one chaotic god take it from us? Well, one chaotic entity give, take it from us. I mean, and another give it to us. It is like they're working together. But uh, I, I think that we should be very, very quiet about us having the Vector Beast. In fact, I, I don't really think we should talk about it much more. No, I think after today we don't talk about it. Oh no, the doctor's gonna come looking for it. Because the doctor came looking for it like not too long ago, and we didn't have it. He searched everywhere. I doubt he'd come looking for it, like, the very next day, considering he didn't find it the first time. No, but... He might have it in for our heads anyway. Mm -hmm. If you see anything else suspicious, even if it's Scarlet, I want you to tell us. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you guys- I'm gonna let you get around. Alright, you mm -hmm. rest well. Mm, you too. And he's gonna kinda leave the door, gently closing it behind him. Okay. So what do you guys... want to do? I- I, I basically just wanna go around, like, tell Scarab, Solus, Squirt, and, uh, go Sprocket. Uh, we don't talk about what happened today. Okay. We don't talk uh, about any items or anything. The bullet is slowly chuffing out of the forest. After everyone's loaded up in. Oh, slowly? Mm hmm. Why is it slowly chuffing? Because we can... It's... It, it needs to start up. Well, uh, it wasn't... It wasn't told to go anywhere, so... It's just, just leaving the area. Uh, I would like to tell the train to go, uh... To go north, back the way we came. Should we go to? Uh, where is that? A because bad isn't idea? up here? Isn't up here like Coots <clears throat> area? Yeah, Coots in that direction. So I'm gonna tell it to go. Uh, pretty much like northeast. Past the uh, past the mountain range that we came from. 
Okay. Yeah. Once you give it its uh, once you give it its instructions, it starts to pick up the speed and start to head that way. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, which way is it going? Northeast. Wait. Northeast. So shouldn't we just? I, I, do we really want to have to fight Coot too? I don't think we're gonna have to. Mainly because of what Shelly said last session. <laughs> he has the second vector piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'll throw all my javelins at him. <clears throat> Scarlet gets another vision. Oh, by the way, here's the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Evie does. Uh, Chili, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would it be safe to say that I collected my um, arrows, or do I say goodbye to that fucking arrow? Uh, I'll say you got it, because uh, Solus could have gotten it. Okay. Then I'm going to get rid of this, because I like to keep temp numbers in uh, the description so I can keep track. There yeah, Solus, Solus could have gotten it for you. Alright. What did I get? My dirty work. Uh, uh... Because you were grabbing the javelins off the tree. Oh, uh, yes. Her plus one arrow is also there. Oh, okay. And of course, the ones that hit the monster, you can't recover. Yeah. I didn't hit a single one with the plus one arrows. I okay. fired the one plus one arrow and got screwed. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair enough. Yeah, once they hit a monster, they, their magic depletes. Let's see. Out of my five plus one arrows, only one of them has ever hit fucking creature. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Start heading that way up. Um. Talking Smiley. Smiley's not upset at you. Uh, he's not mad at you per se, but he does seem to be mulling around with a lot of thoughts recently. Which has kind of like made him, he's kind of dropped his like cheery demeanor for a bit. Uh, just seems to be in deep thought. Oh, what the fuck? I wanna ask him what he's thinking about. Smiley in deep thought? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smiley having a thought? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna ask him, just like, so what are you thinking about here? You look like you're kind of uh, in the zone, or a zone. Oh, um, yeah, uh, that's just so much stuff has, so much stuff has happened, and it's just uh, a lot to take in, I guess. You're telling me. I'm also just sitting, leaning up against the wall in his room. Or his bazaar, or whatever. But, like, is there anything in particular you're thinking about besides just trying to digest everything? Uh, go ahead and run persuasion. Persuasion. He seems to hold in that for a second. I just, I don't know. I guess I got used to living in the uh, the floating city. Everything is so nice there. Oh, he wants to go home. I just never realized. Uh, I never realized how ugly the world is sometimes. I wanna, I wanna go up to him and just, just pat the top of his chest, his chest head, and just be like, well, if I'm being honest, it's not usually like this. I think we're just in a, uh, particularly bad time. Well, it's just... That just makes me realize there's a, there's a lot more mean people out there than I than I thought there was, but I don't know. 
It's, it's so weird. I wonder why they do it. Why, why are they mean people? Some people think they're better than others. Some people think they know what's best. Some people just want to protect, but took a wrong turn. You never know what's going on with someone's head, but okay. I can tell you this much. There's a lot of good people out there. Oh, Scar. Well, huh. I know that. The hope's still out there. Uh oh. She's a good person. Exactly. The person that. The person that came. Uh, awoken me. I think he's a good guy, too. I'm pretty sure he has to be if he made an awesome guy like you. Let me give him a little pat on the head again. His expression seems to stay kind of the same. Kind of cheery and kind of sad. Um, I think I would kind of like to be alone right now. Oh, no, Smiley! Okay, Smiley. Oh my god, no. If you need something, don't don't be afraid to yell. I won't be far. Kind of gives you a small little nap. And I'm going to leave, obviously, but I... Instead of going back to my room, I want to go up the stairs and, like, shell in one of the uh one of the seats in like the actual train portion like in the bag if that makes sense uh the train portion isn't active right now oh okay um but you can kind of you can come up and kind of sit on the back like kind of like on the back end of the trailer yeah i'll do that <clears throat> Alright. Train continues on and on. Do you guys want to try and get a long rest while it's traveling? Yes. I would like my lucky points, please. Okay. I, I think I need a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead and get your long rest in. Oh yeah, look at all that health back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I took as much as I gave. I wonder if my um uh, Oh it does, it automatically does it. I set okay. it up correctly. My lucky replenishes upon pressing the long rest. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. <laughs> I took no damage that entire time. I am happy. All right, guys, sleep the night away. Taking it easy after a series of very uh, gruesome events, you all sleep soundly enough, as much as you can. Nothing seems to come out at you. Nothing seems to happen. Um, while I wake up. Uh, slowly but surely, with no incident, you do notice it appears to be raining outside. Rain seems to be trickling along the windows and on the side of the train. Um, and you notice the train is stopped as well. I would I... very much like to go check on Smiley. I would sure. like to go check where we are. <coughs> okay. Um, you kind of, uh, poke your head in, Smiley seems to be sleeping right now. Uh -huh. Um, aka he looks like a normal chest right now. Okay. 
Seems I gotta to come back later. Seems to be slumbering away. Uh, you go to check. Uh, Kazrin, you poke your head out, and you can see... Um, you're kind of like on the edge of a forest right now. And it's like a mixture of forest and a plain. There's a lake nearby. Uh, and you can see the mountains in the distance. Uh, up, kind of northeast from you. I would like to try and... Because uh, we still have the map from... Whatever to get to Coots. Hmm? I would like to cross-reference that and try and see if we can find where we are in the Oh yeah, you guys are probably... Um... Yeah, good too. You guys are probably like... Oh, there's owner drop for some reason. Let's say you guys are probably right about here. The bottom of this lake. Right there. And we're stopped right there? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, and Coot's up here towards uh, the shield area, right? Mm hmm Yeah, Coot's up there. Is there still tracks in front of us, or did we hit a dead end? Uh, you're not sure. The tracks don't show themselves. Um, you can only see them on the midnights on top of them. Did you run out of tracks? He's gonna just ask the trade. No response. No response. Maybe we drove I would too like far to make into a that perception zone. Perception check. Sure. What are you trying to look for? Uh, being something unsightly. I'd uh, rather it be like some sort of pulse that's deactivating the train. A uh, person who's Casting some sort of fucking spell. Okay. Yeah, I'm a perception check. Oh, is that a natural 20? Oh my god! Ooh, Jesus! Okay! Oh, uh, I don't do it. You don't, you don't notice any. <laughs> that you, don't, don't <laughs> you don't notice anybody that seems to be currently there. Um, and there's nothing different about the. Because you are obviously in the field that's been eliminating. Uh, nothing seems to be different about it. You can still feel the kind of like the sight tension it causes, um, everything like that. Um, if somebody did something magical, they had to have done it and then left. There's no like ongoing magical effect here. Um, but as you kind of like give it a little uh, look around, you notice there's no steam that seems to be pouring out of its wheels, its exhaust, its anything. As you kind of come up into the cockpit, you. Uh, um, the midnight, uh, she's cold. Her firebox is cold. She's uh, dead. No we fire. killed her. Is she? I, I want to. I want to check the fuel source. Oh yeah, you open it up. There's. Um, I mean, there's coal in there. It's just not lit fire. Oh, is it because of the rain? I swear it's rained before. I would like to go to where. Um... Got no Kazrin is. Um, and could I cast Firebolt into the coal area? Firebolt doesn't cast fire. What would okay. you want me to use? Fireball? <laughs> you mean, I'll say, uh, you kind of get try to get a fire stuff. It doesn't light. Kinda like, it lights a little bit, but it just kind of stays cold. I'm gonna go check on zero. Okay. Walk to the other room. It's actually Tenny. He's asleep. Wait. What? Hmm? Tenny slept like before. Yeah, Only once. Like a normal type of sleep, or like the sleep of where I punched him. <laughs> Seems to be a normal sleep. I would like to shake him awake, like, violently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as you come in, he's just like. Grab him with your feet and just kind of just start like just like just shaking him and uh, like just kind of like flapping your wings, kind of like crawling on him, doing all sorts of stuff. So he kind of just like he stares. Kind of like, <laughs> oh, uh, hey, so what's, uh, what's up? 
Um, the train's dead. Oh. Uh, well, that's not good. Kind of, like, sits up on his bed and kind of, like, wipes the sleep off his face. Is Zero there? Of uh, Zero? I had things. Because, um... If the tra- if we're in that weird field thingy... Oh, well. Now that you mention it, he is... He does seem to be rather quiet, kind of like before. Let's see. Hmm. Where are we on the map? Like up here, or hey. no, we're here. Oh, okay, that makes the sense. Bottom of that, like. Hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of miles. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of miles. That's a long way to go. <laughs> and I don't think Flex Tape fixes the train. Uh, we'll fix the train. This Christ. is Chili's way to tell us to get the fuck off the train and go see what that is. Oh, well, do you think something happened? Um, I guess I guess something did happen. Train's out, and Zero's not talking. Maybe if we could find the source of this disturbance, we could use it against the doctor. He kind of shrugs. I mean, it certainly works against Zero, so... Could work against him. Hmm. Well, I say we have to go investigate. Well, whatever you say. Are you wanting me to come along? I mean, you're the expert here on L mutation stuff. Yeah, but I'm not a fighter, per se. Tanny. If I'm without zero, I mean, what am I going to do if we're in danger? Like, I'm a sitting duck. Well, if you die, we should only just have to bring it out of the field and Zero might be able to restart you. Uh, right. Uh, he just kind of gets up. Kind of goes to talk. <laughs> he goes to talk to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the birds tell me we've got some problems. It seems so. I can't trying to respond. Uh, yes, that's what he was saying. Zero is not responding either. So it's affecting both of them. That's what it seems. If I had to guess, based on where we are, I think it's what we saw before. Whatever that weird... Uh, oh, okay. I don't even know what it was. It's like a crack in the sky. Yes. Your Solis was talking about trying to uh, hone it for his uh, own. He's... He can smart. Try. It's smart. Don't even say it's not. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't something... Obviously... It wouldn't be good if it works for the, it works against the doctor for him. But how we know this isn't something that he's doing? That's exactly why I haven't gotten out of Australia. I'm trying to set, I'm trying to see what causes this. Because in all honesty, rain isn't always the greatest. Mm. Based on my, based on my thoughts, we have one of two issues, or three. Either somebody has a field that's purposely messing with the doctor. The doctor is doing this as his own little lab area. Or third, this is neither of those options, and this is an entirely different entity. 
Well, quite frankly, any of those could be bad. Hey, um... Kind of looks over to Squirt. Uh, you, you, um, you were with the Sisterhood of Arms. Is this? <laughs> they just... You think this is something along there, Dean? Mm. Well, Chili, I don't know that information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Chili, do I? I don't know, D. What do you think, Squirt? <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> Shrug, yeah. Maybe. Hmm? Hmm. Well, some of this was suggesting that you... that we investigate it. How are you feeling about that? At this Give point, I'm... Thumbs up. I would probably have followed Tanny, but also sat there in disbelief <clears throat> that he just kind of walked away. <laughs> um... <laughs> So yeah, I'm coming in and being like... He's, he's got like his back to him, He's not looking to Kazrin. Wow. I'm going to be like, we need to investigate this. <laughs> like I said, he's saying that we need to investigate it. Tanny, <laughs> do not make me smack you while Zero is uh, away. How, well, how are we all feeling about this? I'm trying to tell you what I'm feeling about it! That's not uh. good. Everyone else. <laughs> I know who you. Uh, I know what you want to do. Uh, Sprocket joins in and he's just like, "Well, why wouldn't we investigate it?" It could be dangerous. We could be walking into Doctor's territory. If we're gonna walk into it, we may want mm. to think of a plan. We don't even know where we start looking. Exactly. Somewhere in this field. Wouldn't we just go in this in the direction it gets stronger? Well, how would we be able to know if it gets stronger? Well, Tanny would be able to feel a disturbance, at least. You seem a lot of things sometimes. I mean this in a really nice way. I mean it. I'm king of assumptions. Well, you, do assume, you assume a lot of things. I, I can't tell if it's stronger or weaker. I mean, it could be stronger right where we are because the train stopped instead of being slowed. But it could just be that the field changed. I don't know. There's a lot of I think our happen. best bet is to go investigate it. I think we should go as a group, but when we get closer, I think I should go ahead. Uh, huh? Well, out of all of us, I have the best chance of surviving or stealthing away. Uh, and the only other one that comes close, I don't trust exactly to be out there on his own. Hey. He's gonna he's gonna kinda like look at Solus. Uh, um also I'm gonna be like, wait, didn't we meet your girlfriend in this weird zone place? And I'm looking me? at Evie. Huh? Girlfriend? Yeah, the weird masky girl. She's not my uh, Scarlet? I also think the last time we met her, wasn't it, Randy? True. I... That was my third theory is that this could be a chaos entity at work. The devil you know, or the devil you don't? Should we maybe wait out the rain, then? If you think it's connected to the rain? I think we need so to use the rain. Use it? Maybe that we should follow it. That's, the rain. that's another thing as well, is I can hide... <laughs> I can actually hide using the rain. Be stealthy with the power of rain. <laughs> Actually, he can. Anything that ca like uh, causes like a natural uh, reaction to weather and stuff, back. even through like light foliage, rain, snow, he can actually just go. Poof. He can use that to his advantage. Yeah, it's called Mask of the Wild. You can hide even when Hi. you are lightly uh, obscured by anything nature-wise. Natural phenomena. Okay. Is that what I'm hearing? You guys want to investigate? Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I think it's our best bet. Uh, I am going to look at... Uh, I'm going to look at... Uh, freaking, I'm going to look at... Hey, short stack. Which short stack? We got two! 
We're both I'm, pretty I'm timing. Looking, I'm looking at friends. I is your uh is a uh, is little guy gonna rust if he's out in the rain? Mm. -mm. They shake their head. All right. And that's one last thing to worry about. If that's the case, I think it's best if we all go together. And then once we get within a decent range, send <coughs> a scout. I've got this. Absolutely not. Picture. I will turn around and pluck all your feathers. Do not test me, Solus. The last time you decided to make, uh, or engage in anything, we ended up almost getting screwed. Mean, what did I do? You you make rash decisions without thought of anybody else. What did I do? I want an example. Okay, this isn't even this isn't even and like character wise, this is uh, player wise. I know Solus is fucked up, and I don't remember. <laughs> 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 this is player being stupid. Uh, no, no, I don't think Solus has actually gotten us into any trouble. I think he has. I think Tempa has, but Solus. No, I'm pretty sure Solus has too. I don't think Solus that, got us into any trouble yet. Because I remember yeah. us talking about it and being like, "Oh yeah, he's exactly like Tempa." Yeah, but I didn't actually get us into trouble. <laughs> I just suggested things that would get us into trouble. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> you made Leviathan mad. I think. Who's Leviathan? He was in the first. The city gambling the guy. Oh, that guy. It, so wait. I, I didn't really make him mad, and wasn't that Tempo? Wasn't I still? Wasn't no, Tempo was still? dead no, at that point. Tempo was oh, dead. Oh, Tempo was dead. Okay, uh, yeah, but <laughs> that was, he was just upset that Buggy was better than him. It, so, it's raining, right? Mm -hmm. What does the clouds look like? like? Does it look like it's going to be raining for a while, or? Oh uh, yeah, it is. Over, it is uh, overcast, kind of gray, and there's clouds for as far as you can tell. I don't like the rain. There's no sun. Mm. Now, Trill, you weren't here. I want to ask this, what kind of blessed the rains? <laughs> mm. I also think we should take uh, Smiley with us. Why do we want to take the take the vessel with us? While we're He's taking him out. He's not a vessel. He's a Smiley. I'm talking about the vessel yeah. of the... You know what? Because if we leave the vessel, there's nothing stopping the doctor from coming and seeing for himself. Can you not call him a vessel? Yeah, that seems a bit... Well, the thingy that's in him. He's a vessel of the thingy. It's I think we should smiley. drop this conversation right now. Given the position we're in, I don't think we should be talking about this. And just safely assume that Smiley is coming with us. Hmm. Maybe we could polymorph him into something. <gasps> Maybe a T-Rex. Can, can we not, please? Smiley would actually be super useful as a T-Rex. Why don't we just bring him with us everywhere and I just turn him into a T-Rex every time? Because it would I be think... wasteful for your spell slots. <laughs> I think it has to be a creature, too. Uh, Smiley counts as a construct. Oh. That's depressing. <laughs> true polymorph would work, I think. Yeah, true polymorph, man. Yeah, but if I had true polymorph, I'd be a full fucking dragon by now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second campaign Jeff wanted to be a dragon. Yeah. Just play yeah, dragon but I don't. School, I morning. don't have a. I don't have true polymorph this time. Why don't you play a dragonborn? Make a shot in each fly. campaign. Be a gem dragon. Fly. Be a gem dragon. Yeah, gem dragons can fly. What? Yeah. I don't think yeah. Jeff thought about that. Gem what? Fifth level, I think. Yeah. They can just level, fly they naturally? At fifth level, yeah. I yes. think. At fifth, at fifth level, they get, uh, like, the wings that you could use for a minute. Oh, yeah, but that's the same as my other one. That's the same as a whatchamacallit. And you still try to become a dragon at that <laughs> point. Yeah, but... Flight. <laughs> <laughs> like, actual flight. <laughs> Listen, this is too much thought. This player is eating banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys gather up, uh, kind of wait, kind of rouse uh, Smiley up as you all kind of get ready and begin to investigate. Everyone, go and roll me investigation check. 
Heck yeah! I can investigate. I know how to do that. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm out. expertise in that. Oh, yeah. Well, no one. one. Mm. I see. I did terrible. It's okay. You can never do as bad as Evie, I promise. <laughs> I only got one more better. <laughs> That's still better. <laughs> yeah, you rolled the same as me and did better. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Alright, you guys see a little poke in a pod room as you walk for a good couple of hours. You guys spend uh, most of the day um, kind of walking and investigating, leaving the train by. Um, actually, enough to the point that the rain actually seems to kind of let up, kind of uh, eases into like a sprinkle, and then seems to kind of um, just go into like a cloudy day. As you begin to kind of uh, go further and further, I'll say uh, it takes I'll you right guys, back. Uh, you're looking at like five to six hours of walking um, as you're looking and looking. And there's no seemingly, there's no seeming difference um, until uh, Squirt, you're the first to notice it. You guys kind of come up and begin to kind of take a bit of a break. You're kind of uh, looking around and... Um, uh, you kind of hit this uh, kind of small lake here, and it's big enough that it seems to have like a bit of like sand on the outskirts of it. As you're like, kind of going up to uh, like investigate, and whatnot, you can kind of feel um, the difference between like the field and uh, like the strength of it. As you try to like walk onto the sand, there you feel like uh, uh, you feel goosebumps, and it's like uh, electricity, kind of like almost um it's like static electricity your hair kind of like goes up a little bit seems to kind of puff out um there's a field that just physically um repels you from stepping onto the beach it's kind of like um think think of like um kind of like when you push magnets together like similar poles it's kind of like that sensation. Mm. You're like walk in. It's like Ugh. like you could go technically a little bit, but then it's like, Ugh, but it just like physically pushes you back. Kazan, you're you notice this as well. You see, you basically see Squirt doing it, and then you give it a few test rounds yourself. And we can't get past it. <clears throat> no, it is like it's almost like touching a wall of like live electricity. It's not enough to hurt you, um, like. But you feel the tingle. Yeah, you feel the tingle for sure. Like, it makes your body kind of vibrate. And as you kind of, like, push against it again, it's kind of like a really strong magnet. Like, trying to push similar poles together. Like, you could get a little bit in, but then it just, like, your feet just, like, slide on the sand and it pushes you off. Oh, Can I, I mean, throw that. a rock? Sure. I want to throw a rock, rock into the field. Grab a rock. Uh, very similar effect. You throw it and you see it kind of like it goes forward and it does like a U turn in the air, just shoof, over your head. Scar of Things Destiny. Uh, I would like to run at it. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes flying wait. back, I'm gonna catch him. If he comes <laughs> flying back, I'm Scar. catching him. This motherfucker wanna go flying. Yeah, roll me strength check, Scar. Or actually, roll me an athletic if you want. It's better. Oh, I guess it was. And that one in that one. Ah, that. Hey, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> you see, you see, Scar, you see Scar. He's like, "Holy shit, that's cool!" So he just gets out. You see him like run past the sand, and man, Scar actually gets pretty damn far. You watch him like, he like slows down to a jog, and suddenly like a walk, and he's like, like pushing Scar, and you can see like, um. You guys can see, like, there's quite literally, like, electricity, like, crackling off the scales. And suddenly, Scarab just swoosh, starts to fly backwards. <laughs> kind of, like, fly through the air. Um, yeah, Evie, you break his fall. You kind of, like, uh, swoosh, like uh, be, Before she breaks my fall, uh, while I'm flying through the air, could I look at Solus and flip him off, saying, I could fly too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Solus, uh, we like... We love you. I'm sorry. Uh, Scar, uh, Scar gets pretty damn far. I'd say he gets like 60 feet in. And then the field quite literally just like, just flings him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I uh, send Struck it in? 
Sure. I want to try. See if it just like it, it likes robots, maybe. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll a strength check for Sprocket. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this isn't gonna work. That's not terrible. You're gonna break the goddamn okay. robot. Sprocket. I'll say it gets about like twenty feet in. You see, he kind of like pushes against it. Is he kind of? You can hear him like strain against it, like. Is he kind of like pushes and pushes? It seems kind of like he's definitely struggling. And again, similar to Scarab, uh, see like just these stuff kind of <laughs> kind of like crackle along his arms and body as he just <laughs> gets flung back. I will be right back does anyone, super quickly. Does anyone okay. have lead? 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 Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure like a sheet of lead can stop magic. I don't Speaking think that's how stopping that works. Magic. Works. How would I just dispel magic? Oh. oh my god. I mean, it might not. I don't I don't think it's magic, but like, if it's similar to magic, it might work. I say we try. <laughs> Gone fishing. <laughs> um, the issue with dispel magic is you have to choose the target. There's no target that you can see here. The Unless spare. you want to. Yeah, unless you want to try to target the sand. That's probably not going to work, huh? But if we I had, know. You, like, you get a pretty good feeling that this is like a field that's being emitted somewhere. Like, if we had lead, we, if we tried throwing it, we could see if it would just keep going or if it would also, like, turn around. Or we could, someone could get a, just a face full of lead that comes back at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, homemade bullets, let's go! Mm. But if this is the edge, then that might mean that there's a center. Well, he back. That's normally how that works, EVS. Um, I have an idea. What does your Does idea? anybody have to spell magic? <laughs> okay, oh, <no>. so... <laughs> he just went over this. <laughs> hey, he wasn't oh. here for it. He wasn't here for it. <laughs> not gonna... It's not gonna work. Um, yeah. Guys, guys, I have a brilliant idea. Just as it comes back. Dispel magic, it's not gonna work that. Can I- f I would like to firebolt the field. <sighs> yeah, your firebolt, it just soars. 120 feet and stops. Hey, wait, it goes through it? Yeah. I have an idea. Uh, wait, can I see what's causing it? Like, in the middle? Uh, I'm on perception. Okay, let me roll you that perception. <laughs> I'm glad you and I thought the same thing. <laughs> Guys, I, I have an idea. Oh no. Ah, oh, good perception. I'm gonna like, no. Kind of like, kind of like peer. No. So this. There, there's just an island out in the middle of the lake. You can't really make out anything else. Can I try to fly up and over it? Sure. What happens? Can I fly and give it a test? Uh, it goes up pretty decently high. Um, you, you. Could go like definitely a good couple of miles before you clear the top of it. But there is a top of it. Yeah. So I could get in. Mm, well, no, it still repels you. It's oh. oh, it's like a, it's like a dome. It's like a yeah, dome. It's like oh. a dome. Oh. Guys, I have an idea. Um, so how far is the island from us? <clears throat> mm, probably, I'd say probably about a mile or two. My uh, if I had to guess. My idea will not work as well now. One second, I might have something for this. Yeah, yeah, it's a good couple of miles uh, long. Surely that's at 29. Um, I don't well, know. That, that's been the island. <sighs> Wait, Thaumaturgy. I'm hey, what if you. Like gap right here. I think Evie should yell at it. Yell at it? <laughs> what do you I mean to yell at, yell at it? Move, Just please! Like, guys. <laughs> guys, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah? Does anyone have some rope? I think oh, I do. Extra rope? Can I see your rope real <coughs> quick? Absolutely. Cool. I'm going to take the rope. I'm going to take out one of my javelins. And I'm going <laughs> to smile at squirt. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you can throw the- wait, the javelin's just gonna get repelled too. It needs to be something- <laughs> it's gonna it needs to be energy. Does it have to be magic? It has to be- it has to be some sort of energy that's not solid. We, we threw Fire a rock isn't at it, solid. and it- Yeah, you did throw a rock, and the rock just came back. But what if I cast <laughs> magic on that- hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, just make- just make the, the javelin magical. 
Divine. My plus one arrow. Just fucking shoot it in with squirt at the weapon end. Secret weapon on it as an action. You can imbue one weapon with positive energy. Oh, I don't know if that's magic. Wait. Oh, if the weapon's not already magical, it becomes magical for the duration. Ha. Alright, so... I feel like this is gonna go badly. <laughs> we magical weapon... I'm gonna step weapon. back. <laughs> we magical weapon javelin. We tie Squirt to the javelin. I cast Shield of Faith on Squirt. Everything is magic. It should fly through. You're just gonna throw Squirt through the shield? Would Squirt I'm... be magical with Shield of Faith, or would it be, like, a magical shell, but, you know, Squirt's still not magical. Well, yeah, but if it's a shell... My... Hmm. Wait, I have a better way to test this without all of the theatrics. Oh, but the theatrics um... let's make fun! <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to, like, minor illusion and, like, try to do it through the barrier. Like, place the minor illusion on the other side. Yeah, it works. It should work! <laughs> yeah, <it's out. laughs> That was your test? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Sacrifice me. I'm gonna try to do something really quick. Why don't you just put Sprocket through it instead? I tried. Squid's it smaller, work. I guess. No, no, I like, I mean, put, oh, okay, he's bigger, though. I guess I can't throw him. I'm pretty um, sure Sprocket's bigger than you. I'm gonna use my boots to teleport 15 feet into the barrier. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, well, what? You, your boots have teleportation magic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, same, they do. Uh, boots of the Winding Path? Yes. Okay, absolutely. You get on the edge of it, where it's kind of like repelling you, and you kind of wheel your boots, you guys see Squirt just like turn into like this fine silvery mist as they just... <laughs> Pop up on the other side, Squirt. Yeah! Oh! Squirt! You kind of, Can kind you bring of us pop, with you? <laughs> as you kind of like pop on the other side, Squirt, you, as you take a look around, you notice um, the place, uh, the, the island and the lake look different. Um, it is bone dry. There's no water in it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas on the outside, it looks like there is water in it. Uh, I, hope well. that's the, I hope it's an. Oh my god, what if it's an anti magic field inside? <clears throat> oh wait, never mind. Minor illusion wouldn't have worked. Never mind. We're fine. Um, <laughs> before I do anything about that, I'm just gonna do a little mocking dance to my little teammate. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, <laughs> you guys don't actually see Scrape. Uh, Scrape, you can see them. Wait, can he hear us? Yeah, you can hear him, Squirt. <laughs> squirt! <laughs> oh. Man, throws a fucking rock outside. <coughs> Everyone's freaking out, Squirt. Where does he go? Mm. But can we hear Squirt? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I... Oh wait, what about what about Sprocket? Can, can Sprocket? <laughs> Sprocket's just like, oh. <laughs> Where did Squirt go? <laughs> uh, I want to try to write a message in the sand. Can I? Can I write yeah. words in sand? Yeah. Writing words in sand—it's similar effect. They don't see it. Oh, I would like to fire. I would like to fireball through the barrier I again. Promise to protect the <laughs> swords. Okay. Well then, I'm gonna use my boots to teleport back. <laughs> okay. Kind of press against it. <laughs> Actually, um, you don't oh, need no. teleport pack. Uh, you can just walk through. It repels you out. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Squirt just, like, appears. Oh my god! Too bad Squirt can't tell us about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna write in the sand. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say, No ocean. <laughs> 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 Scarf's gonna like bend down, or like, <coughs> or just be like, "That's correct. That's a lake." <laughs> Smiley, Smiley, Smiley does like the same thing. He's like, "Yeah, that's there is no ocean." <laughs> Buddy, that's a lake. 
Gonna try to punch Scarb in the face. <laughs> 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 <sighs> can I, can I, can I roll it? Scar will take it. <laughs> well, if you want to, go for it. It's a uh, strength check. I would like that <laughs> 20. It's like a light tap, Scar, <laughs> in your cheek. <laughs> it's like a little pop. <laughs> what? What are you trying to tell us? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Squirt and I'm gonna message him. Reply to me in message? Question mark. That's not, that's still, yeah, he's still gotta talk with it. Oh. They just scratch out ocean and just write water. No. No water. water? Are you thirsty? That's clearly a lake. Are you okay? Are you thirsty? <laughs> I would like to hand Squirt my thing of water. <laughs> I would. I would. I would like to look at Spurt. What do you mean? Like uh, the lake's just gone. It's dried right. up, non-existent. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm looking like, at one, two, or three. <laughs> two, 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 two. All right. Well, I guess the lake's dried up. But I don't look dry. No. That's fine. Stay right in the sand. Illusion? Question mark. Wait, Chili. When I ran in, like, how, like, did I run like the sixty feet in and then like not reach the water yet? Yeah. Oh. Like it's about stretchy. a mile or two in. Well, yeah, 60 but feet I will not cover that. No, I assumed like the water was like a mile. I didn't think it was like a it, mile it, from the sand. No, 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 no. Yeah, the water is a mile. The sand isn't. Sand's yeah. probably just like 120 feet in total. I got halfway. Yeah, you got about halfway. But Squirt, where did you go? You just disappeared. I was worried. Was they like just a... point to their boots. <laughs> hey, hey I'm a... Scarf, throw me! <laughs> Wait, what? Am I throwing? <laughs> Smiley. No, 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 we do not throw. I don't think we should. No, 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 no. I slowly go towards Smiley to pick him up. No, I think that could be a bad idea. I do not think. He just raises like his little chains. Smiley, there will be no more goods for you, Scarab. I will lock you in your room. Put the mimic down. No, it's simple. It's simple. I know how to get in. Throw me, Scarab. Throw, Wait, throw but, me. But, 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 no, I don't no, 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 no. Scarab's gonna slowly start spinning like he's doing shot put. Scarab, please! <laughs> Scarab, please! Scarab, okay. I will personally assassinate your I would like, I would like, I, I would like to firebolt. Lost. I would like to firebolt Scarab. And no, just, no, no, no. and right before anything happens, I would like to let him go towards the thing. Oh, Are you throwing him? Yeah. Can I try and catch him? <laughs> me, Wait, can I try and catch him? Let me strength check, Scar. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he throws him as he soars through the air. He watches, he like, he doesn't make any sound, but his mouth is open like a dog in a window. His tongue is <laughs> like flaps through the air. As he flies, you see him kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's a five bag, but like the angle he's thrown at, he like shoots upwards. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm trying to catch him. I'm trying to catch him. Oh no! <laughs> if you don't catch that mimic, I'm beating your ass. All right, <laughs> All right Scarab, uh, Evie, and Solis. I think you all said you're trying to. Or me an acrobatics check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, can I can I also roll for an acrobatics? Sure. I'd like to try and catch. Uh, where is my shot going? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I can never roll good. <laughs> I would like to also try, but I want to try to catch it in mid air. Sure. Roll an acrobatics. Um... That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Evie and Squirt are just like running in circles and smashing into no, each Evie, other. <laughs> you're like you're like looking at him and you're kind of doing that thing where it's like, okay, if they're directly above you, you got to move back. So he's like, you see, it's uh, smiley. He just, phew, he's like a dot in the sky. 
as you're like backing up, backing up, backing up, Evie just like catches her foot and just falls back flat on her back. <laughs> um, and Smiley comes tumbling down. Um, Squirt, I'll say you try. And as you like, <laughs> there's like one problem. Te- technically, oh, is he Smiley bigger? Is, so Smiley is bigger than you, Squirt. So as you're like trying to catch him, you just flat. He slaps against you. And you both start falling downwards. <laughs> <laughs> As you're all like Just positioning like yourself, um, Kazrin, you <laughs> manage to kind of catch Smiley. Just good enough. As you like catch him, he's definitely, I mean, he's a chest. He's definitely heavy uh, enough. So when you like catch him, you kind of like rear down. But thankfully, with the uh, training and just being a rogue, you like, you catch him, the momentum kind of like carries you forward, and you kind of like roll, preventing any damage to Smiley. Question Do I catch the two foot fairy as well? Uh, uh, Squirt just kind of, like, comes free as you catch uh, Smiley. <laughs> Alright, because I didn't know if that if fucking Squirt was coming from underneath the fucking chest Squirt, as well. Squirt is basically just like, yeah, yeah, Squirt's like, arms are, like, spread out, legs are spread out, just, like, Smiley just weighing them down. Uh, you okay? I'm gonna pick up Smiley and let's, let's Squirt. Uh, you don't take any damage, Squirt. You just get, you just got, like, like, your face and, like, Body, like where you try to catch them, like the impact stings, but that's it. <laughs> they just give Evie a weak thumbs up. I would, I would, I would like to uh, stand up with Smiley in my arms and then glare at Scarab. He told me to throw him, uh-uh. and we I, told I would, you don't. Squirt. I would like to follow through with the firebolt. <laughs> okay, yeah. Scar, go, go I allow it. Huh? You fireballing Scar? Firebolt's ass. Uh, what's your name? Miss- <laughs> that does not hit. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just, just dinks against his arm. <laughs> uh, Squirt. Uh, mm-hmm. If your boots helped you see something we can't see, do you think maybe you could let Solus follow them? <laughs> he, like, kind of, like, uh, do, like, uh, one of those, like, <laughs> Why? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's just Solus is a lot more uh, talkative. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 you don't have to they, if you don't want to. They shake their head and then they write attunement in the sand. Oh. Uh. Hmm. How many times can you use the boots? They draw an infinity symbol. Oh, really? That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, wait, what if you hold my hands? Can you take me with you? Mm. <laughs> Shake's head, no. Is it because you can't or because you don't want to? <laughs> <coughs> here's, here's what the boots are. Okay, a creature. Alright. Oh, I made a big mistake. You had to have occupied this face. Uh, oh, in order to teleport. That's my bad, though. So I will owl out this time. I forgot okay. about that feature. <laughs> hmm. Oopsies. Well, what now if... they have occupied that space. Well, didn't they, like, walk over there a bit? <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if, and hear me out, what if someone casts haste on Scarb? I feel like we would have better chances if it was me hasted. But yeah, but you're not as strong, double... though. I am not that strong, though. But I would be able to get further than Scarab. Would you, though? <laughs> yes, I would. What the strength? See, if I if I action that, I'm gonna go flying like a bullet. Though if that's the only. There must be a way to get through this. Like a fly, like a fucking bullet. <laughs> huh. Wait, can um, I like? Julie, I have a question just for future. Uh-huh. Me hasted. What do I take first? Like if I, if I main action dash. 
Every time, every time you dash, it only adds your base movement uh, to it. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. So Wait. that's seventy. Do I add the haste double modification like to it? No. So or... basically, haste makes it sixty, and then anytime you dash beyond that, you just add an extra uh, whatever your like thirty. Uh, I think okay. So I have hundred feet. Yeah. Mm. So you add. No so you got, I have you got 35. Feet. Yeah, you get 35, so you just add an extra 35 every time you dash. Yeah. Which would give me 70 if I dash at <clears throat> Um, what if... How about, Scarb, just cast Shield of Faith on me, and then throw me through it. Hey, Kaz, I'm gonna see that rope again. <laughs> I, no. 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 Actually, you, you go sit. He just uh, told me to throw him. I told you to sit. Wait, no, cast Shield of Faith on me for- okay, just cast Shield of Faith and let me try to fly through it. Okay... Cast Aww. Shield of Faith. <laughs> okay. So I, 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 I try to fly through it. Try to fly? Go down the shake shake. <laughs> well, the bird's gonna fly. Um... <laughs> Luckily, I will catch him. Hopefully, probably not, but it's okay. Oh, that's depressing. No, the 20 should have been on the other side. <laughs> you, you push and you push. It's kind of like flap your wings. It definitely repels you. Um, I will say it's definitely not as bad as it was. Um, it feels almost lighter in a sense. You kind of, <clears throat> but it still just repels you enough that you just come, you come back. Okay, new plan. Scarb, actually throw me. <laughs> Or nice. run run while holding me in front of you, and then push. <laughs> okay. We got this, let's go! <laughs> I pick up Olus and I start rushing it with him in front of me. I just imagine that I'm a football. <laughs> I'm a strength check, uh, Mr. Scarab. Scarab. Use the strength. Strength, 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 strength. Oh! Oh, oh come on! There's so many natural 20s! Alright, you take some. What? You run Wait. against it, you push him against the field. Can I help by flapping my wings? Like, increase the velocity? Sure, uh, yeah, I'll let it, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, Do I have uh, to roll anything? No, 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 I'll just be... Scarab will just get that natural 20. Awesome. Um, do you like run for Scarab? You, you press him against it? And as you like, kind of you begin, you kind of go out to a certain distance. You're pushing. You feel you definitely. It's a lot of strain on you because you're not only are you pushing um, uh, Solus, but you got the force of the field on like uh, you as well, and keeping yourself there. But as you push and push, eventually Solus just disappears from your sight. You see, <laughs> <laughs> as you you come flying back, so, uh, scared. <laughs> Guys, it worked. You guys watch. You, got you guys, no. you guys watch Scar just like he <laughs> flies yeah. back and just like yeah. such, like he like he like flings into the ground, and just kind of like rolls a good good feet before he gets back up. Where cool. did Solus come? Scar, do um, like how you said. I would like to message Kazrin. Through, no. I would like to message Kazrin and be like, "I'm right here." <laughs> message works. You would hear uh, Solus. But when he you... says. When he hey, says right here, uh, when he says right here, you have no idea what he's talking about. You don't see him. I would like to firebolt out of the shield toward them. Okay. You guys watch the, like the edge of the sand. The firebolt just. Solus, you're invisible. Can Can they hear me if I? I'm gonna be like, can you guys hear me if I talk normally? <laughs> you cannot hear him. Okay. Oh, all right. Who's next? <laughs> we got one. Wait, wait, wait. Room. I'm gonna message. Um. Oh, what is? Oh gosh. Oh no. Right? F squirt. That's it. I'm gonna message Squirt. Be like, come here, Squirt. <laughs> squirt, come here. <laughs> <laughs> come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> 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 now, well, like, I mean. Is it because he no. was in the thing? Um, the boots won't work because it has to be the, during the current turn. So, oh. so essentially, uh, you're gonna have to find a different way in. Do the same thing with Squirt that you did with me. He's mm -hmm. the easiest to pick up. 
They just like wait, 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 wait. What if what if all three of you run together? Hand holding like, power of friendship. Like... We can do it, but <laughs> I will not be running at that thing. Well, okay. So wait, why are we trying to get through? Wouldn't we be don't worry, you don't the have train? to. Yep, guys. Wait, so Ch Chili, does it look like all dead in here? Oh yeah. So like I mentioned to um, uh, Squirt, uh, the the lake is bone dry. There's no water in it at all. Is it like dead fish? I uh, know. You can tell. Um, it appears just to be like um, just like rocks and a few debris or a bit of debris here and there. Okay. Um. I would like to. Uh, I would like to try and talk to uh, Solus. Without actually seeing him, like just turn towards the uh, the field, and just go. So let's... Can I? Can I hear them? Yeah, you can hear them, Solus. I'm gonna message back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna uh, time to play some <laughs> magic. Uh, can you can you see what's causing the field? Um. Can I see what's causing the field? <laughs> I'm obsession. Great. Not good. Not good. Not good. The perception. <laughs> It's okay, Let's natural see. 20. That's not nope. a natural you 20. You jinxed it. Oh, mm. good. Everything's my fault. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're looking... Uh, Solus, you can't see it really well. Um, it's definitely emanating from the island. I'll say that much. But you're not sure from what. Okay. Okay. Huh. Hmm. I'm just gonna message back and be like, it's coming from the island. I'm gonna I'm gonna message back. Without doing anything stupid. Oh boy. Can you get a closer look? Oh god. Do not like... engage. Only look. I would like to roll stealth and then approach the island. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna stealth check. Cause my wings are quiet. It's not terrible. 18, not bad. Alright, you travel closer, closer, get yourself a better look, and as you kind of get to the island, um, and take a look around, um, it's pretty noticeable. It's loud and crackling, um, and you think you're pretty well hidden. As you kind of uh, mix yourself in with the tree line and um, get close enough, the first thing you notice is um, this: the tip of this tower um, it appears to have a statue of an angel on it. Big stone angel, kind of stone tower that seems to, it looks like it's suspended by rope bridges um, and almost seemingly kind of floating there. And... The piece of ground that's like connected to the bottom of it, um, okay. as it's suspended in the air, um, there's electricity crackling off of it and to the ground. And you can see just a faint bit of like water beneath it, um, enough to make almost like a, a small puddle. Oh, this is giving me infinity vibes, but yeah, also maybe. Novia's cousin, I meant brother. Get <laughs> those assholes. <laughs> um. Cool. Uh. So I just see that, like nothing bad is happening. <laughs> no, nothing seems. Nothing bad seems to be happening. I would like um, to fly back to where my friends were, okay. and relay this information. Can I minor illusion it to them through the barrier? Yeah. I do that. Okay. That's what you guys say. Hmm. <laughs> they, I, I want Squirt to uh, give Sprocket a little kiss on the forehead and then stand in front of Scarb and hold their arms out like, take me away. <laughs> <laughs> Do not throw the fairy. I'm not gonna throw the fairy. <laughs> throw the fairy. Do not push the fairy into the barrier. Throw the fairy. But the but the fairy wants to be pushed to the barrier. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Fred. You you really you really want to risk that? You want to risk being squashed? He's not exactly you know 
gentle. They make a little, a little pouty face, like, please. <laughs> God damn it, Cassie's biggest weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. And he, he ponders about it for a minute before it's just like, fine, whatever. Because I don't know if this had anything to do with it. Scarb thinks it, it has something to do with it. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Square. Okay. As well. All right. I'll say, for the sake of this, if you guys want Scarab to kind of get you through one by one, um, you can absolutely do that. And Scarab, you can get yourself through as well, um, as you kind of figure this out. Um, so would you guys like to do that? Not sure. It's... I get to push everybody through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as, uh, as Scarab goes to, like, push Kaz, and I just want to, Kaz, and just look, be gentle. <clears throat> All right, you get everyone through one by one. It takes a little bit of um, a pushing, and as Scarab gets everyone through, um, Scarab, you begin to push against yourself. You guys watch as like Scarab just kind of like <clears throat> it's like pulling on like his skin, and like he just like has to force his way through. But Scarab, surely enough, kind of <clears throat> kind of pulls himself through. Probably gonna leave you a little sore, Scarab, but nothing more. Hey, you just did a, a you did a lot of work. <laughs> All right. Now that you guys are in, what would you like to do? I need to be right back again. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. God um, damn this guy! You believe this shit? Like I mentioned, uh, this is. Um, like I mentioned before, the lake is bone track, so you guys can simply just kind of walk across it. So, do we want to do the whole stealth thing? Because we don't exactly know what's there. And I don't think they're going to be too happy that we broke through a barrier. Mm. All right, um, Evie. Everyone's in the in the field now. Oh, okay. I, I pushed everyone through. Yeah, yes. Oh my <laughs> so god. I've just like Fort Bruce everyone in. <laughs> How'd you get yourself through? I you ran oh. real fast. Dang. <laughs> do we do we want to do the whole stuff thing? <laughs> uh, two of us are not the best at stealth gazard. That's why I'm saying you, we want me to go in and scout first. Uh. Because we don't know what's in there. Hmm. Rick gives thumbs up. <laughs> don't go too far ahead. I won't do anything that's gonna get me killed. I'm not that reckless. Okay. I'm just simply gonna get a better look. Okay. Cas uh, yeah, Casman, go ahead and run me a uh, stealth and then investigation. I would like to. Uh, I would like to ask what the weather is like. Uh, cloudy. Hmm. Is there a chance of meatballs? Nope. I no meatballs. Dang. No. I was hungry. I don't think Mask of the Wild's gonna cover cloudy. Uh, yeah, there's no fog or anything, I'm assuming so. No, there's not. Yeah. There's no natural phenomenon for me to hide, so there's no... Alright, it's time to go. Oh yeah, nothing special other than... Cloudy. Oh, look at your dice! Okay, it's 29, fine. yeah. They always look like that, that's cool. You get closer and closer to it. Uh, very quiet and very out of sight. Um, yeah, go ahead and investigation. You get, um, I'll say it, like, close enough that you could be at, like, the, uh, end of, uh, the bridges here. I have uh, a question. Hmm? If I spent a point on Lucky, 
for investigation? I, I get to choose, right? Like, that's no... Yeah, yeah you choose to try to keep. Yeah, you I choose a different one. Yeah, it's not it's not you keep three room, it's you choose whichever one you prefer to have. I'm so used basically, to lucky. Yeah, yeah, you basically get advantage on it, more or less. Mm. Uh, guys, do I re roll? It's up to you. I think 16 is good enough. I mean, yeah, up to you. I'm gonna stay with it for right now. If worse comes worse, I'll just get more uh, more decisive about what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. You get. Are you? Uh, you closer, and as you investigate it, you see uh, again. This, uh, there's an angel stone statue on the top. The whole tower itself seems to be made of stone, and again, it almost looks like it's ripped out of the ground. Um, and you're not sure if it's the bridges suspending it, or if it's like this electrical field underneath it. Uh, but it is seemingly suspended in the air by something. Um, you notice there are no windows except on the top row. Um, and as you kind of like try to peer into them, you don't see much um, other than like what would be uh, the room inside. You can't make out any items because of the angle that you're at or any furniture. Um, but as it like goes further down the walls, you can see what would be windows, but they're kind of like stoned off. Uh, it's almost like they've been like kind of just carved there for designs and the door itself um, is actually uh, metal it appears to be a um, some sort of metallic door that doesn't have any like handle or um, doorknob on it it is smooth uh, actually yeah it's just a full smooth plate um, kind of like rectangular plate of metal Hmm. That's about all you see. And I look for a button. <laughs> Not uh, are you? Yeah, right now it's just Casman. Oh, sorry. Forgot. <laughs> so, anything you want to do, Casman? You said I can't really see because of the angle. Yeah, it's more of like you can't really see like what's in the room. Uh, cause the angle, yeah, you're kind of just like looking towards the roof. Um, hey guys, the... remember when I said I wasn't gonna be stupid? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a mighty fine looking tree right there. You have no right <clears throat> coming at me anymore. <laughs> I do if I walk away. You have no fucking right. To be fair, to... I'm doing what I'm good at, though. And I'm good. I do what I'm good at. <laughs> We're trying to climb up. People. We're gonna try to climb up at a uh, elevated position. Try to look into the window. Hmm. Is Adam here? I think I'm gonna say... do first because I'm going to. Uh, um, I'm going must... to stealth back to the group. Okay, I must say um, it will be a little harder to not or to be stealthy in the trees because um, unlike the picture depicts uh, the trees are dead there's no leaves on them no, fair enough but um, I'm okay. still gonna use my uh, my stealth to just go back to the group okay yeah you you make it back to the group all right so this thing has barely any windows there is no door handle there is not I technically could try and climb it but I didn't want to do anything stupid now I'm gonna look at Scarab without consulting the group yep yes <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted your guys opinion cause there's there, there is no other way in from what I'm seeing I could try and go back and like peek around the door more closely, but from what it looks like, it looks like just a plain sheet of metal. Hmm. Do you know what kind of metal? Because if it's like, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, like lead, you can't really use magic on it. Contrary to popular belief, I am 
<laughs> Not good with tech. Or anything metal related. Uh. I I know how to stab people. And how to <laughs> sneak around. <laughs> That's more of a uh, escort question. Uh oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, they're just talking about the identifying the metal on the door. Mm. That'd be more of your alley skirt than the Casmans. I see. Okay. How tall is Squirt? How tall? Yeah. Uh, I think Squirt's I like two foot. Two foot three. Two foot three. So what you're telling me is, is I could uh, I could fit Squirt in my jacket <laughs> and <laughs> stealth right back and just be like... <laughs> <laughs> you could? Uh, Squirt could technically like fight into the window, he or if they really wanted to. Uh, same with Solus. I don't want to take the bird. Okay. So you want to take Squirt back? I don't think Jeff's even here to join us. That's fine. <laughs> so I don't want to take the bird. <laughs> Send him to his death. All right. So you want to uh, take Squirt, head back, and um, try and identify the door. Uh. I want to look around the door, yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, both of y'all going on me stealth check. All right, assuming you're going at sneaky, you don't have to go at a sneaky if you don't want to. I I want to sneak. Off- okay. I was just gonna offer to like put squirt in my jacket. Yeah. Okay. Just, like, just uh, stuff him into my jacket and just be like, get, get in. Okay. It's All right, time. guys. Presumably sneak up, kind of combined effort as you kind of walk up, you get into the same spot. You want to go across the bridge to the door, or what do you want to do? Just like fly. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send the squirt and just kind of like duck down and try and stay as out of sight as possible. I got my hood up as well. Okay, squirt. You start to fly, fly across the bridge, get closer to the door. Go ahead and run me investigation. I'm fucking open my character sheet. <laughs> Investigate. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Kind of come fluttering up to it as you kind of peer and look at it. Um, Take a good look, and as you're kind of inspecting it, you start to kind of um, start to kind of be like, "Oh, this kind of looks like you know, kind of looks like steel. Could be iron. You're kind of leaning more on lead, um, if anything. Um, but you're you're kind of uh, cut short a little bit. The door um, at about a, um, about like six foot up the door, you see the metal like part, kind of like it, it melds like liquid and makes like a small little slit. You see two beady glowing green eyes peer from beyond it. And I believe you, I think you heard him. Um, it sounds, uh, it sounds just like the doctor almost. You hear a deep, kind of thrumming mechanical voice. Who is there? As we're going to go ahead and take a short break. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck! I'm, well, I'm making myself food because I'm starving. Absolutely. Uh, 10, 15 minutes, do what you need to do. Scarb is still tired after pulling everyone through. (laughs) Scarb's like, ah, carrying you guys. Ah, so exhausting. (laughs) Literally carrying you guys, come on. (laughs) What are you doing? (laughs) I'm going to take his fucking shins. Uh, I'm going to grab a shot, baby. When he gets Alright, now that Chili's ask, gone, fuck that guy. I have to ask him what was the correct answer, because I do not think he went for us to brute, for me to brute force everybody through. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wanted to ask Chili. 
Oh yeah, it was about uh infiltration uh expertise. Infiltration, whatever. Yeah, because I wanted to know how specifically that went. Sky, you need to roll more nat ones. Why? <laughs> Why do you need to roll more nat ones? Because it's hilarious when you roll nat ones, especially when you go, Oh, I have expertise in it! I fucking... <laughs> oh, Chili, are you back? I am back, yes. My friend, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, with infiltration expertise, I have mm -hmm. to spend a week uh, creating a persona... Uh, making up, like, fake documents and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, here's my question, because we travel so much. Can I spend, like, three or four days making the person, and then the following three or four days uh, actually building a reputation among the city we just get to? Um, not so much. I mean, it'll take a week just to make all the documentations and stuff. Like, you could, but you run the risk of, like, being discovered like because it, it, it'll be easier to be discovered when you don't have the proper documentations and stuff versus if you actually have them you know if you see what but i'm saying it kind of what i was saying is like i make the documents well on the way there oh yeah no the time the time isn't going to be any shorter to make them you could theoretically do it but you won't have like the full everything you need until the week is up Oh, because the way I was thinking about it was, like, it was three or four days to write up the documents, and then it was, like, the other three or four days to actually, you know, go out and make alibis. That's how I was reading that, based on how it was worded. I, I thought it was more or less you just put on, like, a different persona. I uh, no, you create a false identity for yourself. Oh, fuck, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a different uh, identity. It's not so much, like... Where, uh... Alright, so it is just the, uh... Okay, so yeah, it's just the documents. Alright, well, I know mm -hmm. what I'm doing. You still could go in town and make ties if you wanted to. Yeah, the, I thought it was, uh... I had to go and make ties and shit. No. But if that's just the case, well, I know what I'm doing. Now, do I have to do that in a week consecutively? What do you mean? Like, sit down, no break, <laughs> right document. Or is it like... I mean, just overall, you can get a week. Like, you could, you could, I could be like, you know, like, oh, you got a day's work of it today, and then you can get back to it later. You don't have yeah. to do it, like, all at once. That's, that's what I was asking. Like, can I do a day today, yeah, yeah. tomorrow, and then do yeah. it another day tomorrow? Yeah, you could do that. Alright. Time to put on some personas. Will it be useful? Probably not. But you Chilly. never know. I ain't never know. Chili, I have a question. What's up? Let's take a look what was the proper answer? Because I doubt you wanted me to literally push everybody through the fucking area. Uh, I mean, I didn't really didn't have one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of like, eh, hey, that's good enough. <laughs> Or I just let this motherfucker go said, "Yeah, just get creative. It'll work out." Yeah, I don't know. Happens a lot. I mean, the answer I was thinking of first was uh, Smiley, the vector piece. Yeah, we just got that, and ain't nobody pulling that out. Let's be honest. Well, no, you wouldn't have to have pulled it out. So, uh, Smiley just sort of. I thought about just making Smiley make like a pocket. Yeah. Kind of like it's almost like just makes like a doorway into it. But uh, yeah. Once you threw him, and I was like, he got repelled. I was like, well, I can't do that no more. So I just went until y'all, until you came up with a convincing enough answer. I was like, yeah, sure, fuck it. Fair. <clears throat> fuck it, good enough. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you guys killed Mama Valley. Oh. Honestly, I, I can't even say anything of that. Did you see how much damage I did? <laughs> yeah, yeah.
I feel terrible. I think I'm fine. I think it's just stress sick. <sighs> I have an ice pack oh, and I'm just putting it on my head. Why say <laughs> Not skips. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm feeling like stress sick or something. I don't know. I whenever I get like stressed for long periods of time and then I start to like be able to deal with the stress, I like crash and get like really sick. I think I'm fine. I hope so. It's like Hello. Is it from the moving into domes and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Like, I know I'll be fine when I'm, like, there. Yeah, yeah. But, like, the anticipation and, like, the waiting is stressing me out. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. And, like, I haven't been to school in, like, a really long time because my... Uh... Freshman, junior, senior, wait, freshman, sophomore. <laughs> sophomore. Is that why you make the choices that you do? <laughs> well, <laughs> my, uh... <laughs> God, your laugh is so contagious. Because like, it's, like, so consistent. <laughs> <laughs> what about it? <laughs> but my, my sophomore year of school, I, like, missed a ton of school. And then COVID happened, so my school went oh, like, yeah. online for the next two years, and then I took a year off, so it's been like four years. What the heck? I know. Well, since in person. I've done like online school, obviously, but... Oh. Gosh dang, COVID. Freaking of which, I got that recently. It was nothing. Yeah, I said. <laughs> Sounds <What>? fun. <coughs> Dude, Tuesday was like the worst day. But I'm, uh, I think I'm mostly over it now. I'm hoping I'm just stress sick. I'm going to give you the Rona. <laughs> <laughs> that scared That's me. Sound, the sound of me giving you Rona. All right, oh. I took some. Welcome back. I appreciated the moment you saw the sound of you giving us Rona, Jeff joined. Yeah, you want some, want some Rona, Jeff? What? You want some Rona? It's no, Corona thanks. time! Too bad. <laughs> but, um... Part of the reason I missed, like, a lot of my sophomore year was because I was getting bullied really bad. Oh. I got what really the heck? How? Uh, just Who's the uh, fuck is boring, man? Uh, what do they look like and where are they from? I just want to. No, ask for you. real, dude. Me and I about to fucking conk some heads. It was. Just, just wanna, I just want to ask some questions. 
It was a group of people. They really sucked. Oh crap! I wasn't yeah. Yeah. How did uh, how did they bully you? I didn't say how many are they. <laughs> yeah, I said what yeah, they look <laughs> like. <laughs> it was. Well, it was a lot of stuff. It was. I don't like talking about it. It's okay. I understand. That's I okay. was bullied a lot when I was younger. But like, they were like a group of like friends. Like, well, I thought they were friends at the time, but so I just ignored a lot of like the crap that they were pulling. Mm. So, but I got like really anxious about going to school because I'd have to see them. But I was like in denial about it because it's like, oh, but they're my friends. Listen, say the word, me and Oliver will be there. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's been dealt with. We now. will not hesitate. How? To fucking throw hands. <laughs> I'm almost dropped the really loud. Loud. Please stop. I cannot hear a word. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying at all. <laughs> I don't hear a word, but it's threatening. I believe uh, you. I said how I I almost drop kicked like a nine year old. I'll oh. I'll go after this? I did this story, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I I can't remember. If you I was go. Basically, long story short, I was going through uh, like a supermarket. It was Walmart, um, and I was listening to my earbuds. And some kid comes up to me, like I'm guesstimating he's about nine, and he's like, "Hey, what are you listening to?" I'm, I'm listening to Skrillex because I was in like, like oh, I'm gonna bring, I was gonna put up my stuff, right? So I started listening to Skrillex. I told him that he's like. Oh, so you're listening to that uh, that classical dubstep? I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and he proceeds to call me old. So I'm like, you know what? No, I'm I'm literally twenty. I'm not even a fucking what? No. So I'm just drop kicked a nine year old. Monk at your shit, rock kid. <laughs> yeah. Classical dubstep. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> the only thing I can like think that that maybe like remixes of like it's classical Skrillex, music. Dude. No, it was just Skrillex. <laughs> oh, what? I was list. I was listening to Ghost and Sprites. That's so weird. Did imagine like uh that one that one classic song, The Mountain King, but like as dubstep. <laughs> I have it. You want to hear it? <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> it's really good, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that sounds cursed. Anyway. <clears throat> Our break's about up. So we all back already? I think Mal's like uh, cooking ramen. <laughs> oh, Mal. no, they're back! I'm just oh, eating. Oh, there they are. Alright. Well, uh, Sky here? Sky might not be feeling good? Oh my god. <laughs> I told you, Chili! <laughs> of course, it's a thing. <laughs> Everything's a thing. Right, yeah, I'm not surprised. Also, uh, Hal, uh, just as like a side note, uh, absolutely nothing with what we talked about so far. No. Um, cool. um, you're not far from me, so if you have a problem, I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'm a bit further, but I still come up. <laughs> I hope there's that, not problems. I, I... That... Yeah, no. Listen, just like put me on speaker and I'll be like, like, listen here, y'all mess with, uh, with Hal here, I will literally drive all the way the fuck up there and knock some fucking heads. I'm not even kidding. It's probably gonna be fine. It's still, like, a worry in the back of my head. But it'll probably be fine. I mean, it makes sense. That's why I'm saying, if there's a problem, call me. You and okay. Mal. Both of you. If you have an issue, just send me a DM. I'll be there in less than five hours. Anyway, um, Discord said no to Jeff. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get a kick back off since it's uh, Mal's on the scene. Um, all right. So, Squirt, as you were investigating this door. You're met with a slot that seemingly opened up. Very um, unlike anything you've ever seen. And almost like in such a manner of like 
Uh, it wasn't even mechanical. As it opened up, he saw two green beady eyes and a voice that sounds just like the doctor's. I'm calling As it now. It spoke This up. is three. Who are you? I know. <laughs> Obviously, I can't say anything, but like, I kind of want to try to poke the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Scored. That's what's just me letting my intrusive thought win. <laughs> you flutter up, and as you're coming up, he simply states, You've got ten seconds to explain how you've gotten past my barricades. I just expect him to point at Scarb. <laughs> how, did, how did you get past the bear? Did you just see your fucking silver dragon board in the background? <gasps> <laughs> Alright, I'm back. What did I miss? What? What the fuck did uh, I miss? Squirt tried to poke the thing. 10 seconds to explain how I got past the barrier. Yeah, the but thing... I can't talk. Sounds like the doctor again. As, um... Yeah, that's what he says. You got 10 seconds to explain how you got past my field. I, I would like to, uh... I would like to run up and grab Squirt. I think they're flying. <laughs> yeah, they can be flying that high. It's a 6 feet foot door, and they're in front of the door. I am 6 foot 2. I can reach. <laughs> I can reach the sport. Okay. Come up to squirt. The eyes seem too dark to you, guys. Explain. Ooh. Explain what? How did both of you get here? I'm surprised you don't know, Doctor. His eyes squint. Are you with him? With him? Are you the doctor? I'm in persuasion. Oh, hey, I actually am <laughs> proficient in that. I didn't think I was. Rolls in that one. I would. I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just gotta stop. You just gotta stop seeing your professional expertise. I'm not <laughs> saying that. It's really every, every time. time. It's been the point. Go ahead. Okay. I. Yeah. I would. Um, I would like to re <laughs> One more sorry. point. Yeah. Another point. You got. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Let's go three points of luck in! Oh I, I want to persuade this man. This is my goal. I don't want to no. die here. Oh my god. <laughs> I will take all three points of lucky away for that. Uh, there you go. Oh my god. There, there's no more points of lucky. Oh my god. Right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound like a cheap Why does he sound like a cheap Sheer feat of luck. Jesus. Uh, one that you sure. can, oh my god, my head hurts. One that you can almost feel yourself. You're actually even very surprised that you managed to get through. Um, as he looks to you. No, I am not. Then I apologize for my rude behavior. When we got through, uh, 
how, how do I say this? We, we ran through. As much as that doesn't make sense. I see. You're Fortune. organic. Yeah. Flesh and blood. Even though it is still difficult for creatures of that stature, it is not entirely impossible. Hmm. Man, Jeff's Discord is taking a while. What um, compels you then? We were having issues with some of our machines, and this seemed to be the only thing that caused it. We were hoping we could come here to see what was causing it, and if we could either get it to stop, or I don't know, just make it so that way we can use our technology. We're on a, we're on a little bit of a mission to a stop a certain individual that I may or may not have accidentally accused you of being. <laughs> He eyes you suspiciously. I'm in a position. <laughs> well, I got no more lucky. Uh oh. <sighs> it's the same fucking rule! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Explain these machines to me. Uh, huh. Well, one of one of them's a magic train. It's it's gonna sound really far fetched. Nothing but sounds far fetched to me. We we have a robot person on our team, and we have a a uh, train that runs off some sort of magic. And unfortunately, both of them have stopped working whenever we get close to here. Hmm. That would be my doing. Tell me more about this individual on your team, this robot. Huh. Uh, that is a bit complicated. It's kind of like a bipolar situation. Uh, organic mixed with robot. Uh, the organic person's name is Tanny. The robot... I feel like you might actually have an issue with, given um, our current stature. He's not with us, though, if that makes you feel any better. Right, we didn't bring Tanny in. No, he's not there. Yeah, Tanny's, Tanny's on the train, I think. No, but we got Sprocket. You got Sprocket, yes. Sprocket! Sprocket's adorable, he gets a pass. Oh, I did forget to mention we we do have a uh, we do have this little guy, and I'm gonna hold up. Uh, I'm gonna hold up Squirt. Uh, this guy does have a robot that he created. The day. I'm not worried too much about what this one has created. Please cross their arms. Like, how dare you? Squirt, now it's off the top. <laughs> Please. Uh, come in. The slot oh. seems to kind of okay. closes shut as the door Are we seeing kind of pulls this? up. As you see, a tall and slender figure. He's wearing a. Um, appears to be wearing like this leather jacket that's almost embroidered into him. 
bits and pieces of it kind of hang freely um, like on his forearms and his biceps but they almost are you notice that a lot of the suits kind of like built as a part of him you can see these um, kind of like uh, long or kind of like bony like hand that's made of a kind of brass slash golden metal um, kind of like metallic outer part of him as you see uh, green beady eyes kind of stand back to you you see a metal skull uh, its teeth band kind of like nose hole uh, but like intricate workings of gold and silver uh, appears to make up his face as he um, has a cane to the side. Um, finally, kind of delicate uh, design to him uh, as he kind of bows before you. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's so cute cool looking. looking. That's cool. Wait, where? I don't see. Oh. Heck yes, another top hat. Does he have a link? Does he have what? Clink. Clink. Does he have a clink? <laughs> clink? No, he doesn't. Not currently, Adam. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Not that we so cool. He kind of waves you in. Yeah, I'm gonna slowly enter. Just just holding Squirt. Squirt, you do not have a choice. I like to imagine you're holding Squirt by their head and just, like, walking while they're just... <laughs> I, I like to think about it like a child holding a teddy bear. So Squirtars are kind of like just hanging over my arms. Alright. So he brings you in. Um, I'll say um, uh, Scar and Evie, if you guys would like to be here too, you can. Uh, yeah. I would like to come up from behind, yes. Hi. You guys kind of come in. She kind of welcomes you guys in. You step into what appears to be a uh, the inside is kind of like it is marbled and met uh, metallic. Um, it would look very nice if the place didn't look like it was um, almost ruined in a sense. Um, uh, things are kind of broken, kind of like um, uh, like there's kind of like glass everywhere, it's kind of like scrap and just heaps. Um, and even uh, even though it wasn't holding any, there there does appear to be a um, like a uh, kind of green liquid um, or just several different liquids that kind of cake the ground um, and seem to be just like almost carelessly kind of spilled around. All right. As he leads you guys in, you can see he appears to hold, there is a, um, he kind of stops, and with his kind of free hand, his thumb seems to wrap around this kind of string that is attached to him, um, kind of like a, a a small little string with like a ring on it. So he kind of fiddles with it for a moment, looks back to you guys. All right, I want to be very clear here. I don't want any. How would I say? Spies or troublemakers in here. If I get the feeling you're lying or you are not, as you mentioned, <clears throat> one swift tug of this and this whole place lights up in a blaze. Oh. Why? Burning on the dance floor. Whoa! Scar, please not stop the time. <laughs> that was all in us, Scar. <laughs> there will be no bit of this tower, and there will be no bit of any of us. It will blow to pieces. So, bearing that in mind, who are you people? <clears throat> Mm. 
My name is Kazar Deej. This is... This is our little family or party. And he, he's gonna look over at you uh, Evie first. Oh, uh, I'm, uh, Evie. Nice to meet you. He just holds your gaze and you see his thumb just kind of like fiddling with the ring. Uh, Evie Nightfield? <laughs> Kind of not. Evie, why are you here? Uh, well, because Kazrin and Skirt went inside and I wanted to make sure that they'd be okay. Our train, uh, it won't move. I think because of some sort of field. So we're trying to find a way to make it go. He turns his gaze to Sky. Oh. I'm Scarb. No last name. This is Smiley. <laughs> Smiley is a little wave. <laughs> well. Is there a purpose you're here other than curiosity? And this, your know, machines being down and out. For me, no. Is there any other goals you are seeking, in general? He's asking me. I just everyone. I mean, like I said before, our only goal right now is to currently stop the dock. Mm hmm. And that is the one hundred percent honest truth. I think one of our uh, one of our paladins has zone of truth. If that makes anything different, I have prepared. That is okay. I didn't do all right at sniffing out a lie. Good, because I'm prepared. Ah. Uh. Forgive me for asking, but um, you kind of resemble the doctor. Uh, like your voice sounds really similar. Are you hmm. one of his projects? I mean, persuasion, Evie. Okay. Oh my God! Can you guys hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank the gods. I'm so sorry. The bird Thank is back. We're, we're having I... a Kaiba moment right now. <laughs> hey guys, what I missed? Yeah, I have nap and roll last night. <laughs> so, what's happening? <laughs> I'm being interrogated by this You're robot. Right. We're being targeted? Like no, this uh, question. He looks cooler than the doctor. Wait, do he you does. think he, he is? Sick. What if he no, is the not. doctor? Um, no, he's he not. I think he has clear be. issues with the doctor. I mean, he could be the doctor. Wait, he's made of alumate. He's a robot, not being affected by the zone. He's probably uh, I think that's, the zone. This is his zone. <laughs> this is his. Don't let me get my zone. Don't let me get my zone. All right. Is he just? Is he being nice to us, Chili, or is he like? What's his tone of voice? Uh, he's on the fence. On the fence. He's uh, pain. currently he's threatening he's... to blow us up if we, if he thinks if we're lying. Where the fuck you see a fence? Yeah, if he thinks if he thinks you're lying to him, then he's gonna blow the whole tower. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I would like to. Can Can I talk to him? Can I be nice? We are talking sure. to him. Can you not? Oh, yeah, you okay. to no, I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> can you not? I'm, I'm just gonna pr <laughs> prove our not? innocence. I'm gonna prove our innocence. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna. What's it? Does he have a name? Do you tell us a name? Oh, well, yeah. I kind of just no, asked we, if he was we, a project. We're, we're just getting there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we were just getting there. Okay, sorry. Came in. Came in. Comes a blazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, calm down, Jack. He stares at you, Evie. Kind of squints his eyes in suspicion. Wait, couldn't we just use Zone of Truth to prove our innocence? Uh, 
We That's offered. literally. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Level five. Oh, oh yeah. As he said he, he didn't he didn't care for Zona Truth, and I also don't have it prepared, and I don't know if he does. I don't. This man has fully maxed out in sight. <clears throat> that would be correct. And it sounds like you're in possession of one as well. Oh no. Uh. Yeah. Well, we can't we can't lie to them. We have to be truthful. Nope. If we don't lie. lie. Hold the truth. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Care to give me his name? What? Mm. I'm confused. Yeah. I don't think it's good to lie to him either. Position possession of who? Oh, zero. His name is zero. I see. And he's working with you? Mm-hmm. He's actively helped us fight against the doctor. Mm -hmm. Even going so far as helping us destroy a metal Tarrasque. It was number eight. It was the metal Tarrasque. Mm. You see... His thumb kind of eases up and kind of... Drops the ring. He looks like a mecha, mecha lich. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dude, he's badass. I don't think you are lying. It doesn't seem like you are. If you were working with my predecessor, then that is predecessor. From me. The doctor made him. Yeah, he's a project. I he just said. I have a feeling I think I know which order that you are. Probably one. If I had to guess. That would be correct. I am one. So he came after zero. Yeah. That's what I remember system works normally. <laughs> 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 So you have free will. I do. <clears throat> what are your feelings? Like what are your feelings toward the doctor? He's a deranged man. Finally, some common sense <laughs> in this world. <laughs> the issue is, is he is too powerful. Agreed. Nothing Nothing that a lot of individuals can do about him. What? Eh. <laughs> oh, Scar. 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 Scar's gonna put Smile like, underneath one of his arms and just kind of start biting his thumb. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, <laughs> bite my what thumb at me. <laughs> one of our paladins did uh did Ben handle the doctor? Yes, but you didn't stop him. No. There are plenty of people that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but they cannot stop him. Have you ever contacted Hope? No. I stay rather, cl uh, rather reclusive in my tower. Well, we do know that the energy field produced by your area stops... Um, his projects from working, other than you, of course. Yes. Including Zero. I'm willing to bet it will not stop him, though. But was that the goal with this, um, field? The goal with this field was to keep any of his lackeys from getting any closer to my tower than they need to be. Mm. Has he not tried to come and shut you down? No. He has no idea where I'm at. Unlike his other projects, me and Zero aren't probed with communication devices. He cannot see nor hear through us like the others. What was her name, too? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She was scared that she means... was going to get exploded. Like six. That means she was also probed. Of course. Two, and any others. I'm guessing after two 
quote unquote failed experiments. That's when he smartened up. Precisely. Why does this field affect Zero but not you? I designed it. It is my field. Is it mobile? <laughs> no, it is not. Is there a way we could make it mobile? Not to this degree, no. Hmm. I could make smaller instances of it. See, we possess the midnight bullet. And the doctor, well... Let's just say he decided he wanted to get on the train. When he's... He, there was a point at which we didn't have the vector piece, and then we did have the vector piece, and then we didn't have the vector piece, Solace! and then we did have it again. He knows we have the vector piece, what do you mean? Solus. No one mentioned it. I, what do you mean? I thought... Was, wasn't that what we were talking about? Did, the did I or did I not say we do not mention it? I thought that's what you were talking no one... about when I came in. No. Okay, no one can I just redact Sarah? that? I would like to redact that. <laughs> he looks at you. That is quite a bounty on your head, then, if you have something like that. He's looking for them, as I'm sure you're aware. I was not. Well... Now you are. Oh, he wants them now. Well, that is certainly something to worry about then. I'm sure I'm just thinking maybe we can all work together here to end your hiding or need to hide, because if he's no longer existent, you don't have to live in solitude anymore. Um, don't get ahead of yourself, Alan. He is not easy to defeat. And the longer he lives, the closer he gets to being undefeatable. Apologies. I'm sure you understand, though, with that same sentiment. Uh, the hurry, the speed at which we can figure something out is of utmost urgency. Of course. But rushing things like this is not going to do you any good. Is there anything that you can suggest? Wait a second. Is this... Is he? Hmm. Wait a second. What's that guy's name that we're looking for? Cool. Huh? What if he's I cool? Doubt. I doubt. <laughs> Big yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he could be. Yeah, but Hope knows who. <coughs> he does I not. I guess. That's true. Isn't he in the wrong area to be Coot? He's mm -hmm. not far away. I think Coot's further north. Yeah. Yeah. Further northeast. Which is why we need him to <laughs> but we bring did down the field. We, but remember, we walked a, a long way. We walked miles and miles into the zone after we got out of the train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think he, who was like even past the zone. I don't know. Just thinking. Uh, how much would you say you know about uh, the projects and uh, the doctor? Well, I know most. I know a lot about all of the current projects. Of course, the Doctor I know a lot of as well. Only thing is, is anything he has done more recently, I am not aware of. Well, uh, he recently destroyed six, and we destroyed eight. I was sort of wondering if he can just rebuild them. Absolutely. Mm. So him losing them isn't that much of a hurt? 
No. Sacrifice. How long do you think it'd take him to build something the size of a Tarrasque? Well, normally it might have taken him a few weeks, but considering that he is always advancing, I'm sure that time is shortening. Which means our friend's sacrifice was for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. And he helped save that town. What's the point if it's just gonna come back? We we delayed him for maybe what? A week? We just continue to be nuisances to him. <laughs> That'll <laughs> stop him for it. sure. I'm pretty sure he's already mad at us as it is. I I really don't feel so like we've got nothing yet. to lose. You'll know when he is when he's frustrated with you, and when he's not. He... The doctor works strange when it comes to things like that. I'm pretty positive he was mad at us. So when he says it's been a while since someone pissed me off, there's still a chance I'm in the clear. Well, let's just say that just because you're his enemy doesn't mean he's going to necessarily kill you, or even try to kill you. I find that difficult to believe. Well, here's the thing. A lot of times when the doctor sees an enemy, it, sometimes he sees potential, an opportunity, maybe even a friend in his eyes. You see, he is a smart man. Why would he waste the time killing you when he could be getting information from you? Whether it be through some secretive process, a, a wire that he's put on you, agents he has sent your way. Even in fits of frustration, when you meet face to face, sometimes you unwillingly give things you don't really mean to give. The doctor is not one to overlook that. He'll pry every bit of information from you that he can, and use it to his advantage. The only time he sees fit to kill somebody is when he's gotten everything he needs from them. They're no longer of use. That is how the doctor works. I don't like his way of working. Nobody does. The only people I could think of that would is the ones that work for him. Which means he's still using us. If he's left you alive after encountering him, then yes, he is. Actually, looking back, even though he was mad at us, he threatened the town in Hope's town. He didn't seem to threaten us that much. And that is exactly what I was mentioning. He still sees use out of you all. So he saw no use for my friends. If he was the one to kill them, then yes. He wasn't the one that killed uh, the first three, was he? 
not directly. Though I don't believe him when he tells me he didn't plant it. We walked into one of his mansions. We didn't even get to walk in. We walked to not knowing what the building was. Ooh. It was that number doesn't... six. Was it was it six or seven? A uh, six. It was six. It was six. I thought it was seven. Oh no, I'm sorry, seven. Oh, seven. Oh, no, six, no six, I'm six. sorry, sorry. Yeah, six. I'm I'm mixing them up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it was seven. My bad. It was seven. That sounds more. No, the doctor didn't kill them. Rather, his lackeys did. They can't. They do not have. The same mindset as him. Which would make sense. If they did, they would all be at each other's throats for power, for the throne, for the doctor's position. Do you think he knows that? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why he designs them the way that he does. Completely obedient. Completely willing. They do, as he says, no question of a doubt. And the ones with free will, like you and Zero, and Two, have different goals in mind? Different from him? Mm, yes, I would say so. Of course, mine and Zero's are most likely different goals. But yes, we are free from that kind of burden. Like I mentioned, he has no way of seeing or hearing. He has no way of gathering information through us. What is your goal? I simply don't want anything to do with him. I would like to live my day is in seclusion. I'm not necessarily powerful enough to fight him. I would not dream of facing him again. If I would have to see that man, I think I would rather well, I'll take my own life before he can take mine. Yeah, then I'd say that you and Zero have very different goals. Hmm. Huh. Well, we were programmed differently. As much as I hate to admit it, uh... I still am under his influence. He designed me. Of course, that the way we were designed backfired on him. Zero is more of a, how would you say, a free spirit, a hero. That's how he was made to be. Me, I'm more of... The easiest way to put it would be a realist, information, uh, calculations, experimentations, things like that. Things that require a sharp mind. So the brain and the brawn. Exactly. That was the original plan. But as you could imagine, after years of being under his service, we both disagreed with what he was doing. We couldn't turn to much. The doctor is also very seclusive about, well, his project, his power, but it seems that as of recent he is coming out of his shell, which is a very bad thing. 
It means he's confident in his power. He believes he wields the strength to do what he's doing. And, well, when it comes to his power, he never bluffs about his strengths and goals. And I would not try to face that man if... I would not try to read any sort of bluff on him. If he says that he can do it, then you better believe that he can probably do it. He will not hesitate to show you. Hmm. Out of character. Okay, I don't think we should tell him about the vector piece. He already knows. Oh, I was not here for a minute, so what did we Yeah, you... I, I told him told him. Solus! <laughs> Solus, we talked about not talking about it. <laughs> I thought that you guys told him. Uh, so I thought you were talking about the first piece, and you're actually talking about zero. So I got confused. <laughs> so what did? Sorry, what did he say to that? Um, Too much. He pretty much just said that you have a big bounty on your head if you have a vector piece. Uh, not only that, but um, he was saying that it because uh, he didn't know that the doctor is after it, which means that uh, or he's saying that since the doctor is after it, that is a very very bad thing. Okay, because I was going to ask him if he knows. Why he didn't the seem to be. Yeah, yeah, he didn't seem to be too. Um, you know, he didn't seem to really care too much that you had one. It wasn't like, oh, you have a vector piece? Get out of my tower. No. Okay. It wasn't anything like that. It, it wasn't the whole, oh, you have a cat? Get the fuck out of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Speaking of which, this vector piece you have. Uh huh. <laughs> are you aware of its properties? We are very well aware. You mean uh, not to look not... at it, not to touch it, not to hold it in your hands, not to eat it, not to. etc. Don't look. Don't touch. The only people that can do so are constructs. Like me and the doctor. We have a higher resistance to it. Mostly due to the fact that we are made of similar nature. However, error, his influence is imbued inside of those pieces. Which means that normal mortals are highly susceptible to it and its corruption. Certain it's only constructs that can hold it? He nuts. I'm assuming gods are an exception. Depends. Some gods don't have the power to resist a vector piece. Only higher, stronger gods. Hmm. I'm just staring at EB. Scarb, scarb underneath his breath is just gonna be like a fucking cat. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like the cat. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Maybe she was the cat. She was she's a lesser uh evil chaos deity, I think, right? I don't know. Oh my god. What if what? she was the cat? She could have been. I was thinking well, she about definitely could have been. Either that, or it's like her, uh... Because I'm assuming Scarlet isn't, like, the only one of her kind. I'm assuming there's one for, like, anger and sadness and whatever. Nah, nah, dude. Br make her mm. the cat, dude. So then, like, I could have Evie's girlfriend while Belle has what? Alexi's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> one gets a pet snake, the other gets a pet cat. It's fine. Um... Oh, you didn't understand that. Did, uh... for, for context, uh, in my campaign, Jeff, mm -hmm. Alexi, the uh, Emerald Dragonborn, has a UNT 
quote unquote boyfriend that he uh, hangs around with. And uh, as of recently, Hal yeah. Hal's character has put him on a leash and said, "Sit." And he's been taking the command very, very seriously. Oh, so dear. Hal's pet is now Snake Boy. <laughs> Oh god. Um yeah, it's Hal great. told me that Lynn Hal told me that Lynn was Belle's pet. I didn't realize she put a leash on him. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. I god. put the leash on him. Yeah, and then he oh, like, gave put the leash me and handed it to Belle and Belle's just like sit. And he <laughs> went to the ground. To the ground. He said yes, mommy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, Mal, actually, I have to text you while uh, Chili continues. It all continues. started when you pulled that feather. She did um, not cheat on him. I would like to say to one and be like, um, we are aware of its properties and uh, have methods of storing it without corrupting ourselves or others. Um, however, it is still a concern to us that the doctor may come after us again if he becomes aware of our possession of it. And that is a rightful concern. What do you plan on doing with it? I'm keeping it away from him. Destroying it, I think, is probably impossible, so that's off the board. Hmm. Yes, the vector pieces are not so easily destroyed. Would you like me to take a look at it? Mm. It'll free that burden off of you, and there's perhaps something I could figure out about it. Perhaps even a way to track the others. If they are here, the doctor will not get them. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I would like to roll insight. I don't. Okay. I can I also? Lying, but... Can I also roll insight? Yeah, go for it. I'm no longer good at insight. Out of character, I don't think he's lying. I'm wondering if he even can lie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh. Kevin's gonna assume he's not lying, but yeah, you're kind of just like, yeah, hey, probably not, man. He doesn't seem like the one to lie, eh? and he seems pretty forthright about all of the things he's mentioned. Uh, so let's you, you take it how you will. You're <laughs> just like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it um, is what it is. Forgive us for being cautious. Um, we have only just met you, and mm. it is a very strong artifact, as I'm sure you were aware. But I'm also sure that if you wanted to, you could probably just take it from us. I would recommend nothing more than exercising caution. That is fine. If you wish to keep the peace, you can. I will not press you for it. As long as you believe that it is safe storing. I would I would like to ask some questions, actually, about this. Go ahead. When you say you want to take a look at it, is there any alternate alternate to looking at it. We've trusted some people before. <laughs> Not even some people. Uh, animals, individuals. I mean, it seems like each one of them has an alternate motive. We've trusted and we've been lied to. Which is why we are exceeding with caution. However, I don't think it's safe with us. Well, I can certainly understand that. That makes us alike. I can't say that I haven't had 
something like that happened to me as well. That is the issue. You never know who to trust. You never know. Even if it's people that you seem close to, all it takes is a moment's notice. That is why I have secluded myself. I trust no one more than myself. I could understand your caution, your paranoia. After all, I am still, despite everything I say, I am still his creation. However, I assure you as much as I can that I have no ulterior motives here. I hate the doctor. Almost willing to bet that I hate him more than you guys. Hi. A part of me wants to rival that. You know, I have no idea what he's taking from me. As for me... I'm sure you've heard every now and then from one of the projects, or maybe even the doctor himself, his processes, his process of getting his projects. You see, my very existence is a symbol of what's been taken from me. My life, my likelihood. Unlike a lot of the other projects, I remember everything about who I was. And I can say, without a shadow of a doubt, that I hate this man for everything he has stolen from me. And I have two more questions based off of that. Is it likely that the doctor could find you using and so help me God, I hope he doesn't, using another vector piece. Now, as you said, you might be able to figure out, would it be so far as to say that he could have figured it out as well? I'm not going to say no. He very well could figure out how to make it in here. Once he gets more information, I... That's what makes him scary. He can overcome nearly anything. He just needs time. I'm sure for the ones that have experienced him that you've been able to talk to, the doctor is a very formidable foe. He is horrifyingly strong and intelligent. I'm sure you may even have experienced that firsthand. I have. The third question. And this is going to sound probably ridiculous, but given that you've met the doctor, I don't think anything else would be more ridiculous. How do you feel about fighting gods? I would rather not. I don't I don't know if you want to hold the vector piece then. Oh no, the vector piece doesn't contain well you won't have to fight a god with the vector pieces. No, I I'm won't not, at least. I'm not saying that vector piece has a a god attached to it or anything. I'm just saying <laughs> Somebody, look, looking over at Evie, what? has had a couple of run-ins with a god who has not only taken the vector piece, but has now given it back. Playing a game of tag with the vector piece. 
I'm gonna say Scarb was standing right next to Eevee and he was very scared for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pardoned either. It was your cat that took it. The paladin it was your life. Your girlfriend that gave it back. The paladin life is not an easy life. <laughs> <laughs> if we do leave the vector piece here with you, <coughs> is there any sort of? Could we perhaps enter into a partnership, an allyship to one day destroy the Doctor? Well, that is certainly a lofty goal. I don't know if that man can be destroyed. But if he but can, I would like nothing more. If not destroyed, perhaps we could imprison him. Mm. I think we would be better off destroying him. I don't believe there's any prison out there that can hold him. The man doesn't abide by rules of nature, or even rules of magic. Is there anything that you could bestow unto us that would be able to aid us in the cause of defeating the Doctor. As I know you must remain here, un otherwise he may d determine your existence and location. I have nothing but the information I can provide. Could you put one of these fields around our train, but leave it and not affect the train in zero? Is that possible? That is possible. It would take materials and time. Do I smell a quest? <laughs> <laughs> a quest for me? What such materials would you require, and how much time do you think it would take? He needs one flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Have you ever heard of plasma? Dimeridium. Draconium. Oh no. Not dimeridium. <laughs> I know one of those. <laughs> Dimeridium <laughs> is Scarb does not though. <laughs> there are certain crystals that fuel the plasma creation. And there's a special type of metal. Believe it or not, it is actually the same metal that is made from your train. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold so up. So it is the metal I was thinking about. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if, and hear me out, Astra, Astra? and, like, uh, y you know, uh, oh, from the last oh. campaign. They had plasma, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they weren't immortal or anything, so they're probably fucking dead. No, but, but an their organization. Could be immortal. Yeah. <laughs> periodics. Wait, oh my god, the sisterhood. The That's sisterhood was... came from the periodics. They yes. did? <laughs> Do yeah. you know this? They did. Maybe you guys don't know that. Chili said something in like the very beginning of the fucking campaign, yeah, yeah, yeah. like before the campaign even started. They, they've, they've derived from the uh, periodics. Uh, that is like the one thing I've held on to in memory. Oh, just the fucking sister. I don't. They weren't. They weren't in direct connection to him. It was more of like an inspiration kind of thing. Hmm. So they kind of still might have plasma. They, yeah, yeah, they could. They very well could. Um, but yeah, but they, well, they're not, they don't have a direct correlation to them. It's more of just like they were inspired by the periodics and they created the Sisterhood of Arms. 
So we have one material with the trade. <coughs> we have one material maybe with the sister. The, um, oh, uh, he further explains. Uh, yes, dimeridium is not naturally found. It is made through a process. The metal it derives from is black titan steel. Which is easier found? It's plasma dimeridium. Uh, plasma is a yeah. entirely different substance, and is also made. Is it uh, plasma is made like dimeridium? Yeah, you have to have special crystals for it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I had a name for them, but it slips my mind at the moment. So <laughs> Chili's like, ah, I'm gonna write that in the floor later. Let me let me check. No, I do have its name somewhere. I think it's in the other campaign though. <laughs> it's fine. We will figure it out. I think uh, they're just uh, they're uh, they're blue crystals. I know that much. Um, I can't remember if I actually can't even remember if I gave him a name or not. Kyber I'm, crystals. I'm just kidding. I might have just called them blue crystals. <laughs> I thought you gave them a name because I think Takes, somebody. I Takes feel it. like I did, but I don't remember. Because I think I think Astra or somebody uh, explained it to us at some point. Mm. I'm just like, yeah, no, you can't actually mine dimeridium, and plasma is like super <clears> fucking <throat> hard to make. I feel like it was Yo Yo Lady. I feel like she was like, yeah, no, it's so yeah, hard to yeah. make. Like totes. I loved her. Let's see. <laughs> blue, blue, uh, blue eon crystals. That's what they're called. Blue so eon. So he needed plasma dimeridium. Did he say something else? Sorry. Some sort of like draconium. <clears throat> yeah, draconium. Is that? Which, he, uh, draconium is just a mix of plasma and dimeridium. So what, what, oh, once sweet. you get. Once you get dimeridium and plasma, you have juconium. Okay. <laughs> and that's what he wants. So we need, so we need to find the black titan steel. Mm-hmm. Maybe blue on To get the dimeridium. We need to go find these crystals to make plasma. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we, we might have them. <laughs> if we can obtain these things for you, how, how efficiently could you, uh, provide us with the barrier and how big would you be able to make the barrier oh, well it depends on what kind of lethality you want for it how powerful it is in the area the bigger it is and the more powerful you want it the more time it's going to take me I don't know and, guys what do you think <laughs> and the more resources it will take I think if we can get the materials, I mean, but isn't it stationary? No, it can move. It's provided. I think it like as a generator, so he can like attack. What's that? I'm just gonna ask him. <laughs> <laughs> so you you can make the field mobile, right? Like I'm assuming it's a generator or something that provides this energy. It'll emit off of a certain object. If that object is on the train, then yes, it would be mobile. But the train would be slowed, wouldn't it? Having, oh, no, he can not, he can make things. Um, not necessarily. I yeah. could make it not affect the train. Oh. Hmm. Would these fields that you can create and attach to specific objects would they provide us some protection against the attacks from the Doctor and his minions? I can't promise any direct effect to the Doctor. I can't even promise that it would slow him down. But as for his projects, yes, they would not be able to interfere. Out I of think character. we should get like personal ones that attach to ourselves. Out of <laughs> character, could you imagine that shit? If we had his field that was attached to our train, bitch, I'm pretty sure our train would be invisible. It would be mm -hmm. invisible. And soundproof. Our train's already soundproof. I'm gonna ask. Him. No, the fucking thing is loud as hell. How? Oh, the so... outside of the train, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, there are many uses for the technology that you possess, and depending on the amount of materials that we could obtain, uh, there may be another idea I have that might aid us in combat as well. 
Is it possible to bestow this sort of field to a person and have them be very small but still effective? That I have no idea. I've never tried it. And it is very dangerous for any individual to have something so close and so personal. Mm -hmm. I think it's better just to keep it to the train. Yeah, perhaps. It would potentially be very dangerous for whoever attempts to use it like that. I could just imagine issues. You have a personal one, but then you go to swing a sword, but the sword can't come back into the field, so the sword is needed. Oof, that's true. But yes, yeah, so, uh. Could you provide us with instructions on how to obtain these materials? And we shall get started right away. And uh, if this uh, partnership works out, um, I see personally, with, of course, having to discuss it with the party, I see no personal problem with letting you experiment with the vector piece. You don't discuss anything with the party. I'm surprised no. you brought it up now. I, I do not suck in the birds. I, I do not stay. This this bird no. I I say I, sa I said eventually. I didn't say right now. I I'm five seconds away from hand it over. Oh wait, you're gonna give it right away? I think so. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask Smiley how he felt about it because I would imagine Smiley would stay with him. Sure. Isn't Scarp holding Smiley? I am mm -hmm. not letting him go. Because Smiley was seen really like sad about adventuring, seeing all that sad stuff. I kind of that's true. I kind of want him to not see any more bad stuff, but like. He's and then our Smiley friend. could pick up all the garbage on the floor. He's our friend, and I don't want to leave him. <laughs> I think he'd be safer here, though. Mhm. Mm and it's probably even more undetectable that it's in Smiley. Yeah. I think we should offer Smiley the option. Yeah, that's what I, I was. So I, that's what we should, I we should to be do. asking one too if it's okay. Because like one might be like, no, get the fucking thing out of my, get him out of my tower. Get the fuck out of my tower. I'm gonna. So while you guys talk to one, I'm gonna message Smiley, and I'm gonna be like, hey, Smiley. He wants to keep the vector piece here. He seems trustworthy, but we, knowing that adventuring and seeing all this death and destruction has taken a toll on you. We're wondering if you would enjoy staying here with him while protecting the vector piece. And this is all in a message. <laughs> Don't you just have to talk for a message? A whisper. Yeah, 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 you whisper. Yeah, let's be honest, Smiley doesn't know how to whisper. <laughs> 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 Smiley's talking about, what? Don't want to yeah. say? Where'd that come from? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? It does pipe up. He's like, you, you, you want me to stay here? Only if that would make you happy. Well, oh, no, uh, not really. I, I want to keep going with you guys. Scar's in like, okay, that's settled then, and he's gonna break. Yeah, I don't think we should give it to him anymore. I, 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 <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know, fuck this guy. We don't need him. Oh my God. <sighs> then, uh, guys, how... I think we should give him the vector piece. I think we should give him the vector piece too. I don't give a shit about the vector piece. I'm not. Smiley doesn't want to. Smiley doesn't have to go. He can stay with us. Oh, yeah. Um,. This you is see. actually the guy that created Smiley. You still have the vector piece, right, Smiley? Yes. No. Oh, yeah. I, will. I assume I do. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Smiley, God. I love you. Smiley, no. Listen, I can't. I my interdimensional storage. I don't have a full count on that all the time. You realize I, I gave you a I book have an idea. for a reason. I have an you idea. You have a count on that. At I have least. an idea. We mm -hmm. keep Smiley. We have the like bag of holding, right? We give him the bag of holding to keep the vector piece in because I don't really like the idea of the vector piece the just being out and about. I, I don't forgot where the bag of holding. I'm pretty sure he can probably <laughs> like put it in some mechanical vault somewhere that is safer than a bag of holding. Yeah, but if he put the bag of holding in the mechanical vault, then. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but then he's still gonna know that it's in the bag of holding that's in the mechanical vault. I know. I guess I'm just worried that the vector piece gives off some sort of aura. Alright, you guys giving him the vector piece? <laughs> I don't like chili saying that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't like chili saying anything when he DMs, so... True. I... I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna be like, one. Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to ask one about this. If we do leave you with the vector piece, can you promise us its safety and that it will never be used? Of course. I have no interest in using the vector pieces rather than just keeping it away from the doctor. I... If he wants them, I don't want him to have it. Mm -hmm. I trust him, but I want an insight. Go ahead. <laughs> we, we can't trust anybody after the cat. <laughs> you just hand, it, <laughs> hand it off to him, and he just rips off his mask. Actually, a doctor. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> fools! <laughs> <laughs> 18? You're pretty sure he's telling the truth. Alright. I kind of dig he it. I again, again, as much as you inspect him, he just seems like a person that, like, every word he says and just the way he composes himself is like, he's not a guy, he's not one to lie at all. Everything he said is 100% the truth. I was getting those vibes, but I wanted to roll to make sure. Because <laughs> I've been wrong before. You are, yeah, you are, been... you are fairly certain. Like, you're like 99% sure he is telling the truth. I mean, to be fair, it's Evie, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't let Evie do this. I'm fine! <laughs> I'll leave if you so... Like, so <laughs> Would you guys prefer Solus handle the vector piece at this point over Evie? Like... No. I, I think it's a Kazrin smiley, maybe Scarab kind of roll. <laughs> I would like to pick up and look at the vector piece. <laughs> Don't pick it up. No, no, no. Roll me in the character. Like roll a d4, roll another d4, a little bit more. Uh, roll, roll 3d6. Uh, roll another 3d6. Yeah, another, another. All right. All right. Yeah, no, we're looking good. I roll the character on it. Yeah. Right, assuming, assuming that's what you're doing. If there's no objections. Smiley just kind of like. Um, I don't like that you're playing this fucking song the moment you said this. I also don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> there may now be a break. <laughs> Smiley is simply just like, oh, well, I'm sure you know how it works, but just, just stick your hand in my mouth and uh, think of the piece and it, it'll come to you. Oh no. I would like to roll perception. Wait. I, no. would like, I, I don't like the... I'm worried that the piece is going to be missing. That's that's what I want to do. I want to roll perception to see if anything's like lurking, like the doctor gonna fucking. I I'm listening for like cackles of the doctor. Or <laughs> He's just the evil crying of a in the other corner. Sure. Meowing of a cat. I mean perception. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh. Fifteen. <laughs> okay, and you got no more lucky, right? <laughs> Do you have DM's inspiration? You do have a DM's inspiration if you want to use oh. it. He, I think he's just trying to make us use it. Well, I mean, mm. we're towards the end of the session. That's true. I mean, you are towards the end. Yeah. So, want to use it? Or do you want to keep that? Do we? Do we want to? It is. If you use the inspiration, like you have to use the new role. You'd have to I use the new role, wouldn't you? Well, I, think... I don't want to no, say no. it. No, no, the I don't want to say it. The inspiration am... you choose. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's just like Licky. The DM's inspo. I just hear me out, guys. I'm not gonna say it because it brings me bad luck. Oh no, I know, but... I know what you're gonna yeah, say. Yeah, but it's you're already thinking about it. Just, 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 You're just roll it. Just roll it. Just roll it. Just roll it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, guys. Hold on. Give me. Give. Can I have one second, please? Sure. I, I just need to do one thing real quick before before I make this roll. I'm expecting you to turn off your scream. mic and scream. <laughs> you might hear a little bit of a thunk. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> it says re-roll the perception. I got a nat 20. <laughs> re-roll the perception. Oh. That's gonna be a nat 1. Yeah, well, you, you, used, you, you used it up! Down. You used it up. Am I- if, do, do I- do I roll, guys? I, uh, yeah, I think you roll. should. Just do it. Yeah. Ah! We're on the obsession. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Assume you want to keep the 15. Yeah. Can I keep the 26? <laughs> <laughs> can that now. Alright. You listen as closely as you can. Don't hear anything in particular other than the metal on marble as one steps up. Wait, 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 you guys should, <laughs> the paladin should detect evil and good. His hand raises up. Oh no, it's, it's, he's stuck away. <laughs> His hand reaches in. Takes a moment. And as he pulls his hand out, you all look away, knowing the origin of the piece, as you guys hear it. He pulls it out, you hear kind of dull hum, as you kind of keep your gaze off of it. You see he looks to it, inspects it, and begins to kind of step away. Kazrin, mm -hmm. with that perception, you feel a voice. It, it's almost like it tickles just the edge of your senses. Causes causes kind of a shiver to go down your spine, wow. and at first you're kind of wondering who it is. You hear it barely register on the edge of your hearing. I see you. You should probably tell him that something just said that. <laughs> Your body goes Wait. cold. And as you kind of focus on it, but not really without looking at it, because you realize it emanates from the peace. It repeats itself. I hear you. Oh no. Oh god, no, no. Don't look Either. at it. Ever is speaking. Wait, the god? The imprisoned thing? Kazrin, normally it was some safe. Oh no, Kazrin's gonna look. Kazrin, don't you dare. <laughs> no, I, would, I would like to pull out my stone and just blind myself real quick. <laughs> 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 I knew it was the same thing. Goodbye, Kazrin. No! <laughs> oh no! You can't save Kazrin. Oh no! Well, bye guys! <laughs> <laughs> we have to kill well, you now. Caitlin's gotta be very nice. Kazrin? <laughs> Am I rolling 3d6s, Chili? <laughs> <laughs> Your hearing goes fuzzy. Like static. Kazrin, it feels so good. You start to feel kind of numb throughout your body. You guys watch as Kazrin's eyes milk over white. The vector piece begins to crackle and pop, as well as Kazrin's kind of skin. <laughs> you see these strange kind of boxes start to kind of form um, and start to crackle, waver as Kazrin kind of his hands come in kind of squeeze tight as 
his form begins to change. <laughs> you see one starting to quickly try and put distance between the piece and Kazrin. Um, Kazrin. Scarb, and... grab Kazrin. Scarb, do it <laughs> quick! Kazrin, you begin to convulse. You begin to realize your breath starts to leave you. You can exhale, but you fail to inhale. As panic starts to set through your body, your skin crawls. As there's another voice that seems to ring out. Catch brief flashes of imagery, potentially even your life flashing before your eyes. As you have your final moments, you see everything that's kind of come so far where you started Tanny, his house, this triangular. Somebody thing just knock him out. Helping. Being passed out, Zero, Lucy, Doctor, all these different people that you met. You hear an old, raspy voice. Not yet. Not yet. Actually, you're an asshole. Who's the old, raspy voice? As Alton? You all hear. Yeah. Kazrin, you. It's almost like it was a bad dream. You kind of snap back, you see, you breathe. <gasps> Your body desperately needing the breath. You realize you haven't been breathing for like a solid two minutes. Or like a minute or two. Um, gather your breath. You all saw it. One moment, Kazrin, it was happening. And then just like that, Kazrin pulls to his senses. He's no longer changing. But you all hear the static, kind of, <laughs> kind of crackling, crackling sound that seems to uh, fill um, the area. Squirt, it's coming off of you. Huh? Wait, what? It's coming off of me? <laughs> what? You're familiar with it because you've used it once or twice. Not a lot because you weren't really associated with them too much. You didn't work for them, per se. Rather, you were just kind of associated with them. But they still gave you one anyway. The Sisterhood of Arms. They are contacting you. And it kind of comes through very kind of rough, especially with where you are. Isn't it not good that it's coming through the shield? Nope. As <laughs> it kind of... it. It seems to kind of come in and out, but it's Irma, uh, of course. It's the only one, uh, one that you're used to talking to, as Irma is trying to speak out to you. Um, do you hear it pass? It's kind of staticky feel. You hear it kind of going like, "Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? Hey, little little, little guy." <laughs> Hey, you know, this sounds a little familiar. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Wait. Hey, so welcome. <laughs> you got it the night. So it's your, uh, your first night here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> but she seems to be calling for you. Um, uh, uh, Squirt. Um, and I can't remember if I gave... If she had a nickname for you, but uh, I'm just going to say little guy. Yeah. That's what I made it. I made it kid in the backstory. Okay, kid. Okay, then that's that's what she uses. It's kid, kid, are you there? Uh, Sprocket's like, hey, yo, we're here! <laughs> hey, yo! What's poppin'? What's poppin', buddy? You hear? We read it loud, but not so clear. <laughs> oh, that that's fine, as long as you can hear me. Uh, listen, we've been looking into um, what you guys had said. Um, and I don't know things. You may want to um, you may want to swing by. We're gonna be back at the HQ in a uh, couple of days. Um, if you guys want to head down there, uh, we we have them. Have what? Have what? The pieces? Uh, Who do you have? The doctor. The doctor. <laughs> No, 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 bad idea, bad idea. Run, bitch, run. Oh my god. If he's being so, docile, he wants something. He's lying. Don't trust it. Well, he's not speaking at all, so. <gasps> uh, 
it's like he's turned off or something. Oh no! Oh no! We just wait, handed wait, the vector wait. piece to the doctor, guys. That's his real body. Maybe no. the doc Maybe they should no stay where way. they are if they're in like the the field. Maybe he turned the doctor off, <clears throat> and they should stay where they are. No, no. He's yeah, he's not responsive, but um, but yeah, we got him. We got him chained up, and uh, we're gonna head him. Uh, we're heading him down to the HQ for uh, uh, higher security. So Don't. I figured you guys had some Good idea. Your friends had some. What? What was that? I just think it could be very dangerous. There's a chance that he's just pretending to be unconscious so that he can find the RHQ. That's a bad idea. Well, if he's unconscious, he ain't gonna really know. He he has the ability to change his eye lights. It wouldn't <laughs> be so far as to say that he's just got them turned off. Judging yeah. by what we've heard about the doctor, he might just have you instead of the other way around. It's kind of a moment that passes as she kind of like, oh, oh I'm sorry, what, what? What was that? I, you're barely coming in. Oh, so, no. God damn it. Oh, crap. Listen, if you want, just start heading down to the HQ. We can talk more about it there. No! Don't oh, do shit. it! Don't! The radio... Uh, the radio feed seems to cut out after that. And just goes to die. a static. Well, short sec, I hope you didn't like that group. I oh, don't say that to them! <laughs> <laughs> As somebody who has lost their group, I hope you did not like that group. <laughs> Scar was definitely gonna pop they up. Want... Like, Couldn't blame her. Blame him. They want to, like... They, like, start trying to throw the device, like, on the ground really violently, but then they stop themselves, like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially a, uh, it's essentially just a walkie-talkie. That's all it is. I would like to look at one and be like, well, why would the doctor be doing this? Why, uh, do you think he took a new body? Uh, uh, he, explain. He makes sure he puts the piece away, make sure you guys can see it. Especially after seeing what happened with Kazrin. He puts it away. I don't feel so good. <clears throat> and then he turns back to you, Solace. I'm not sure what he has planned, but whatever it is, it is not good. I'll listen up my field. You can leave. I would recommend getting to them as quickly as possible. Is there a way that we can contact you? Well, not necessarily, but I will always be here. And now that I've seen you and are somewhat familiar, you're welcome to come back in. With less problems next time. Thank you. Can, uh, can you, before we leave, can you give us a list of the things that we need for you to make us a new field? He, he gives you a list. <laughs> <laughs> you you guys can handle that. I'm, I'm gonna go vomit. I feel sick in my stomach. He just fucking, like, sets down squirt and just fucking runs out the door. Oh. You were holding me that entire time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Square, I hope you like glitchy hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Squirt was the first one dying. No. Yes. <laughs> right. How dare you? Uh, consider consider this payback for you know killing Dipper against us. <laughs> oh. Heck. Uh, chilly, real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, why well, wouldn't what are they doing? Whatever the fuck they are. Uh, Scarb's gonna um. Walk up towards one and, and punch him in the face. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and as like as like low as he can without the others hearing, just ask him if he knows anything. Well, first off, just if he knows anything about like the actual like about God and stuff. You're asking if I know anything about gods. 
I know. A bit, yes. Is there a way to get rid of one? Are you talking as in killing one? If need be. There is technically a way, yes. Throw that a piece at them? <laughs> <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Take flash <laughs> <Take pleasure, laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you could technically kill God. Uh, needless to say, it is very difficult to do so. And you won't necessarily kill off. You'll only be killing off there. Current possessor, if that makes sense. So if I were to kill any particular God... They would perish, but there would be a new one to take their place shortly. That's fine. It's more of a precaution that I wanted to ask about. Hmm. Well, I will not probe any deeper for it. It is something I feel like I don't really need to know about. I think it'd be best you don't. Then we will keep it that way. Is there any other questions you had? No. Uh, besides that... Just one more question. And then he's gonna pull out the flashbang and ask him if he has the materials for it. <laughs> <laughs> or if he knows where he can get some. <laughs> Jelly, we're gonna did you ever, for it. Did you mm -hmm. ever ask um, if Squirt could fix it? I don't think he did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, fair, as long as, as long as we could find out where the materials could he, be somehow gotten. He takes it up, kind of looks at it. Primitive. I do have the means of fixing this. That's like 2,000 gold. I still only have eight gold. <laughs> what? You should only have eight gold. No, you should have. Because I'm fucking poor. No, no I'm pretty sure you should have. Group money. You should have fifteen hundred and thirty. Yeah. I think. I gave. I I should have given you oh, gold with the when, armor. Oh, when you when you came to the room, all you ever said was you gave me the armor, Sorry. so I just assumed you I kept the gold. Got gold too. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Oof. How much did you say I have gold? Fifteen hundred. Oh, shit. Actually, was... no, I think I think you're the only person who knew that voice, or who's knew whose voice that was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, that is who you were thinking. Uh, I'm voice? gonna be listening, yeah, but I I'm figured. gonna be muted for a bit. So okay. if you need me, just, uh, just say so. Okay. Kazan, we need you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Motherfucker, I will kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna that... be lonely. Do you want me to hold you again? I'll do it. Please. <laughs> 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 All right. Is there anything you guys uh, want to do here, or do you want to start heading towards uh, Sister of Arms? Well, I want to know what I need to get for the flashbang. I mean, he just offered to refill it for you if you want to. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what he's saying. He's like, yeah, I can refill this. Ah. Uh how how much do I gotta do I gotta pay? I don't even I don't even know what exactly this thing is. I just know it goes make it goes flash. And that makes a bang. Yeah, well. Yes. 
Uh, just give me a day and I'll have it fixed up for you. Aye, aye. All right. Anything else? While you guys are still here? How, squirt, are you, do you look worried? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go. Squirt, do you look worried? Well, I was wondering if they did care. <laughs> <laughs> Squirt's like, I don't care about this sister of iron people I grew up with. No, nah. fuck them. All right. In that case, if there's any objections, you guys uh, head back out and begin to make your way back. Now, mind you, uh, just to remind you, the train is a good couple of hours away, so you guys spend a good chunk of time to finally get back. Uh, again, about five, six hours of walking. To make it back to the train, you can see that um, she was more lively uh, than she was. She's got steam coming out, and her firebox is lit back up as she kind of gives you a couple of toots. You guys kind of come up to it. Um, as Tanny kind of peers out the door, it's kind of, or first he peers out the window, but then kind of opens the door, kind of welcomes you all back. It's like, oh, oh, welcome back. You guys took um, a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, we met one and we gave him the vector piece. <laughs> oh. Uh, Scarb, Scarb would like to very importantly <laughs> put both of his hands one on each of Solus's legs and spin him around real fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you spun around, uh, Solus. <laughs> Yay. I poop on his head. I would like to poop on uh, Scarb's head. <laughs> Try to poop on his head, okay. You scared the shit out of me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Uh, what well, did you? Uh, I, was, I, I, I was really hoping that Tanny would freak out more. <laughs> He's used to it. <laughs> oh, you know that all powerful artifact? Yeah, you just, you just got rid of it? Yeah, yeah, I'm used to it. Well, I'm trusting your better judgment here, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, okay. Anyway, I was just hope you made a good choice. <laughs> I'm going to trust, <laughs> trust you on this one because. Uh, I, don't know, I got nothing else to do. Yeah, anyway, what did you, what, I bet what did you really guys figure out? Zero should be activated again. Yes, he yes, he's been he's been talking back and forth for a while. That's because one deactivated his dampening field. Well, for us at least. For us at least. Wonderful. And he said he's going to put a dampening field on the train for us if we can find him the materials. That's fantastic. I also, think. the sister hood of arms has captured the doctor and is apparently taking him to their HQ, even <laughs> though he's probably just be pretending to be. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, wonderful. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> they did what now? They captured him. Uh, how? I don't know. They said he was they, deactivated. They... What? It says. Is... It's Rocket's theory. He did it on purpose. He got captured on purpose. Who said that? We need to help them. Sprocket. Oh, Sprocket. <laughs> One thinks he's just playing a trick as well. But we lost communication with them. Uh... I'm sorry, what did I miss? Did we, did we end? Uh, no. We're talking no, about Tanny. So, so we told... Okay, because and... I, heard, I heard something about figure out, and I'm like, ah, uh, did we just end? Did I miss no, something? No, 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 no. All right, I have to make one phone call, but I panicked. I'm like, did, did we just end? Uh, no, 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 you could. All right, I'll be right back. Can I well, try to contact the sisterhood again? Sure. Try to kind of take a little walkie talkie out and try it. Fucking uh, the doctor answers. <laughs> <laughs> I got them, and you're next. No. Um, 
You speak into it. Uh, there's no response, so it seems mm-hmm. to just be static. They they're, speak into it. They're, uh, they're potentially out of range at this point. Where the fuck's the HQ? I want to assume we're Rumble. moving closer since we're out closer to the thing now. Uh, no, they operate in the south, remember? Yeah, but they they weren't in the HQ when they called. So they yeah. probably yeah, no, got they further weren't. away. Yeah, they were. Oh, yeah. They definitely uh, were not in the HQ. Anyway, yeah, the Sisterhood has your brother. You're welcome. Well, I mean, that's good. If they can handle him. Do you think they can handle him? Probably it? not. I don't know. I don't know how strong the Sisterhood is nowadays. Nor do I know how strong the Doc Samuel is. The Doc Samuel. <laughs> the Doc Samuel. <laughs> I don't know how... I don't... Well... Okay, is there any other news? Um... He said he would put a dampening field on the train for us. Yes, I, I got that. I got that. Um... Hmm. Not this shopping list! <laughs> Did we tell him that Mama Violet is dead? Uh, that, that happened a bit ago. He probably <laughs> saw it. Uh, yeah, I think he's aware that Mama went there. <laughs> I, I think he saw the fucking tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder who burned the tree. You did, of course. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, this can't blame this on an EB. He wouldn't have shot the fireball if she wasn't corrupted. I, I can't believe people. this. <laughs> this is bullying. Chili beat him up. <laughs> Who are we bullying? Bring the wrath of God down on you. Alright, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to head towards. I don't know. I missed the entire conversation. I'm going to head towards uh, the HQ and try to see what the fuck's going on with that. Uh, I think so, <laughs> yeah. I don't think we have a choice, but at the same time, I really don't want to. We just came. From, how far south do we have to go this time? Uh, <laughs> quite a bit, actually. And normally, well, since you have a uh, squirt, squirt, you know, uh, they are in Jacksonville. Where the Manitoba? fuck are you at? Oh, all the way down all here in Florida. Way down in Florida. Oh. Oh. oh my fucking Gross. god! We're never gonna meet Coop. <laughs> we are never fucking We'll see out. him after. We'll see him after. It's fine. No, that's what we what said. Lord, is what is is yeah, but this is an emergency. No. Fuck the sisterhood. We're going to see Coop. Fuck the sisterhood. Dude, boy squirt. Oh, we Absolutely have to not. Are you kidding me? Because there is a possibility we are going to have to try and defend ourselves against the doctor because he's an old piece of shit. Uh... <laughs> I just say, you know, we go and do, have a training arc before we go and get our asses handed to us. Just saying, guys. He said to, if we don't go there fast enough, it's going to be too late anyway. It's going to be too late for us if we go there too early. Listen, if you want to, like, wait, you got to tell that to Squirt. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casper, look at Squirt. Squirt. <clears throat> Fuck the sister runs. Squirt is, like, kind of, like, looking around, thinking between the two options. Like, kind of, like, holding their hands out and, like, weighing them. Like, hmm. Okay, on one hand, my friends. On the other hand, I need to be more powerful. Uh, they're in indecision. <laughs> Literally, on one hand, my friends. On the other hand, my other friends. Yeah. I think we should go Either- to the sisterhood. I don't think we should go to the sisterhood because we're gonna go there. We're gonna get our asses handed to us. We're not so gonna we just let them anyone die because we're not strong enough. That's it doesn't matter because they're gonna die anyway because they picked up the fucking doctor. We're like and three levels higher than we were. <laughs> we can handle something. <laughs> you know what? Five level almost tens equal five times I'm nine. Is... Get we're level forty-five. Excuse you. Jeez. We're level 45, com- combined. We're level sounds 45. Like, I don't think like that's it. how that works. Sounds like we're in the, the market for a, uh, a vote here. So. <laughs> I think uh, we are in a vote. And I that, think this democracy is very against ever, me. <laughs> everyone that wants to go and find Coot, say aye. 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 Okay, so that's oh. three? 
Wait, so really? Wait, 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 Dipper? Wait, 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 really? wait, Dipper? You, what? Squirt. Squirt. Yeah. You don't want to save you your family? <laughs> Guys, if we can be just be a burden on them. Okay, no, I wouldn't. thought about it like this. I thought about it like I trust Irma, or rather, Squirt would trust Irma. So. Yeah, but Irma said to go well, to Irma the doesn't HQ. know anything. Irma said them. to go to the HQ. Yeah, Irma literally said, come down here. I must have ain't even gonna get there for a couple of days, and we have one of the fat, quote unquote, faster trains. That too, yes. <laughs> I think. <sighs> the only thing that is faster than us is the fucking lightning trains or whatever they are. What if they have a lightning train? <laughs> <laughs> what sucks to suck. I'm gonna doubt though, because they said it would take a couple days. I mean, to be fair, if they know about the doctor from us, if they heard that you do not fuck with him. But if we get there too late, then we're just gonna... Oh. If we get there too early, we're also gonna die and we're not gonna be able to help anybody. Yeah, Hal, Hal, look at it this way. They're simply taking the scientific method. They're fucking around and they're about to find out. <laughs> but what if we get there and there's nothing? Like, they're all gone. That, like. Sucks to suck, death happens. Oh, but that. Or it just, like, goes up to Evie and just, like, shuts her mouth. Like, literally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shh. <laughs> okay, so just to be. Alright, so. We had, uh. You're, you're, you're concrete in the decision, right, Matt? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, that wins the vote, then. So you guys are heading towards Coop. My my argument against this, uh, my argument for this is, uh, last time we had a vote, and we had a three to five split. It went positively. And it was also Did a it tell. <laughs> Did it though? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that uh, somebody decided to own a pet cat that was just a lesser deity or whatever. Uh, fucking just saying, yeah. and and I'm pretty sure the sisterhood is doomed. We so figured out it was a cat. I started going Oathbreaker. We said fuck the cat. You wanted to keep the cat. <laughs> Just I saying. Was, I was keeping my oath. <laughs> fuck your oath. I don't have one shit. anymore because of someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> I li literally, you were the one that was getting choked out, Hazard. <laughs> hey, I'm into some freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Give it the instructions. Train starts heading northeast again. As with the new, newly refined power, it starts to head up. And hours and hours passes. It goes past the mountain range. It seems to um, break it. And going through forest to forest, you start to get to like a more cold area. Uh, but you notice, as strangely enough, it's kind of like a, uh, or actually, um, kind of get into like a uh, rigid kind of uh, empty coldness. Um, not necessarily snowing, more just a just fairly cold area. Uh, as the train kind of goes and goes. Um, <laughs> You guys are waiting. Eventually, hear a uh, a sound, kind of like metal. As you hear, you don't really feel it because uh, it doesn't transfer into the 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 room. But you kind of hear like a <laughs> kind of like metal hitting things. And then the train starts to kind of give a, a few toots and a few whistles. Uh, not like a full-on panic, but just like a, uh, like, this need this needs attention. I'm gonna go up and take a look at it. What's going on? I will also go. I have a feeling the rails are iced over. You kind of head up as you step through. You notice as you step through, the train is uh, slightly tilted. Ooh. Um... It is, uh, it is like leaning on rocks and is like stuck there. Now you can see as you get out, you see its wheels 
<laughs> start to kind of just like roll in place. It has no, it's not on any rails anymore. How huh? did you manage? This <laughs> <laughs> just gives you a couple of dudes. <laughs> is this showing no. off? Is that what the train's trying to do? No, I think the train, uh, I think the train slipped off the spectral rails and got itself stuck. Oh no, it's breaking out. Tracks. It gives you a single toot. Sing hold on, let me... <laughs> Where's no, my that's not part? the right notes. Okay, single toot. That's a no. No. Isn't it? Yes, no. <laughs> One is no. Two is yes. Three means I don't know. A lot means ah. That's what I have. Because <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> he's a single toot. No. Oh god, wait. So you're telling me somebody wasn't being sassy? Gives you single teeth. No, uh -huh. not being sassy. I think somebody did this to him. Right, Train? You know. It gives you two teeth. <gasps> you were attacked? What? Oh. Who did this? Oh, it that gives you single, <laughs> single teeth. No, you weren't attacked? Yeah, yeah, it, it was all Evie's fault, wasn't it? Single teeth. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> I would like to roll perception, Chili. I would like to look for any individuals nearby. Sure, I'm perception. I want to look for the old man. Where the fuck is? Oh, Where is now? You get a little peer around. Take a look. You don't see him, but you see what could potentially be his cabin. There's a uh, wooden cabin that's not too far off. It looks very, very similar to the one that you had found uh, the map in. <laughs> that's definitely fucking trapped. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right, it was trapped last time. Maybe we could find another one of those weird flashbangy things. You have your new one. <laughs> you, you can take revenge on him, be like, hey, look at this, Pew! Oh, I think we left it there so he could refill it. Aww. He did. Dang. Like, take this asshole! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> think fast, trickle notes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but other than that, you don't see much. The train again. You see it like its wheels kind of. <laughs> and you see like kind of the right side where it's kind of leaning against, like the wheels kind of like throw up sparks as they're just like uh, rubbing against rocks. So, how... did you slip? What? It gives you a single tube. No. No. Were there no more rails to go on? Did you just fly off the end of them? It gives you two toots. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say something earlier? <laughs> shouldn't Shouldn't you know where your own rails are? Gives you like a two and a half. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 Then I still want to invent uh, <laughs> Morse code. Oh my god, can we just. Uh, where's Tanny? I want to ask him if he could teach me to talk with trains. Speak with trains. Squirt doesn't talk. They should learn how to te speak with trains. Oh, that's perfect. That's just give. Right. You need to give, uh, you need to give uh, Squirt one of them, like, uh, bike horns. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. A little <laughs> bike horn. And they got. The... <laughs> oh my god, Squirt, we got to hook you up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then one day she's just gonna be squirting the train. Just, doo -doo, kank, kank. <laughs> <laughs> They're communicating. Oh You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night one night. It's just gonna be like hooping <clears throat> and honking back and forth angrily. They're gonna be in a fucking. <laughs> oh my god, they do travel in hermits. My one true love, a train. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna know, like that one thing where it's like that guy married like his car. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be like it. Alright, so what are you guys doing? I'm yeah. walking towards the cabin. The guys, right. guys, 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 we should not walk into the cabin blindly. 
I'm walking towards it, not into it. Combat. Okay, uh, I would- I would look- <laughs> I would look the roll candle. <laughs> I- this guy does like to booby trap. That being said, uh, and I'm gonna pull out, like, one of the fire, uh, alchemist fires and just twirl it around, like, this could have landed on mine or somebody else's face, uh. <laughs> He's gonna, like, kind of just slowly slip it back in to his, uh, little, little bag. Squirt starts going up to the cabin and goes to investigate the front door. Okay. I, too, would like to help. Absolutely. Guys start heading that way, as squirts, you gotta investigate, cash when you do too. Um, guys come up, you kind of like, uh, as you begin to search, you're both, all of you are kind of startled, as um, somebody calls out, not from the cabin, but like, kind of, um, uh, from deeper into like this forest next to the cabin, uh, it seems to be kind of like a pathway. As you hear, uh, like old scrappily voice, it's kind of like, "Hey, hey, you better watch your step if you're going in there." It's Coot, is that you? I like Coot's voice. If that's Coot, money. We're looking for a man named Coot. Kind of. He seems like hobbling. He's got like a little stick. Um, <laughs> that's like made. Of, he's like it's like made. It's not, like, anything special. It's like a stick he just found out of the forest. It's, like, all uh, curvy and just, um, like, no specialty to it at all. Uh, as he kind of walks closer, you see a man that is uh, dressed in, like, he, he seems to be holding, like, his basket. And he has rather ratty clothes. They're, they are commoner's clothes. They are, he appears to be wearing, like, his loose brown shirt and, like, burlap pants. His shirt is riddled with just dirt and like holes inside of it. His his hair looks greasy and disgusting. It's gray, kind of falls down his head and a bit like onto his chest and back a little bit. He actually appears to have um, slightly pointed ears, like uh, half elf ears, um, a mixture of like human and elf. Um, kind of has this like big like. Um, scar that seems to kind of run down his right face, or like the right side of his face. It's kind of like veiny, just kind of like, um... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I heard the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like this big uh, scar. Is from the dark side of hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Big, like, <laughs> veiny scar that just seems to run down the right side of his face. You can see, like, a bit of his lip has been, like, taking out. Or, like, a chunk of his lip is, like, missing on the right side. Um, you can see, like, uh, just age and, like, wear and tear on this man's face. Um, he appears to have a, uh, a green eye. And his right eye is uh, gray and milky. Um, He's blind. Mm, as he is. Blind. Oh. So he's kind of hobbling towards. Holy shit. He looks like a half work. Why is he like... scarier than a doctor? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I think he looks cool. <clears throat> he kind of gets closer. He's like, oh, no, no, no. You, you step in there, you're going to get you're gonna get lit up like, like a flame. And you, you're going to die. I'm guessing oh. alchemist fire? No, no. Well, I, I think maybe, maybe something else. He kind of like comes out, walks to the door. He kind of like kicks it with his cane, or he kind of like just juts it with his cane. The door swings open as um, uh, he kind of takes his cane and just like presses it into the door frame real quick. You see like metallic spikes just kind of shoot up. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This, one, this, this one's one. Yeah, no. The, the spike one. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Hey, what are y'all waiting out here for? Come on in. Kind of just starts. Oh my god, I love in. it. I, I, as I we go in, guy. I would like to press digitate him. <laughs> That's so rude! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Start to do that, Solus. You get. Uh, you take a point of damage. His cane. That's <laughs> your pass the face. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Hey, you better stop that. Solus! Don't. I pardon for the chicken. He, he was full of no dirt. common sense. Yeah, don't, don't be touching me, no magic. No, I don't know what the hell you've been doing to me. Just don't, don't touch me. Are you related to a Richard? 
<laughs> Never mind. I am speak up. I can't hear you. I fucking love this guy. I said, never mind. <laughs> oh, why the hell are you asking me then? Anyway, what, you, what do y'all want? Help sent us. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hope? Sends y'all? Why, why the hell hope sending y'all? I don't want no damn teenage young youngsters. Get, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Scar's more shocked that he thought that uh, he looked teenage. To be fair, the man is half blind. He kind of like looks back at you guys. What are you also doing here? I said, yeah, go! You just told us to come in. Well, now I want you to go. Go! What? <laughs> because of Solace? What, oh, if no. we, what if we leave the bird out? <laughs> no, 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 you can tell her I don't want no, want no youngsters in my place. Last time she sent them, they all just died. Oh. Well, we have lost four of us. Solace, please! <laughs> Solace, please! <laughs> I would like to hit the bird now, please. Prime, prime example, you guys can't handle yourself, can't handle the world, can't handle what old cook can I give you. False, I can handle it. <laughs> I mean, it's either you help us and help us get stronger, or the world ends. So, I mean... Ain't no world What are you, crazy? The world's gonna end? Crazy, crazy. You ever heard? I'm just There's gonna mind... for a vector piece. Does that change your mind? The hell's a vector piece? I've never heard of such a thing in my life. I don't even know what that means. Scarb's still standing there with his hand raised. Like I, Like, like I said, I can handle it. <laughs> he looks at you. Scarf, you take a point of damage. <laughs> Cracks <laughs> in the head. That's fine. I'm, keep, I'm, keeping my, I'm keeping my hand raised. What do you want? I can handle it. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. All these brave adventurers come up in here thinking they can learn from all Coot's methods. No, y'all ain't ready. You might as well just leave. He, uh, he's, uh, Scarb's gonna go up go up to him and like I'm assuming he's short that way. Oh yeah, he's actually uh he's probably like uh he's like five two. Okay, he's gonna lean down look him in the face like fuck bravery. I need strength. I need to kick someone's ass. <clears throat> yeah kick somebody's ass. What the hell are you here for? <laughs> I don't take actually us, know. Take us can <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that wanted to go here well, Hope sent us, and she said we could learn from you. Yeah, hope this, hope that. Hope's a crazy bitch. She don't know what she's doing. <laughs> My fucking god. <laughs> Why do you just ready to mute for a minute? Hope literally. No, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm angry now. I'm like. Hope literally saved the world. Hope what do you mean? Hope's a crazy bitch. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm gonna tell her you said that. I was not expecting. That. Okay. No way, darling. I told it myself. You know you kind of look like her. What? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm just gonna turn nice. around like, bitch, what? Nice! <laughs> <It's insulting. laughs> yeah, they both have white hair, maybe he's like her son. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we don't know we don't nothing about it. world saving. She all talk, with never any action. She literally nearly died fighting the doctor to save her city. Oh, <laughs> Who the hell's a doctor? You've been, you've been in salt and you've been in seclusion for too long, and I'm just gonna fl I'm just don't hit me this time, and I'm gonna show him like a movie scene with my minor illusion. I didn't see you gonna put no magical place up in my home. I'm Is he standing in front of the door? No, you guys are inside. <laughs> oh, we are? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought we were just still talking outside. <laughs> he 
Uh, what, what do you mean she's a uh, sacrifice enough for some kind of diet? We should go, go get a fucking uh, checkup. And now she's suddenly the whole world's dying because what? Miss Hope is also so important. Like her special power. I oh. love that I only Sir? understand like a fourth of everything. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor isn't an actual doctor. He takes people's Who bodies. Why the hell are yes! they him a doctor? That makes no fucking sense. Because he's, he's, he's a scientist. He's a scientist. He's a scientist. If I go in town, I have a special job. You know, we go to the mines, go to the fucking. Uh, sell some meat, sell some fruit. You know, everyone's got a special name. Why the hell it calls Does anybody have meat? power words? Shut up. Power <laughs> 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 sex. That makes make no goddamn sense. Sir? I mean, I I have crowd of madness, but I feel like that would just not do anything. <laughs> Dude, that would make it more sane. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. A scientist has been stealing people's bodies and turning them to e into evil robots who no longer have sentience and losing them as slaves and trying to kill everybody. We literally just killed a giant fucking mecha terrasque when one of our friends blew up and we saved a whole town and now we're on this mission to kill the doctor but then the sisterhood of the whatever they're called took the doctor even though he's trying to trick them into killing them and it's just a whole lot of stuff. There ain't no doctor I ever heard of. <laughs> he calls himself the doctor. Why? No clue. <sighs> so I'm still trying to figure out why I was just tie you guys to me. Why is Hope sending you this way? Because we need to become stronger so we can defeat him and save the world again. <laughs> Hope said you can help those who don't have magic. He stares at you for a second. Uh, well, why didn't you just say so immediately? We well, to be fair, the I magic user wouldn't let me talk, and I'm just gonna point at the bird. <laughs> uh, it's just true. He does seem to be pretty, pretty nosy and pretty noisy. That's exactly why I want to pluck him and cook him. I like don't diff the crazy guy any ideas. <laughs> so let's just take another funny damage. He cracks your head. <laughs> I love this guy. I'm affixing to fireball him. <laughs> you fireball him, I'm gonna pluck you of every one of your feathers. I I want Sprocket to try to try to whack him and be like, it's not nice to hit people. Oh. <laughs> Sprocket takes a part of damage. <laughs> Sprocket <laughs> down. <laughs> Sprocket over the head. Ah, don't touch me, you metal freak. What the hell even are you? You're not a person. <laughs> a robot. Thanks for noticing. He cracks him again. You think that? <laughs> <laughs> don't go touching me now. I don't know what you're gonna do to me. Now listen here, you old coot. He cracks your head, so this I you use shield. <laughs> I would like to use shield <laughs> to deflect it. <laughs> you still take a fine damage. It comes what? in low. Smacks in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> this man. <laughs> Sorry, man. Chili, this is the best fucking character you've <laughs> ever made. No, but Smiley! Nice. Can... I can't wait to nope, go. No, I like Coot way better. Ah, enough commotion, enough, enough messing around. You really want to learn? You come all this way to learn. Where are y'all even from? Everywhere. <laughs> I would, Chili, I have a question. I would. Catherine would know it's New York, right? Yeah. I'm from New York. What the hell? You travel so far. You're all from New York? No. No, no. I'm, uh. <laughs> Kind of from here and there. <laughs> and from around. We went from New York to California back here. In my defense, in my I still have my iridescent eyes. <laughs> I've traveled so far. Fine, 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 fine. All right, whatever. How sent you this way? You want to learn? Fine by me. Hey, follow me, follow me, follow me. He actually like gets up. He gets up and the. Uh, uh, as he, he doesn't walk towards the door, the, the windows aren't pained or anything. Uh, so he just like kind of gets up and hops through the window. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't walk through that door. I, I, I don't trust it. Hey, you might get, you know, might get yourself stuck in the foot or something. I want to copy exactly what he does because I don't trust any of it either. I'm yeah. flying through the window gracefully. Yeah, you go through the window. Scarab is staring at the window like, can I even fit? <laughs> also, I'll shove you fit. through if you need. 
I'm like continuously prepared to get smacked in the head now. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you you push me through, and then I pull you through. All right. All right. Cool. cool. Just fucking. Okay. Oh my god, these two. <laughs> you, just, you just hear this the entire time. Just... I get this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You all you all squeeze the window as he kind of. Uh, you guys kind of follow. Seems to be kind of going along this. Uh, um. Kind of like along this mountainside, as uh, he saunters, saunters along. Uh, you guys, uh, how experienced are you fighting anyway? I know of it. Just kind of shrugs. <laughs> My only brain cell went to I got I got deflected by a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I know evasion how to dodge uh, most some attacks. <laughs> I like to think I'm pretty good at fighting. I can hit <clears throat> hard and apparently throw hard. Yeah, okay, okay, whatever. You guys know the number one rule of fighting. Never let we you We don't down. talk about. Oh. <laughs> 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 I choose, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna be like, I, I bet it's no magic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Certainty! Oh. You gotta be sure as fire if you're fighting. One little hesitation, he cracks all this over the head. And you're done. Just like that, you're done. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking uh, knock out Solus here in a minute. He keeps fucking that up. I need, he needs to hit me 70 more times. <laughs> he he was the way it's going, he just might. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I am, some kind of test dummy? I'm, I'm like mocking his voice at this point. He cracks in there again. <laughs> <laughs> so 100% certain. Never hesitate. If you hesitate, you are dead. Also, you gotta have imagination. Nothing's impossible on the battlefield. First person that thinks that they can't do anything, well, you've done lost. I'd like to try to hit him over the head with a stick. He ducks. Damn it! I fucking love this guy. Hmm. You're fast for an old man. Oh, well, I've been fine for years. I haven't survived as long just from my good looks and everything. <laughs> uh, what, what is your history? Like, uh, why you fight? Well, I used to fight. But I'm too old for that now. <laughs> now, see, because you can uh, kind of see here, I have a very frail body. You kind of like takes his fist and kind of like bumps it to his chest. I'm not as spry as I used to be, but that doesn't mean I've been losing. Kind of like taps to the side of his head. I just had to think differently. No, there's a lot of things I've picked up in my time. The most important one being never hesitate. That's all it takes. Think about it, you're in the fight of your life, back and forth, and he kind of starts like mimicking, like, just like surfeiting with you, Evie, he's like swinging his cane. You think about it, when you're fighting, time seems like it slows down. One second feels like a minute, one minute feels like an hour, one hour feels like a day. And all it takes is that one second, that one mishap, that one second hesitation, and he kind of like taps the staff. Uh, to your chest, Stevie. Boom. Just like that. That's all it takes. And you know, you're dead. Uh, so are you just fighting on instinct? I guess you could say that. Your gut feeling, a lot of people like to try and ignore that. I know guys always, there's a lot of guys that teach like, oh, don't follow this, don't do that. Why don't the law do this? No, your gut feeling will save you. Hmm. It's what keeps you from hesitating. 
so trust in yourself. Yeah. Huh. That and, well, let's just say that uh, kind of like takes his staff and like taps to your weapon, Evie. That right there, that's not your only weapon. And he kind of taps the end of his staff to your forehead. This here is your ultimate weapon. Think outside the box. Sometimes you'll find a lot of indestructible or unbeatable tasks are a lot different from a different view. You just gotta find the right angle. Get what I'm saying? I think so. Good, because I'm not gonna repeat myself. Anyway, here we are. It kind of like stops. It's like the opening of a cave. Your first test. If you're really up for the task, then I'm going to send you right in there and you're going to come back out of that if you're up to it. At least. If not, then you're going to die. How many groups have, has Hope sent you that have died? Mm, thanks, Tim, sir. I don't know. I lost count. No, oh, fuck it, I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm walking in the cave. <laughs> um, same here. Same Can I you walk healing first? As you walk up to it, um, you notice it's like a uh, it's like a slope. You will slide in if you walk in. It's not like it's not like a it's not like a leisurely you just like walk down into the cave. No, if you go past the lip, it is so steep that you're sliding down. Of course, Solus and um, uh, uh, squirt uh, are a bit different since they fly. Surely, I would like to sit down on the floor <coughs> myself in a position and then raise my hands while I slide down. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We'll hold on to each other. Yay! <laughs> Fuck it, Cass, we're just going for it. Wee! I'm gonna fly down. Okay. Third is also going to slide down because. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. There's gonna be spikes at the bottom of this, and we all die. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <wait, laughs> we probably should have thrown something down. I, I want to point out that Kazrin is like sliding down as if he's like on a uh, snowboard. Roll performance. <laughs> we should have thrown something down first. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, no hesitation. Time. He's, as you guys do that, he's like, okay, so here's the deal. And then you all just start sliding down. He's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> You said no hesitation! <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. You guys slide down, and you actually drop a pretty good distance. You kind of fall in, kind of hit the bottom. Um, no scrapes, no bruises, uh, no damage. Um, but as you kind of stand up, you notice you're in a cave full of Shining crystals. Blue uh, ones? The blue and purple. Perfect! <laughs> seems, to be, seems, seems to be, actually, it's uh, blue, white, and purple. All different, or all these different colors. I love these um, colors. They seem to, like, um, they seem to barely illuminate <clears throat> the uh, cave. Just enough. But as you guys kind of, <clears throat> kind of hit the bottom, you guys hear, like, this deep kind of, <clears throat> something is burrowing in the ground. Um people as you all kind of stand up um you hear uh coot yelling from up above um his voice kind of echoing um it's like all right so listen uh here's the thing there's a big ass worm in there <laughs> and if you're too noisy or you're too moving around too much that thing's gonna eat you alive I don't know if you've ever heard of one, but, uh, have you ever heard of a purple one? Oh, oh no. I'm not saying anything in response. <laughs> wait, wait, the purple, like, are you, are, wait, 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 do you mean W-Y-R-M? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I got scared. I got scared. <laughs> not, not, not like a dragon, no, this is My, a crystal a dragon. dragon. <laughs> Listen, right, that's what happened there, so if you can figure out a way without getting eaten up, well, I guess you passed the first test. If I don't hear from you in like a day, I'm just gonna assume you're dead. Good luck! 
Um, well, me and Squirt got this down pat. <laughs> just flies back out. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Alright. You guys hear it, and you actually see the, um... Actually, let me get a bit of Let me get a reference for you guys. As you guys hear this deep uh, rumbling sound, you see, um, kind of like in the wall, furthest north of you guys, this, uh, this worm <laughs> comes barreling through. It is size... Uh, actually, gargantuan? It is gargantuan in size. This oh, massive... Yeah. Is, what is this, a tarasque larva? <laughs> this massive purple worm. It looks like a tarasque larva. It's just, it's massive, like, mouth, just lined with teeth, come barreling out, and as it, like, hits the ground, sets a barrel underneath the ground that you guys are standing on. Um, this thing is, like, you watch it, its body as it kind of uh, extends from the north wall down into the ground. This thing is, like, 80 feet long, as it just keeps coming and coming until eventually you see the end of its tail. You can quite literally, um, Evie... Uh, scared, um, and I'll say uh, Sprocket even, they could feel the ground beneath them begin to kind of tremble and even uh, start to like shift underneath you guys. Alright, that is where we're going to end the session. Fuck yeah, let's go! I've, I've, I've... Good fucking luck, guys! <laughs> At least we uh, can fly. Okay, last words. You said no hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Kazuma. That's right. I left you out of there. Uh, uh, yeah. Kazuma, you wow. Thank you. Thank you. Where's our actual last? Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. This has been a really, really fun uh, session this time. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, but I'm not really feeling all that great, so uh, I'm going to end now. So go give some love to Lunar. See you guys later. Had a great stream. Not like he was any help. Hate to me right now, run. Anyways. Yeah, no <laughs> problem, no problem. I hope you feel better. Get some rest. Magic? Do you play Magic Sky? Oh. Wait, didn't Kaiba just? I thought Kaiba said he was telling you. He... How much XP did we get for tonight's session? You get none. <laughs> we already got some at the beginning. You did get some. Sadness. That's what you get. You get some. Uh... <laughs>